Good morning, Jory Makers! Yeah! How are you, my lovely? I'm very well, thank you. There she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, what are you what what are you laughing at in there? Were you making fun of me then? <laughs> Speaking of frequency that only dogs can hear. Yeah. Um well, good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Oh, look at you. Look at me. I've got collar everywhere. Colour, 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 chameleon. Look at this. Ooh. Do you know, this is an example of a love kit that. that I looked at it, got it out and thought, oh, no, I don't really like that. And as soon as I worked with it, I thought, oh, my God, I love it. I love it. Isn't it funny? You've got to get it out of the tube and mix it up. Mixy moo moo. Yeah. Look at this. All of the cup chain. When I say all of the cup chain, oh, gee whiz. Oh. Gee willikers! Beautiful. When we say, oh gosh, sorry. When we say, oh yes, look at all of that. Look at all of that. Look at all of this. Oh, nom 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 nom. Who? I know. It's all absolutely redonkulous, isn't it? Just with the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. They're all coming up in the um, nine. nine. Is it, yes, the nine o'clock hour. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, it is nine o'clock so. hour. Because we're going to be seeing a slightly longer demo in the nine o'clock hour this morning. Twelve o'clock. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ah. Brand new cut and the most gorgeous kit. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Oh my word, it's the most beautiful brand new cup we're going to be launching with Jake in the um, 10 o'clock hour um, with this gorgeous kind of honeycomb top on it. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Do you know what it reminds me of looking at it like that? Uh, you remember the kaleidoscopes? Yes. It reminds me of a kaleidoscope. But yes. Like really beautiful blingy with all the lights coming. Look at that. Oh, oh it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So that is going to be coming up uh, in the 10 and 11 o'clock hour. Uh, 12 o'clock, yes, we've got the gorgeous kit um, uh, featuring, featuring this gorgeous honeycomb um, uh, um, uh, shape. And, and, uh, and of course, Debbie's going to be showing us how to set this. But yeah, you've added a pearl onto here as well, which I absolutely love. It balances it beautifully, doesn't it? Well, you can add anything. So if you wanted to add a citrine, you can add whatever you want. But I just, yeah. you know, I love pearls. And I just thought, how, just very classic. Mm, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, in this hour, OK, I just, I just, just, let's play a game. Uh, we've got this. That's coming up in this hour. This is a ring storage display box. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's brand, brand, brand new. And it's coming up at about half past eight. Doesn't come with the rings, but I just wanted to, we wanted to put the rings in there just to kind of give you a, give you an idea about how it's going to look with um, uh, just some of your pieces in there. Price point wise, what do you reckon it's going to be? Price point wise, because honestly, this is a proper Proper bargain, isn't it? Proper bargain. I'm yes. definitely going to get one of these if there's any left after the show. Useful for so many things. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, and and we were saying before the show, weren't we, that yeah, if you're if you're going to be selling, you know, a great way to display your pieces so people aren't kind of handling them, and if they want to try on something, you can you can kind of take it out of the box for them. But um, uh, but also, you know, just to display your jewelry at home, it's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Um, now. We're going to be bringing this to you about half past eight. We, we can't put it on pre-order. If we put it on pre-order, it will, it will de most definitely sell out before we even bring it to air. So we can't put it to, uh, on pre-order, but it's coming up in about half an hour's time. There's absolutely tons coming up today. Look, we've got this gorgeous agate bundle. Literally the last few chances of this enormous agate bundle. Uh, I know. Is that all one? You it's can... all one bundle. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's a complete stash in one, isn't it? Totally, 100%. It, 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 it's, it's just gorgeous. So that's going to be coming up in this hour as well. Uh, so we've got loads coming. Oh, Michael on cameras. There he is. Hello. Go on, Michael. Just bust a shape of some description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. King is on floor. Good morning, lovely King. Uh, where is she? <gasps> there she is. Oh, look at her. Oh, we oh, <laughs> wonderful woman. Uh, we've got producer, oh, producer Neary Neary Nunu. Oh, I thought you were going to play the, the tune. I thought you were going to play the birthday banger breakfast. No, not today. Not today. We'll play that later on this hour. Uh, we've got uh, Neary Nunu who's going to be producing the show. We've got Ollie Bundles. He's going to be done. <laughs> Pick it up, 
pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> you proper, proper mum dancing going on there. <laughs> Definitely, wasn't it? My teammates look at that. going, mum. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Do you know what? I remember dropping my kids off at uh, dripping, uh, dri dripping, dropping my kids off at school uh, with the uh, when the windows open with Ghostbusters playing. And my <laughs> six-year-old Pip was like, "Mum, no, turn it off, turn it off!" Now I was going, "Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters!" <laughs> Which is the same song that my mum uh, fell over at a roller disco when I was about my daughter's age. Um, she had to be carried off on one of those orange balls. <laughs> she was fine though. That's an entire shop of jewelry. Yes, I know, I it? know, it's incredible. We've got loads coming up today. Morning, lovely ladies. I would use a box for my stirred earrings. Ooh, Babs in yeah. London, yes. Good idea. Loving that idea. Let's kick off today's show with some bicolour shaded Tanzanite. Oh, the tumbles. Oh my word, I incredible. Love Aren't they gorgeous? Love, love, love this tumble shape, don't you? It, 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 it's almost like looking into a magnifying glass, isn't it? Like a droplet of water, you know, how it kind of magnifies everything that goes through it. Because it's not been faceted. It's not been kind of uh, cut on the outside. It's just been beautifully polished. So you get that wonderful, smooth uh, shape. We are going to give you a deal. Yeah, a proper deal. OK, we're going to go low. We're going to go low. We're still very much in our birthday celebrations today. Ready? Here we go. Have a look at this. All the way down, 199.99. Not your price. No way, no way near your price. No way near your price. 0800 644 Go, go, go. There's three different ways you can get involved with Jewelry Maker. Either by calling us on our free phone number or you can get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. You can download our app and you can watch us on the go. We're at 99.99. Well done. Interest there in the, in, in the uh, baskets. Well done. Check out. Um, uh, oh, look. Interest-free split payments of thirty-three, thirty-three. There you go. How do you how do you shop with us, Debbie? Do you, are you on the app? Are you on the web? Or, are you, or do you give us a call? I'm on the web usually, or the app. Are you? Yeah. I, in fact, I saw you shopping the other day. I did. What did I buy? Oh, I tell you what I bought. I bought the um, Buddha. That was it. The Buddha heads. They were. And stunning. the lotuses. Oh my word! <gasps> I know there were some gorgeous pieces. Right, let's move on. We've got loads to get through. Oh my word! Is oh. this turquoise? <gasps> Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Oh, my word. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colours. This is your kind of rare kind of uh, bird's egg blue kind of uh, uh, tones. It's absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? This is the turquoise that you look at and you know what it is. Yes, so for sure. You. For sure. It's definitely. Absolutely stunning. It's my birthday and I love it. You can see as well, can't you, by looking at this, why this is so um, uh, world famous. Mm. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, probably the most famous turquoise in the world. Yes, it's got that kind of similarity to the original Persian stone that was uh, mined in the Sinai Peninsula, but, but it's got that solid turquoise quality with very little matrix in it. It's gorgeous. Your price today, $39.99. Interest-free split payments of $19.99. That's an aquamarine, Carol. Uh, sorry, is that an aquamarine on the right hand? I don't think, I think it might be a blue topaz. It I think is, it's a yeah. sky blue topaz. <gasps> Isn't it stunning? See what I mean about the kaleidoscope on that one especially. Totally. It's stunning. Totally. And it's got that kind of, um, it, uh, th this one here, we were trying to imagine it was a diamond. This one here, I mean, it could be a parade of tourmaline, couldn't it? <gasps> imagine that. Look at this one as well. You're going to love this. Caroline, well done to Sharon. Loads of people coming through for this. Well done. Look, look at this one. <gasps> Oh my word, the most incredible oh. stone. Isn't that gorgeous? We've got the stones coming up. I can't wait to bring you this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. There you go. Well done, everybody. At just $39.99 for your gorgeous Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Well done. That one's about to sell out. Well done. Go, go, go. Close out Tanzanite. Go on then. Oh my word. Look at all of these. You can just tell that's Tanzanite, can't you? And it's almost like, I love how different Tanzanite is, but there's almost lilacs in this one. Yes. It's just soft. It's beautiful. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? It's got the most beautiful um, kind of sleepy blues going through it. Yes, those lavender and lilac tones, but also those striking cobalt blues as well. This is a closeout deal, 32 carats in total. So expect something crazy for this. On this strand, let me just count very quickly. How many are getting? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. It's 22 on this strand. 
That's a big amount of your gorgeous tanzanite, isn't it? In this kind of shape as well, you could kind of wire wrap them maybe into yeah. a, a floral shape, couldn't I you? I love that, making flowers. Imagine having yes. a tanzanite flower. Yes, please. Oh, my word. Yes, please. Seventeen ninety nine. Oh, my gosh. It's not the price. How many do we have, Neri? Five chances in the building. And then it's gone. I can't believe this. $17.99. Nadja Price. Here we go, Maria, Pauline. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous opportunities for you today. Twelve ninety nine. Get it, get it. Natalie, Maria, Caroline. Oh my word, there's millions of you there. Gee whiz, you better check out soon. Maria's taken two. Well done to you. Sharon, Gabrielle, Maker, Olwyn, Maker, Hilda, Jocelyn. One chance remaining at just twelve ninety nine. There's billions of you with these ambassadors. <laughs> well done. It's gone. It's gone. So it was my birthday. It was my birthday on Monday, although my birthday shows tomorrow. Very excited about that, by the way. Um, and um, uh, my daughter Pippa has subsequently just said to me, it must be about three, four hundred times. Happy 41st birthday, mummy. <laughs> 41 today. <laughs> just go easy on the numbers, Pip. <laughs> just keep those numbers to yourself, love. 41. My mummy's 41 today. <laughs> Shut up. So, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. We went bowling after after school pickup. It was so much fun. And it was just, uh, you, you know, when you do something with your family and your, your soul is just literally brimming with joy. Yeah. Uh, it was very competitive, though. Me and my oh. husband were very competitive. Oh, yes. You see, my boys are very competitive. Like, my, my daughter doesn't care. When she was little, she used to go to the end and just drop it. Oh, yes. And it would take like five minutes to get to the yes. end. And then she'd get a strike and the boys would be like, <gasps> whoa. <laughs> to be the other night uh well done uh 29.99 green angelite 10 mils not your price at 29.99 green angelite green angelite I didn't know it Debbie. Came in green oh that's so beautiful yeah it's beautiful very much like your gorgeous jadeites isn't it it's just calming and relaxing yeah. it's it, that's a spa day green isn't it it's yeah very heart chakra very gentle oh. and soft Oh. Actually, it makes me feel calm looking at that. Maybe I need about 10 strands of yes. it. I'll just wrap them around just, me. <laughs> just sleep with it under your pillow, love. Fourteen ninety nine. Maria Olwyn, Janet, two chances remaining. Well done, everybody. Most gorgeous quality. And I love those little those little um moments of kind of clarity as well it's just mm. it's just beautiful isn't it yeah really gorgeous sleepy uh greens you're going to be getting there lorraine in bristol it could go to you my lovely well done everyone go 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 well done oh eight hundred six triple four six double five enjoy it's absolutely beautiful <gasps> oh ring box ring box we got the ring box ring box coming up <gasps> yeah coming up in about 15 minutes oh hello it looks really high end as well, doesn't it? You know, like you put that on your stall if you're if you're at a craft fair and you just make it look so much more professional. Would you like to try this on? I tell you, I tell, oh my gosh, I tell you what you could do as well. You know those little kind of strips of LED lights that you can get. You can kind of almost cut, kind of cut them down to size yeah. there. Oh come on! And there. What a brilliant idea. And also it helps with security because there can be sticky fingers if you're at a big event. Yes. You know, and people, your stuff can go miss, missing. My dad chased after someone who stole something from my store once, nearly gave him a heart attack. He didn't catch him. I went, Dad, what did you do that for? Oh, my gosh. Gee whiz. So you're keeping like more high-end pieces yes. safe in something like this, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. That's coming up in about 15 minutes. OK, we've got a phone holder here made from Labradorite. Oh, I love those. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Will you look at that? Look at the look at the slab of Labradorite you're getting here. One thousand five hundred and twenty-five carats. Wow. Gee whiz! Here's your phone. Shove it in. Oh, that's a nice picture. That's me, and my husband. That's really nice. Me, and my husband. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Look at that. I um I, I follow a lot of uh, I, I I I use the internet for lots of recipes and things mm. like that, and uh, having this kind of standing up is much is much yeah. better than kind of craning your neck over your side. But uh, also lots and lots of people doing kind of Teams meetings yeah. or Zoom meetings and holding your phone like that is a real it's 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 just a bit of it's just it's just it's just kind of annoying. Um, so just kind of having that nice and steady so you can be typing or writing uh, whilst you're um, uh, uh, g uh, doing your meeting is absolutely perfect. It keeps it nice and still as well. Well, lovely crack screen there as well. That's nice, isn't it? There we go. Uh, Forty-nine ninety-nine. Not your. Oh, what's that? 
<laughs> Did anyone else see that on the recording? It's on his hand, pushing it back into shot. Hang on, let's just watch it again. <laughs> 34.99. 30, it's, it's when it's lying down, Ollie. Oh, yeah, look at the look at the labradorescence on that. Oh, That's absolutely cute. gorgeous, isn't it? Amazing. 0800 <laughs> 6444. Here we go. <laughs> what time are the rings coming to airplane? Right, OK. These, OK, these rings are not for sale today. However, however, the gemstones and the ring mounts, the gemstones and these ring mounts and more mounts are coming up today between 10 and 12, okay? So these bits here, okay? Oh and that one, and that one, all coming up. Yeah, so you will be able to buy all of that uh, between 10 and 12 today. Very excited. Amazing, I know. 34.99, I know, isn't that gorgeous? Ah! It's called the honeycomb cut, isn't it? It is. How have they done that? My mind boggles at how I they've have, even done that. I have no idea. Ring box coming up in, oh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Black obsidian. Oh, gosh. Phone back up. Black obsidian uh, version. Gorgeous. Father's Day coming up. June the 19th. Hashtag just saying. <laughs> June the 19th. Uh, so if you want to get this for the, for the man... For the man who has everything. Whose That's birthday is it this month? Idea. Your mum's birthday this month, is it, Neary? Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect, Prezi. Gorgeous. Oh, 800, six, triple four, six, triple five. I, do, I love black obsidian. It's so shiny, isn't it? It's basically volcanic glass that you're going to be getting here, which is just amazing. It feels different to a stone. It feels different to your gemstones. It's got more of a, a glassy kind of luster to it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Twenty-three ninety. Quite chic, this one, isn't it? So you know, if you've yeah. got someone who has like a perfect desk with everything kind of, mm. you know, who's a, who's a little bit chic, then this is perfect for that. It is, isn't it? It's so very, very. Desk. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Actually, not like my desk. Yeah. My desk could go up in the world if I put this on. Yes, it. absolutely, <laughs> definitely. Um, it's, it, it's it's just gorgeous. You've got that jet black quality. You've got the little bits of um, striations going through there as well, which is lovely. Almost looks like a black marble, doesn't it? You can see the kind of striations there as well. It's so cool. The veins going through the stone. It's just gorgeous. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. I really like that. That's stunning, isn't it? Well done, everybody. 0800 six triple four six double five twenty three ninety nine four chances left janice brenda got us loads of you there well done isn't that gorgeous well done over allocated yeah amazing why not okay opal oh my word oh, oh wow <gasps> look at oh my goodness <gasps> that is incredible Look at the just fire coming Ooh. on. Oh, it's magic. Wow. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 Whoa. And it's, it's twice as incredible as you can see on the screen, isn't it? I mean, oh, for sure. Real, if you love it on the screen in real life, oh, my goodness, I've never seen anything like it. That. Oh, that's beautiful. That is properly gorgeous, That's isn't it? That's made my day, that is. Yeah, do you know what? It is, it is, <laughs> do you know what? Sometimes, you know, we see opal in, in quite kind of regimented, yes. uniform shapes. Yes. I love it. Because this, I suppose, is the actual shape of the, the, the kind of the, the, the kind of little, the little aperture, the little crevice, if you like, the, the, the water solidified and calcified. Oh, I love these organic oh, shapes. Oh, gosh. So hard to get hold of if you want to. Yeah. Imagine designing a collection around this strand. Oh, my word. Yeah, it's stunning. You'd be so different yeah. from anybody else. Shapes of nature. Oh, yeah. There you go, Debbie. There's the name of the collection for you. I absolutely <laughs> love this. Do I have to give I you credit on the website? Now. <laughs> yes, you do. I can see it now. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful opalescence coming through here. $49.99, not no your price way. point. And of course, the beauty is every single one of these strands is going to be unique. Maker in Ayrshire, Debbie in the West Midlands. Well done to you, my lovely. How many do we have left, lovely? Five opportunities remaining. Down to three. Down to two. Oh, Susan. Christina. Quick, 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 quick. Two opportunities remaining. Well done, my lovelies. That is absolutely gorgeous. Still very much in the birthday. I'm surprised these balloons have stood up for the last kind of 11, uh, 12, 11, 12 days. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? They're really lovely, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Maureen, why don't you, Maria? Gorgeous. Scum. <gasps> Beautiful. Scum. 
Well done, everyone. Oh, my word, Jet. Mm. Now, tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to have the last few strands of Blue John oh, coming wow. your way. Did you, did you happen to see it? No, but Blue John, wow. Yeah, yeah. First time ever we've had strands of Blue John. Uh, we've only had kind of specimens a, a couple of times. We've got actual strands. I don't know when they're going to be coming up tomorrow, but we've got kind of 50 of one, 20 of another, and like 15 of another strand. Wow. They are absolutely amazing that You're is have something to, to some. have in your collection yes yeah, you know a, you know a british gemstone yeah, so cool isn't it um and of course whitby jet is a very very famous gemstone this unfortunately um isn't from whitby it, it well it's actually from the united states which is where some of the world's finest jet comes from actually um it's basically fossilized monkey puzzle uh, tree um and it's very very light it's got this beautiful almost warmth to it like amber because it's not a gemstone it's a fossilized organic gem so it's got that lovely kind of almost warmth to it um it's the most beautiful it's got the most wonderful luster as well it's quite a waxy kind of soapy luster that you get with this it's not bright and shiny and glass like like your obsidian for instance um it's a wonderful gemstone to put with um other organic gems like pearls like your amber it's gorgeous um, 29.99, not your price point today. Such an awesome gemstone. Absolutely love it. Gorgeous. 0800 6 4 6 5 Go, 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 go. Well done. What are you talking about, Neary? 14.99, there you go. A disastrous Chinese. <laughs> oh, no. Karen uh, in Essex. Karen in the West Midlands. Maria, why? what happened with the Chinese? What happened? Ordered it from his... Uh... Oh. Oh, you ordered the wrong takeaway. You ordered from the wrong takeaway. Oh. Oh. oh there were two places called Lucky House. One of them lucky, one of them not so lucky. And you <laughs> ordered from the not so lucky, the unlucky house. <laughs> Do you know what the worst thing is? Uh, my, my kids love sweet and sour chicken balls, okay? Oh, yeah. and, and you get the sauce and you dip it in the sauce, whatever. So we had, um, we, we had a takeaway and we were all feeling so full afterwards. I was like, right, I'll, cl I'll clear it up later. Went back about half an hour later, the polystyrene cup that the sauce was in, I, I tipped it down the sink. It came out in one big lump. I was like, oh, what has that just done to my insides? Ooh. Yeah, pretty bad. But you can't go wrong with a, with a crispy duck. Ooh. No. I'd rather it was swimming around, said the vegetarian of 36 <laughs> oh, years. Oh, God. Oh, really? Oh, gosh, sorry. <laughs> didn't realise that's what I was offended. No, sorry, I didn't okay. realise. Sorry. Oh, a lovely <laughs> carrot. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Charlotte, Emma, well done to you. A lovely carrot. Ten minutes away from the ring box. I should have known. <laughs> Ring box, ring box. <gasps> oh, you pretty little ring box, pretty little ring box. Do you love you? Coming up at half past. Oh, look at, look at that. That's going to make anything you put in there look a billion yeah. times more expensive, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Or even if you've got it on your dressing table with your nicer rings in or your yes. favourite rings in, yeah. keep some dust free, keep some safe. Get a couple of the um, little uh, strips that we get you get in your um, sterling silver or yep. precious metal bags and pop it in there with them. Absolutely. The fact that it's grey as well, I love that mm, kind of that very lovely colour. It's very chic. Gorgeous. Right, OK. Uh, Ruby. Ruby faceted drops. These are gorgeous. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Give me natural ruby any day. Oh, me too. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Love that faceted quality. Loving that depth of colour. You don't get colour like this with filled or fisher filled ruby, do you? No. This is this is exceptional. Like Morello cherries. I love that that dark, dark pigeon blood red you get. £19.99. Goodness <laughs> me, this is ruby! <laughs> this is natural ruby. One chance remaining, that's it. This is natural ruby. Gee whiz gang. Oh, that's uh, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eight, as twenty on the strand. That is worth twice the price of the strand. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's sold out, it's gone. I love that. Uno más, por favor. Oh, yes, I'd have that in a bracelet so I could look at it. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, so I need to speak to Alison Tarry sooner rather than later. Um, next uh, Easter, I reckon we're going to try and hire a narrow boat. <laughs> okay. As a family, I really don't think uh, my husband knows what, he let, uh, what, what he's letting himself Are into. Are you taking the dog? Massively, yes. It's doggy life jacket. Quite possibly. So cute. I think he's massively <laughs> underestimating how fast um, uh, a narrow boat will go as well. I think he's going to be sorely disappointed. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Natural Madagascan Ruby graduated rounds. Oh my, look at that strand. <gasps> rounds. Oh, these with pearls. Oh yes. I think tomorrow we possibly might have the last few chances of Charlie Barron's Akoya pearls. I think, I think so. So tomorrow, hopefully, tomorrow is a bit of a last minute show. Um, also, oh yes, that's a great idea. Thank you, uh, thank you, you two, uh, cheering me up as I'm in hospital. Aww. Oh, darling Josephine. Oh, bless you, darling. Sending lots of healing. Bless you can watch all, well, at least you can watch all day. You're not going to be running off anywhere. Right, pearls with a clasp. So tomorrow, I'll be honest with you, we were. It's, it's my birthday show. We were meant to have uh, tomorrow. We were meant to have Mineral Man. Unfortunately, we haven't got Mineral Man anymore. Um, uh, the stock um, uh, hasn't, hasn't arrived in time. So tomorrow is a bit of a last minute show. Please text us now, and I'll, and I'll kind of give you a reminder hopefully in every hour. Please text us now. Any sensible uh, suggestions of what... <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. of what you'd like to see <laughs> on the show tomorrow. <laughs> John Bon Jovi. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh. My, my brother said, oh, you haven't still got a crush on him. Is he still alive? Oh, oh that's not How nice. How rude. That's not nice. Of course OK, he is. so anything you'd like to see on the show tomorrow, message us. 78070, start your text with the word JM Studio, your name, where you're from. And anything you'd like to see on the show tomorrow, oh. we'll make a note of it and we'll try our best to put it in the show. The most gorgeous pearls. These are gorgeous pearls. Yeah, let's get the oh, king. It hasn't, it hasn't taken them away yet. Oh, okay. These, and of course, well, sorry, these would be lovely with my masterclass. You know, the pendant you're wearing. Oh, we gosh, pearls. yes. For later. Absolutely. Oh, they're lovely. Yeah, for sure. And look at. Oh, oh. hang on. Hang on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, <gasps> yes. Look at this incredible clasp. Look. You don't have to do the noise. Uh, that is the uh, Cabixiconia set, double-sided kind of padlock clasp you're going to be getting here. That is absolutely sublime, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, imagine just restranding that with the clasp, giving it as a gift. For sure, for sure. Definitely, 100%. People think you've won the Euro Millions. <laughs> Do you know what? A, oh, don't. I bought, I bought some Lucky Dips last night and my husband texted me this morning saying, so one person's won 184 million. Really? It could be us, Carol. Um, and, and so I checked the numbers. I think we got two. Uh, and uh, yeah, never mind. Anyway. $49.99. You are hitting the jackpot this morning. Thank you, Neary. Bringing it back to the jewellery. No. Oh. The what price? What did you just say? Who does that? Who does that? $19.99. Debbie, Brett, make a note of people's names as well. And if we can schedule them into tomorrow, we'll read out your name. We'll read out, yeah. Karen, Gabrielle, Maria, Pauline. Well done to you, my lovely. Uh, we're under 20 pounds for you today. Well done. Uh, Maker and Ayrshire, well done to you as well. This is absolutely, that is a bonkers price, isn't it? Um, and you move that decimal point one place, it's absolutely the kind of price point I can imagine uh, paying for this. You know, 199.90. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. If that was in a jeweler's window, you wouldn't think twice, would you? No. Absolutely amazing. So we've had requests for crimp, uh, silver crimp beads. Wire, did you say? <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, wire, oh, cabochon. Sandra would like, excuse me. I'm fine. Just the one. Just the one. Just the one. Well done. Thank you for that, Ollie. Oh. Having you on the show tomorrow will be entertaining enough. No need for gems. Uh, but, mm, that, that's gonna, 
Uh, but Oprah would be good. Annie, I'm not being fat. It's very kind of you. That would be a really boring show if I just sat here <laughs> kind of reeling off diary stories and things though. like that. <laughs> it wouldn't. The diary story and oh my word. And the mum stories. I like your mum the stories. The mum stories. Your mum sounds amazing. Oh my word. Okay. Oh, we're going to do the music. Breakfast banger. Rock. You could see what I could see. Can we just do it? Can we just do it? Can, just if you could see what I could see. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it again? But bring you to envision and just Neary's just literally. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> can we please just keep that? Make that a feature. <laughs> Michael, you're up for it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm up for everything. He's up for. He's up. For, he's up for anything, old Michael. Uh, right. So we're going to keep. <laughs> She was, uh, we're going to keep, oh, hello, we're, we're going to keep, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know what, well, I don't know what I'm trying to keep. Uh, we're going to open, there we go, <laughs> there we go, the graphics for this, and we're going to keep the graphics open as we do the Wall of Fame. So this is your breakfast, birthday, birthday, breakfast, banger, breakfast, banger thing. Blah, blah. Uh, it's a grey ring box, storage box. Oh my word! Okay, look at every everyone's coming through. How many do we have, Neri? Three hundred and seventy-eight. I'm not afraid to say any quantities during this birthday week. I'm not afraid to say a single quantity because every single item that we bought to air pretty much has completely and utterly sold out. It's been wonderful. Um, this is a, um, a, a stunning, stunning example of what of what we can achieve here at Jewelry Maker. A long time ago, um, so before Jewelry Maker, uh, I know, before Jewelry Maker, uh, B, B, uh, yeah, no, let's not do that. <laughs> uh, so before Jewelry Maker, we uh, bought to air a gorgeous uh, jewelry box uh, with lots of trays in and everything, and we'd sell rings and earrings and pendants and all that lovely stuff. And people would buy this this gorgeous jewelry display box and they'd and they'd keep one for themselves maybe then they'd come through and get another one the amount of people who would fill it up with pieces of jewelry to then give to their grandkids on their 18th birthday oh, or that's to their yeah, um, that's uh, best friends or you know as as kind of like this is my this is my heirloom box and i'm going to be giving it to you on your 18th birthday or whatever it is and, and it just it's just it's such a lovely idea such a wonderful thing to be able to do and over the years you build up a real collection uh, of of jewellery. This box reminds me very much of that box. And in a similar way, whatever you put in this box is going to be cherished. It looks so, it looks so high end. It instantly elevates the look of all your jewellery because it looks more, as you said, more protected more kind of um, looked after, more cherished, doesn't it? More professional, especially yes. if someone's... I mean, people are buying threes, and I was going to say I would have bought threes because I can see three on my stall. Yes. Um, maybe you've got gold, Just next to silver, other. rose gold. Maybe you've got different things in there. Mm. But you walk into a craft fair, you look around, and your eyes drawn to the one that is visually appealing to you, that looks professional. Because then subconsciously you think you're getting a professional, well-presented piece of jewellery. Of course of you jewelry. do. And I think this is the kind of this display can do for you. Yes. I've just literally propped it up on a box here, but just imagine with some yeah. gorgeous lighting there, exactly. kind of going onto the rings, going onto the pieces of jewellery, and just what that's going to do. Also, from a from an ease point of view as well, you know, if you take this to a craft fair, yeah. full up full of jewellery, you know, you don't have to kind of pack it, pack them all away. You just literally close the lid um, and do that. You know, and that's and that's all. You know, that's done at home as well. I am such a I'm, I'm terrible uh, in the fact that I that I that I just literally put my jewelry in my jewelry box and I uh, and, and it goes into a drawer and it's tidied away. I very very rarely um, uh, kind of go through my jewelry. Go, oh gosh, do you know what? I'm going to wear that today. I'm going to wear that. Today. I always go to my kind of the ones that I the see go first. To. Yeah, exactly. And being able to being able to kind of um, have all of this out and go, no, I'm going to wear that one today. I'm going to wear that one today. It's just so. It's just going to allow you to wear more of your jewellery more often. It's wonderful. 
So with our breakfast bangers, because of the way that the phone lines go, which is they go absolutely nuts, we're going to open, um, um, obviously the graphics are open now. We're going to do the Wall of Fame. When we come back from the Wall of Fame, um, we are going to uh, be bringing you the price point, okay? So we're not going to be bringing you the price point just yet. Can I just say, just put this in your basket. Just put them all in your basket. Trust us, it is going to go low, like really low, like far, 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 far lower than you're thinking, okay? Um, we're just going to do one price on it. One price. That's it. One minute and one price. But before we do that, let's do the Wall of Fame. Keep coming through to get this. We haven't even got to the price point yet. People are buying twos, threes and fours of this. Uh, let's go to the Wall of Fame and see some of your incredible designs. So the Wall of Fame is a chance for you to showcase your incredible designs that you make using jewellery maker pieces. You take a photograph of it and you email it to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Every Wednesday, which is today, we pick a winner and a runner up who will win £100 or £50 credited to their jewellery maker account. Trisha, is that right? Oh, no, we're starting off at number 29. 29. Ooh. Yeah, Trisha, but oh my word, Trisha. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Dear JM, please find attach my entry to the Wall of Fame, a chain mold bracelet with kyanite. I hope you like it. Calm regards, Trisha. Trisha, that, that is literally kind of tractor beams, isn't yeah, it? it's beautiful. It's absolutely exquisite, Trisha. Amazing. Well done, you. Best of luck. Angela Aronson in Gothenburg. Hello, sweetie. You're number 30. Dear JM crew, uh, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Earrings made with wire and quartz beads. All materials are from, jewelry, uh, are from uh, JM. Um, I'm really enjoying the birthday celebrations. Keep up the good work. Good luck to all the talented waffers. Regards, Angela. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful, simple, sellable, Elegant. wearable, Beautiful. commercial, gorgeous earrings there, Angela. Well done, sweetie. Lovely um, photo. I've got 31, which is Julia Tinsley. Hi, all at JM. His mention for this week's Wall of Fame. Can't wait to wear these beautiful Aberdeen Oh, shells. my gosh. They are oh, incredible. My Lord. With the summer fast approaching, I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy 12th birthday and to thank you for the wonderful past 12 years. I don't think you realise what a difference you've made to the lives of some people, especially during the oh, pandemic. Oh, sweetie. Whether it's customers tuning in to buy your beautiful gemstones, watch the fantastic guest designers demonstrations, the brilliant gem investor segments, or those that just enjoy the company. I think every single one you one of you involved in the channel are amazing and I'm sure I'm not alone. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, Julia. With love, Julia Tinsley. Julia, how lovely. That's you such a lovely such a message. Thing. And that is completely beautiful, that necklace. And do you know what, Julia? And I know I speak for all of us here as well. Thank you for supporting us yeah. throughout everything. Because it, you don't know how... It, it, was, it was quite stressful coming into work during the pandemic. Yeah. It was quite worrying times for all of us. And to know that you guys were there meant the absolute world to us. So thank you, Julia. That's really lovely. Um, I've gorgeous. got number 32 now, Margaret Gibson. Uh, this week's entry is a bracelet made up of black spinel wheels and seed bead connectors, oh, interspersed yeah, with yeah. red jump rings and a toggle clasp. Thanks to all at JM for keeping us happy with 12 days of birthday celebration. Gorgeous. Oh, that's really beautiful. It's lovely, lovely colours Margaret's gone for there. Jackie, you're number 33, Jack, uh, Jackie Davis. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a pair of freshwater cultured pearl cluster earrings in sterling silver. All products are from JM. Hope you like them. Oh, Jackie, they are really lovely. Love all the different colours you've gone for oh, there as gorgeous. well. Oh, gorgeous. Works really well. Um, Sue, Sue Gott, uh, you're number 34. Hi. Oh, look at this. I love this. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. Beautiful pearls, as always, from JM. The necklace is in the bridal section in my Etsy shop. Sue in Derbyshire, she's got an Etsy shop and she's got little kind of departments within oh, the shop. Oh, that's Isn't such that a good clever? idea. Yeah. Really clever, Sue. Some you know, bride out there is going to absolutely love that. Florence Jones, you're number 35. Oh, oh, what are the, ooh, please find attached my Akoya pearls. I bought two 20 centimetre strands and knotted them with pure silk and added a sterling silver toggle clasp. But as I find toggles easier to fasten. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right there, Florence. Um, you can tell the difference with Akoya pearls. They're so silky. Love to all. That's from Florence. Florence, beautiful piece of toy deck. Do me a favour, go get that valued one day. Let's mm. see what the valuation comes back as. Mm. I've got 36, Erica Cotter. Hi, this is my take on Alison Tarry's pearl necklace. Oh, it's yes. It's made with beautiful gold stone. All components are from JM. Good luck, 
to everyone. Oh, that's beautiful. That's isn't lovely. It? Lovely, lovely, that's lovely a real lines on that. Statement piece. Gorgeous. Stunning. 37, Sandra Fortune. Hi, all. Here is my latest Ooh. entry. I've not posted for a while as I've had COVID. Oh, no. But I started this a week ago and just completed it bit by bit. It's a three mil faceted tourmaline necklace with a branched tassel made from tourmaline, strawberry quartz, ruby and fluorite. I use fire line thread with everything from JM except the bead cap, which I had in my stash. Best of luck to all entries and much love to you all. Oh, I love, I've just looked at it. That's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Good luck. Now we're going to draw the wall of fame. Mm. So let's release the prize winning balls. Oh, Dale Winton. Love him. <laughs> yes. Love him. I tell you what, why don't you pick the winner today, lovely Ooh. Debbie? Here we go. So the winner of the Wall of Wayne. Uh, wall, wall of Wayne? Wall of Wayne. The Wall of Wayne. The Wall of Fame. Winning £100 credited to their jewellery maker account is... Number 16. Number 16. Go over to Kinga with our winner. <laughs> <Is>. <laughs> <laughs> shot one day Ollie's like I've turned her off so she can't hear but let's get her in shot <laughs> oh, oh she's so lovely oh, she's gorgeous I love her okay we won't bring you back in don't worry who is it Anne Clark Anne Clark well done well done sweetie 100 pounds credited to a toy maker account she's not happy she's giving him the death stare okay and this week's run up for the wall of fame winning 50 pounds credited to their joy maker account is number 43 julie dudley julie dudley on the isle of Wight. oh well my done. gosh i think she won a few weeks ago Oh, that's awesome. Well done, Julie. That's fantastic. Lovely lady. Couldn't have happened to a more lovely lady. She's lovely. Well done, everyone. That is just gorgeous. Well done. 50 pounds credited to your joint <laughs> micro account. And that was the Wall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at literally, literally horizontal. <laughs> <Michael>. <laughs> Do you know what I like? It's obviously cool to not move very much. <laughs> it must be. Because it looks cool, but they're not moving very much. Okay. Okay. It's a skill that. So, let's have it what, one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> oh, you've deleted it. Oh. Don't go deleting things. Is he going to. Okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, Spell no. sport. I know. Mm. Just don't. Just, just, you know, don't worry about it now. It's fine. The moment's passed. We've got it? Go on then. <laughs> I can't. I've got to dance. I can't stop myself. <laughs> right. That's enough. Right. That's enough fun. It's enough fun. Enough organised fun. Right. My earpiece. Get it back in. There we go. Ah. Okay. So. Thank you, says Anne. Ah. Well done, lovely. Uh, so we are um, going to be bringing you your price point for this ring box. This is 20 by 15 by 5. It's in this gorgeous silvery grey kind of flock quality. It's absolutely, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, you've got your lovely little clasp on there, your lovely little closure. Uh, when you open it up, it's got a little strap here to stop it from falling back too much. It's just gorgeous. And um, it's got this really lovely kind of flock quality inside there as well. And anything you put in here, whether it's rings, whether it's earrings, whatever it might be, it's just going to look more, uh, it's going to look higher end. It's going to look more special, more cherished, more thought about, more cared for, which is exactly what you want, not only if you're selling jewellery, but if it's your jewellery as well, if it's an heirloom, if you've mm. been passed jewellery down over the years, that's exactly what you want. Lots and lots and lots of people already coming through. Tons and tons of people multi-buying as well. Okay. The deal of deals. I've got a couple of price. Do you want to show a couple of price comparisons? Okay. A couple of price comparisons. Have a look at this first one. Now, this one is a wooden, is a wooden ring box. And it's for cufflinks. Oh, I suppose you could use it for cufflinks, couldn't you? Uh, and it is £89. It's gorgeous. Like I say, it is wooden. Um, but the inside looks absolutely identical. And it's what's inside that counts, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is bright pink. And it's the closest I could find to kind of size-wise. Pretty cool, though. I like it. Um, for kind of gold and silver jewellery without any gemstones. And I think it would look really, really cool, actually. Now, that is a bargain at £19.99, yeah? Yeah. 
Loads of people coming through. We do have over 300 chances available. I need to see more people. There are tons of you coming through. Caroline's bought two. Maker and Ashley's bought two. Jill's bought two. Debbie's bought three. Margaret's bought two. Pamela's bought three. Lynette's bought six. Cheryl's bought two. Davinia's bought four. Loads and loads and loads of multi bidders coming through. It's not going to be £89 and it's not going to be £19.99. £19. Today, we are taking this all the way down okay we've got to see as many people there as we possibly can in one minute's time we are taking the price point down and oh my word it is a phenomenal price point you are going to be getting this for today well done loads and loads and loads in baskets what a lovely thing to own and what a lovely gift yes oh yeah wonderful it's a lovely gift i just it occurred to me i'm thinking of myself but yes you know for what you could use it for but what a lovely thing to gift so maybe some people are buying one for themselves and a couple for a gift yes absolutely and also wouldn't it be lovely to be able to gift one of these and put just one ring in oh, there yes how lovely would yes. that be how lovely would that be just gorgeous uh well done loads of people coming through lots and lots and lots of people adding this to their baskets already which is just gorgeous 20 by 15 so 20 by 15 by five there you are 20 by 15 by five well done caroline's got four helen's got two there we go here's your deal this is gonna go wild okay we're about to send the phone lines into meltdown because it's 9.99 one price only there you go, nine ninety nine. That amazing. is phenomenal, so isn't lovely. it? That is absolutely brilliant. I love this flocked quality. It as just well. makes it look so high end and special. And it really does. Oh, it's lovely. It's a gorgeous piece, isn't it? Well done, everybody coming through to get these. This is this is just superb. It's half the price of the of, of the pink one there, which is which is also absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Beautiful. Well done. And yes, Anne Clark, who just won the Wall of Fame. She can buy 10 of these if she wants to. There you go. Gorgeous. Why not? And uh, lovely Julie Dudley. She can buy five of these if she wants to. I know, because she's just come second in the Wall of Fame. Well done to Metley. You've got two. Lynn's got three. Cheryl's got four. Angela's got two. These are stocking up for, I know we're a million miles away from Christmas. We're not even halfway to Christmas, but stocking up. Uh, I'll be doing my first fair in July, anxious, but buying lovely display yeah. boxes, easing concerns. Yes, Davinia. And that's what's so nice. If you've got a load of ring kind of uh, podiums, I guess, to kind of put your jewellery on, that's really nice, lovely, and it creates lots of lovely layers. But to be, cre uh, sorry, but to, but, but to put in your really special pieces, yeah. maybe your antique pieces, your pre-loved pieces, maybe pieces using, um, uh, made using recycled gold or something like that. Yes. Or, um, or, you know, expensive gemstones or whatever, or well, pieces which are just special to you. This is such a lovely piece. No, it's not lockable. It doesn't have a lock on it, but it does have a clasp to kind of close. Yes, but it's not locked. You can easily open it, obviously. And I tell you what as well, like if you're about to do your first craft fair, get all your stuff out and practice your display on your kitchen or dining room table and That's anything and then take a photograph of it because your brain you know you're looking at it too long have a look at your photograph see what looks pleasing to the eye I would also recommend that you have these boxes to, near you near the back of the stall anything expensive so that you've got your security there because you'll be serving someone over Ooh. here you've got your expensive pieces on the front of your stall it's easier for them to get lost so have anything expensive raised up at the back of your stall try not to have everything flat have some things raised up absolutely um and it just it will add so much beauty to your stand i think as well if you've got um if you've got a particular gemstone so if somebody says do you know what I, do you know what i'm looking for i'm looking for turquoise you could have a box and it's all turquoise yeah. jewelry maybe keep yeah. your kind of gemstone separate maybe i don't know um so um loads and loads and loads of people coming through thank you so much for my wall of fame uh when old oh, julie the past few months have been extremely difficult and the past few days have been dreadful oh my sweet Aww. julie's really been through the mill over the last uh, few months and we've been in constant contact haven't we darling so sending our love to you and just and just yeah just you deserve it sweetie you've you're, you're an absolute legend um studio jewelrymaker.com uh, thank you for that, Eloise. Yes, yes, that's our email address. Uh, so, hi, all fa uh, fab show. You all make my day. Oh, lovely to see Kinga. See, <laughs> see, uh, see Kinga. <laughs> she was not happy, uh, but um, fantastic. Well done to everyone. Presenter Kinga. Yeah. Oh my word. Yes, We're Kinga. We're swapping. Presenter in a Kinga. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. There we go. That's a very simple note. There we go. 
Loads of people on the phone lines. We're going to give our call centre a chance to catch up, but pl please do keep coming through for this. Loads in baskets. Check out. This is about to sell out. Here's how to buy. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. So well done to everybody coming through to get these. Beverly, I can see you've just checked out two. Bridget, you've checked out two. The baskets are stacked, though. Can I give you a few basketeers? Would that be all right? Um, so baskets. Oh, my word. Uh, Elaine in Hampshire. Anne, you've got yours in your basket. Uh, Alla in New York. Check out my lovely Janice. Uh, Alison in Kent, Jane uh, in Cumbria, Alison in Hampshire, Elizabeth in Cleveland, Joe, Jackie, Carola in Oxfordshire, Karen, Emma. Oh gosh, well done to everybody coming through to get this. Uh, loads and loads and loads in baskets. Well done to everyone. Absolutely superb. Look at the amount of multi bidders we've had as well. It's been just superb, isn't it? It's just, it's just wonderful. It's, it's so great to be able to bring things like this to air. Um, it's the kind of thing that, you know, whether you're going to be um, uh, getting the ring mounts today that go with the gorgeous gemstones or whether you've made your own rings or whether you love your different styles of jewellery as well. So maybe you've got a, a wire work ring that you've made in the style of Laura Binding or in the style of Debbie Kirsch or in the style of Claire McDonald or mm. something. And, you know, you might have a different box for kind of different styles of jewellery. Yes, Ollie. Oh, no way. No. When did no. you get decided? No. No. Okay, wow. Like even 50p less than this is incredible. It's already incredible. So let me make this clear to you. It is a Jake show today, so we know it's going to be very busy. We've got gorgeous cup chain kits as well coming up, which we know are going to be really popular. We know it's going to be a really busy show. There is no need for us to do this. <laughs> the only reason why we're doing this is because we've got close to 400 chances available. We've still got over 150 in baskets. Loads of you have already checked out, but we still have about 100 chances left. Oh, my word. This is going to go absolutely correct. This is, this is not part of the plan. This really is not part of the plan. Um, Seven <laughs> pounds and 99 pence. Wow. How's about that? That's only slightly more expensive than some of those cardboard gift boxes you can yes! buy. Yes. Oh, incredible. my word. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, my word. Yeah, we've got new ring mounts coming up today. Those two look like, oh, those two are the same, but it's for slightly different size gemstones. And we got this ring mount as well. Look at this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great prices and craft stall tips from lovely Debbie. I know it's great, isn't it? I like that idea of taking a photograph of, of, of your kind of stand on your kitchen, you know, set up in your kitchen. I love that. That's great. You can great. see more because, you know, when you do art, you spend ages looking at it. You have to stop looking at it. And sometimes if you take a picture of it, you can see it more clearly. So walk away, have a look at the photographs and try not to have it all flat. So even if you turn a shoebox sideways and put a cloth over the top, it can look high end and you haven't spent any extra money. Yes. And then pops and busts on that so that you, you've got this sort of pleasing to the eye sort of steps. Yes. Um, I did craft this for a long time and I spent ages perfecting my stall. Good. I bet you. <laughs> Did. it sounds like you did that's amazing also with this kind of uh, with this little window here which i think 
I don't know whether it's glass. Yeah, I think it's glass. Yeah. Um, you could put uh, your own your, your own kind of business details on here if you wanted yes. to. A little card with your details on there or even a little mirror. Uh, you know, so people can, well, if you put earrings in here, then you can put a little mirror there. Gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. I just I just love that. I can't believe that's only seven ninety nine. Way too low, but well done. Uh, I, uh, sorry, it can cover over yeah. eight pounds for a, sorry, it can cost over eight pounds for a car wash. Gosh, what a price for a ring box. Jill, yes, slightly odd kind of uh, uh, thinking there, but yes, you're absolutely right. Taking a photo saves time setting up. Yes. It does. Do you know what? And, and also taking photos of uh, where you've parked the car. <laughs> oh, I'm useless. At I that. am so bad. And especially if I'm driving my husband's car. I go in the car park and I look for my car and I think <laughs> someone's stolen my car. Why anyone would want to steal my little beetle? I don't know. But And then I'm like, oh, someone's stolen my car. And then I remember I'm looking for the wrong car. The wrong car. Do you know what? It's happened, it's happened to my friend before where he's um, been to the shop, came out, uh, sorry, been to the shop, walked home, said my car's missing off the drive rang the police the police came out he said my car's been nicked blah 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 blah, blah. he drove to the shop <laughs> and he left the car at the shop <laughs> oh i feel better now <laughs> It's the best one, isn't it? Oh, my word. Well done, everybody. Erica's got four. Pauline's got two. Lynette's got seven. Hampshire's got three. So many people check out. Uh, Quantity-wise, how are we doing, Neary Nunu? Oh, no. Less than 50 chances remaining. Well done to absolutely everyone. Right, so we have got so much coming up. Lynette Sport 9. She's clearly got something planned or she's got a very large jewellery collection. Uh, we have got here all of the gorgeous cup chain coming up in the next hour. Oh, my word. It's just sublime. We've got it in these gorgeous kind of dusky pinks and lavenders and kind of, um, uh, uh, yeah, and kind of uh, mauves. We've got it in beautiful blues. Blue. Oh, yes, you can see it there. Gorgeous. Beautiful blues and silvers and kind of darker tones, richer tones. Um, you're getting corresponding seed beads as well. Can I just show you those? Corresponding seed beads and 200 meters of your cord as well. Oh, my word. That's how Debbie has done all of the crochet. Um, <laughs> look at her go. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that lovely? Really, really lovely jewelry. And then we've got a gorgeous red and orange kit, which you can see there with the seed beads, but the cup chain is all kind of these gorgeous reds and oranges as well. Coming up today, we have got the launch of a brand new gemstone uh, cut. It's called the Honeycomb Cut. And we're launching this with Jake Thompson um, uh, from 10 a.m. this morning. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's coming with semi mounts as well. We've got brand new semi mounts coming up as well. So again, really exciting. Look, it looks like that one's green amethyst, which is one of my all time favorite oh, yeah. stones. I love it. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, look, 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 we've got a kit with oh, the most beautiful honeycomb kit. Um, uh, sorry, honeycomb cut in it. Um, Debbie's put a beautiful pearl onto this gorgeous pendant. Does that pendant... Do, do, do you, does it come with the pendant? You get the bale? pendant, you get the bail. Oh, I love the bail. It's, go it's gorgeous bail, you're it absolutely really right. It really looks high end. And then obviously the gemstone, and then you can choose how you want to put your personal design stamp on it. So you don't even have to put it on a silver chain if you don't want to, you yeah. can put it on a gemstone strand. That, I mean, that could be a ring as well, couldn't it? I suppose, maybe. It's just incredible, yes, isn't it? Uh, thank you for the ring box. It's for my great niece's birthday present. There you go, yeah. Carolyn Blackpool. Gorgeous Prezi. Well done, lovely. She's not going to think you spent seven ninety nine on her, by the way. It looks so much more, doesn't it? It's just gorgeous. Do not go anywhere. Huge congratulations. Keep coming through for that. We've still got a couple of genuine chances left. Well done, everybody. Do not go anywhere. We will see you in a couple of moments for the most amazing kit and a gorgeous demo with Debbie. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, it's our 12th birthday, and to celebrate, we're giving you the chance to win the week. If you spend £20 or more across any of the days during the birthday event, you'll be entered into a prize draw. Now, every day, the presenters and designers will be adding all the best products into a hamper, and you could win all the goodies inside. Come and join the celebrations on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, 
This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 12 years, 12 days of fun. It's going to be amazing. Jewelry makers, it is your 12th birthday. I wanted to say happy birthday to everyone. 12 years of jewelry making chaos. Most importantly, for everyone that's been watching for the last 12 years, happy birthday to you guys. But more importantly, I just wanted to say happy birthday to Jewelry Maker. It has been an absolutely amazing dozen of years that we have had and may it long continue for everyone that's watching over the next few days just sit back relax and enjoy some of the ridiculous birthday deals that we have for you but nonetheless i wish you all a fabulous birthday period here at jewelry maker and once again 12 years of absolutely beautiful jewelry Kits. I think that, that 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 little slidey thing there where it says jewellery maker kits is very much these kits. <laughs> it is. And look, it's purple and all the colours <gasps> are like gorgeous. Oh! Looky, look, look. I have to say, these kits are gorgeous and they are a little bit different to anything that we've seen recently. Yes. We've We've had obviously seed beads recently, you know, but seed beads are something that we always try and have in stock. We've even bought you these big 200 meter spools of, of um, cord, which is absolutely brilliant. Bobbins, mm. I can't remember the last time we, we bought you bobbins. <laughs> Sorry, there's something funny about the word bobbins, bobbing isn't there? Along, there is something, yeah. Bobbing along on, on the bottom of the beautiful prize seat. Uh, right, but one thing. <laughs> Got that out of the way, didn't we? <laughs> uh, but one thing that we have not seen for an absolute, what feels like an eternity, is this cup chain. Makes me happy when you do that. Look at that. I love it. I oh. absolutely... There's loads of it as well in the kit. Yeah. There's absolutely loads. In each kit, you are getting three, I repeat, three meters mm. 
of your cup chain. It is literally incredible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because Ollie said it's boho and high end at the same time. You look like a classy hippie. Really now, classy hippie. I'm remembering hippie. that because I'm now going to be a classy hippie. You are a classy hippie. I'm a classy hippie. Yes, absolutely. Just the kind of person who goes on, on a retreat in Ibiza. <laughs> but still wears a diamond. But still wears <laughs> a big fat diamond. Uh, so, <laughs> you've, oh, just look. Oh, Michael, you are loving oh. that, aren't you? I can tell Michael. Look at that. Look, that could be one of the oh. ASMR videos, couldn't it? You're absolutely it right. It just makes you feel happy looking at that. So pleasing. So pleasing. I could watch those videos all day. So could I. Especially the Noises of things, of people's kind of, yes. Oh, yes. This is absolutely incredible. We have not seen Cup Chain for an absolute age. We are going to do, oh my word. We are going to do the red kit. This is so lovely. And this is what um, Debbie has made her gorgeous kind of festoon necklace yes. out of using just the cord, okay, and the seed beads, not even using this cup chain. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I love it, love it. So these are your seed beads. They're all, they all look like 11 O's. They're 8 O's. Are they 8 O's? Yeah. Oh, yes, it, yeah, you're absolutely right. They are, aren't they? So you've got red oranges <laughs> and you've got these gorgeous golds. Red being the most different, as, I beg your pardon, red being the most difficult colour to achieve in any, in anything. Yeah. Whether it's a dyed fabric, whether paint. it's a, pa yeah, paint, yeah. or whether it's a seed bead, Yeah. So that incredible necklace, and I, 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 I wouldn't even like to try and guess how much cord you've used in that necklace, but I bet you've got literally reams and reams and reams left over. Oh, I mean, that's why the bobbins are so useful, because you've got 200 metres of cord. Here. Oh. You can do different projects. So you can decant 10, 20 metres onto a bobbin, have one project going, and then sort of another 10, whatever you need for your project. Now, I knew that not everybody would want to put the cup chain with the absolutely cord. definitely so, yeah with this one i went more sort of boho it's gorgeous. think about doing your um your katie parker sort of crochet necklaces yes, definitely. that sort of thing but because you've got the lovely colors like the purples and oranges and reds are so beautiful together so this wasn't using the cup chain for those people who want this i'm going to use the cup chain for something else um, maybe if you've been a this. This is so nice. hippie. So again, that is just um, single crochet, a chain stitch with single crochet, and it just goes like that. The so colour of these seed beads is quite flat, isn't it? I Which looks it. really poppy against, yeah. the, against the cord. It's really gorgeous. Also, there's so many textures as well. It's yes. just so, it's a feast, isn't it? Here are your bobbins. You're going to be getting two, four, woo, six, eight. I don't know about you, I have got a bag, a huge bag at home, just with ribbon in it. Yeah. Just with ribbon. I love ribbon. There's something about it. I love playing with ribbon. I love wrapping. Um, um, I've gifted, um, um, I've gifted um, a, couple of, a couple of books to friends of mine before, and I don't wrap them up. I just put a ribbon around it. And I just, I just love, I love ribbons. Or if I give my friend maybe a glass of wine, uh, sorry, uh, not a glass of wine, a bottle of wine maybe for a birthday, I'll always put a ribbon around it. These are invaluable for putting things on or if you're going to be or if you're going to be embarking on a you know on a big big project you know to kind of ready load up things for maybe your beaded kumihimo as well but it yeah. is the cup chain that we have not seen for uh what feels like years actually obviously um obviously we don't we don't really get anything from Shorovsky anymore Shorovsky have ceased to kind of exist making um, they're smaller pieces and the kind of pieces that we got, they're focusing mainly on the kind of larger pieces, the big kind of, um, the big kind of made up pieces, the big kind of collaborations with designers like Jean-Paul Gaultier. And, you know, that's absolutely fine. I really hope they've made the right decision. I don't think that they have. But anyway, that's, that's just my opinion. But you are going to be getting one, and this cup chain, when we first launched a cup, when we first launched Swarovski cup chain, this isn't Swarovski, but when we first launched Swarovski cup chain, this length here, and it was launched on Christmas Day. Do you remember with lovely Zena and Mark? And this piece, it was, it was about that long. Uh, it was launched at about, yeah, about nine. To, this is just a slightly smaller one. So maybe about 20 pounds. 
Um, some of the larger ones were 29 99 You are getting the equivalent of one, two, three of those wow. just in one colour. So you're getting the equivalent of, of three of those in one length. So you've got, so this would be 20 pounds times three. Yeah. Then another 20 pounds times three, because you've got another colour here. Look, you've got this gorgeous um, uh, champagne bronzy colour. Isn't that just delectable? I love it. The beautiful thing about these as well, and this is something that we've had, bef um, this is a design I've seen before, because you're getting these beautiful little movable crystals. Can I just show you that nice and up close? Because you can see that you can either have them really close together like that, or you can stretch them out. You can actually put the cord in between the crystals. Yeah and kind of separate them out into, um, into macrame uh, pieces, you know, pop the cord in between them. You can actually connect them together so you can make, uh, sorry, there I am, Michael, there we go. Uh, so you can make little, uh, little um, uh, rings out of these. It's gorgeous. But guess what? You are getting another meter. So you've already got the equivalent of six of those cup chain strands. So that would be the equivalent of what? 120 pounds worth of cup chain if it was Swarovski, okay? Red. Oh, my gosh. I want to put that with Jada. I don't know about anybody else. I want to put that with Jada. This is absolutely phenomenal. You've got another meter. Three meters of your cup chain. And like I say, when we first bought these to air, or cup chain to air, I should say, and it was Swarovski, and it was on Christmas Day, um, uh, each one of these would have been divided into kind of three and you would pay about 20 pounds per, per one. So, that's, so that would be uh, th here, the equivalent of 180 pounds worth of cup chain, if that was Swarovski. So let's say, okay, we realize it's not Swarovski. You're still getting three meters and everything else, the seed beads, the cord and the bobbins, 120 pounds, that would make each one of these meter strands, 40 pounds a piece, and everything else is free. It's incredible, isn't it? We've got lots and lots and lots of people coming through to get this already, which is absolutely fantastic, okay? So you've got here all of your bobbins, all of your bobbins, you've got all of your 80C beads, you've got 200 meters of your cord, and three meters of the most delectable cup chain. It's gorgeous. Now you could go all out, and that is, I mean, that is completely ridiculous. It's just, just so gorgeous, isn't it? Or you can just go really delicate, really simple, really elegant, make them into necklaces. You can do all sorts of these cup chains. I love them, and it's been an age there. Yeah, they do look really high. I think it's because they're gem set. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 200 meters on the spool of cord. Let's wrap that around my hand. So one, two, three, four, about five bracelets, if not slightly more, at least five bracelets. That is amazing. It's beautiful. Oh my word. If somebody told me that that was Songi of Ruby, I'd probably believe them. It's, I mean, it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? You've got it in um, the colors you've got, by the way, it's silver plated base metal you've got with uh, the, the gorgeous golden colors, the beautiful bronzy kind of um, champagne colors, and then this gorgeous kind of uh, bright, bright, bright kind of Chinese New Year red. It's absolutely superb. So, so each one of these meter lengths have got about the equivalent of about three of the original lengths on them when they were when we bought these to air. Okay, so these, so these, so these would have been launched at round, when they were Swarovski and we launched them on, on on Christmas on Christmas Day a few years ago per chain. So that would be per per kind of thirty odd centimeter length. Um, it would have been about twenty pounds. Okay, you've got the equivalent of nine of those in this kit, which is ridiculous. Let's do twenty pounds per cup chain shall we and everything else is free <laughs> oh my word it's absolutely incredible yeah 59.99 so you've got here 20 pounds per cup chain and everything else is free so that's your eight bobbins your three loads of seed beads and your 200 meters of your 
purple cord. That is incredible. This is going to be the kit that goes on and on and on and on. It really genuinely is. And when you start to bring in these seed beads, you see how beautifully the colours go together. It's just gorgeous. And the purple just offsets beautifully, doesn't it? It's just gorgeous. We're at 59.99. It's no way near your price point today. Hello to everyone getting involved already. Well done to everyone who's got this in their baskets and checking out. This is great. Great to see you there today. You've got here the equivalent of three meters. Well, not the equivalent. You've got three meters of cup chain, which is the equivalent to nine loads of the cup chain that we launched years ago on Jewelry Maker. Eight bobbins, 200 meters of your cord and your three tubes, full tubes of your 80 seed beads. Here's your deal today, all the way down. All the way down, enjoy. 29.99. That's amazing. <laughs> um, I think we had some Gosh. questions about how to add a clasp. There yes. are quite a few um, ways you can add a clasp to just this cup chain. You can use your ribbon crimp ends and actually crimp them into the ribbon crimp. You can use the little tiny kumahimo ends and glue them in. You can wire, put some formal wire in between, make a loop and add your clasp to that. Yeah. Um, I actually, you can crochet them into your design and therefore you're adding um, them into whichever clasp you're using with your crochet. Um, or what I did with the necklace was I took maybe four into a circle yes. and glued them so they're in a circle ah. and then you can add them onto wire or, or whatever. What so a nice idea. There's lots of ways that you can add a clasp. That is gorgeous. I love that. I love the. I love. I love the thinking behind that. There are so many options with the, with with this kind of kit, isn't there? There's so much. Yeah. Uh, so many options with the cup chain. It's gorgeous. Well done, Maker Barbara, Janet, Lisa, Caroline, Debbie, Gerati. Well done to you, Kerry, Gabrielle, Maker in Avon, Maker in Angus, Maker in North Yorkshire, London, Helen, Susan, Melanie. Oh, well done to you, Maker in Cardiff. $29.99 is your incredible deal. That is absolutely superb. Well done. 0800 644 655. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655. So the cup chain obviously isn't Swarovski. I assume it's probably going to be a Preziosa product or something uh, something of the like. Uh, that's where, That tends to be where we get most of our... Um, pieces like this from now. Uh, and I have to say, it's beautifully made, just the same kind of quality you'd expect to get from Swarovski and just the most amazing price point as well. Just incredible. Well done, everybody. Okay. Okay, let's do, oh, this purple kit. This is so beautiful. Much more delicate colors um, through the cup chain here, aren't they? That is just sublime. <gasps> I mean, very delicate. Love what you've done there with the seed beads. I think you can use them all together or you can use them separately as completely separate components. Yeah. You could definitely use this kit for your beaded kumahimo, most definitely, for your macrame. Oh. I'm going to show you briefly how to um, do a crochet rope. Oh, You can do the same nice. crochet chain stitch like I've used in the necklace and mm. how we've done them when you do your, like Katie Parker's seafoam necklace, mm -hmm. that's just a chain stitch. But of course, you've got the added colour of the cord, which I think just adds to it. Yes, it really does, doesn't it? It works, uh, it works uh, kind of with the seed bead colours and it also works against them which which actually is a really nice thing like in this kit here uh, that we're looking at there it works kind of very much kind of against them but it's a colour block isn't it mm. whereas with this kit it works very much with these so this kit you're going to be getting oh hang on you've got one there we go oh, look at this like diamonds ah What's oh beautiful my about this one is that because you've got different shades of the purples and lilacs, you could ombre this. Oh, yes. Same with the cup chain. So you could ombre either crochet, macrame or kumihimo the cup chain in. You just add it to the stitch as you would a bead. Yes. Um, and I think the ombre with this would be beautiful. I didn't have time to ombre, so I just did stripes. But you can see how there are lots of different design options with this one especially. Mm. And the blue, actually, because you've got different, not contrasting, but the same sort of tones of colour included in the cup chain as well. 
Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Look at that, isn't that, that works so well. This kit works so well, it's so harmonious, isn't it? This, it just works. And of course that contrast between the kind of, the kind of matte seed, matte kind of solid opaque seed beads and then that bright, yeah. blingy kind of um, uh, sparkly cup chain just, just works so well. There's your cord as well, which just, ah, oh, just, it just really works alongside everything so well. So the same cup chain as in the same lengths, a meter in each color. So that's three meters of your cup chain, loads of your ATOs and 200 meters of your gorgeous cord as well. Very, very popular, this one. Uh, Catherine, Lynette, Maker and Ayrshire, Stella, Janice, Mary and Jerry, Lisa, Debbie, Christine, Victoria, Angela, Patricia, Helen, Marilyn, Barbara, Anita, A, Maker, Beverly, Lynette. Well, the loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Well done. Here we go. We are taking these far, 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 far lower than I really think they deserve to go. Eight of your, yes, eight of your bobbins as well. Well done to you. 0800 644 655. Well done at 29 pounds and 99 pounds. Well done to Anne in Anglesey. Well done to you. Gabrielle, it's absolutely flying. And just, it can be, and this is what's so nice about this um, uh, jewelry that you've made, Debbie, because as you say, it can be really bohemian and really kind of uh, loose and kind yeah. of knotty and gorgeous or it can be bright and it can be really just the other end it can be very very formal it could be something that you'd wear to you know the the oscars or or the baftas or something like that i think it gives you something different mm. so like that one there i've actually wrapped the cup chain round yes. just because i wanted to get something made with all three designs and it would have taken me longer but you can crochet the cup cup chain if you want it to sit oh, really? flush yeah if you want it to sit flush in with your beads yeah. you just crochet it in mm. but if you're not a big crocheter then you know wrap it round bob a little bit of jewelry glue on the top so it stays where you want it to and I just think that it gives you something really unusual it's like I'm sure if I wear that people will say where'd you get that because it's very unusual yes absolutely definitely um also you know we were talking about using it with the cord and kind of crocheting with it as, as and I'd love to see that in a design but you've got here your, um, uh, because the the um, the cups, as it were, kind of separate, but they can also be bought together. If you do want to include it into a macrame piece, I'm only saying that because I remember I've got, I've, I've got a macrame bracelet at home using mm. the cup chain yeah. with the cord in between. The cord acts as almost like a little a little kind of spacer in between the cup chain. That's actually quite nice because all of the cup chain together is beautiful, but it is almost blinding. It's, it, I mean, it's, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And putting the... Putting the cord in between them kind of separates them out a little bit more, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Patricia, Cheryl, Janet. It's gone absolutely crazy. Well done. Also, just thinking about kind of more of a crafting thing as well. If you wanted to hot glue gun these around the rim of a pencil pot yeah. or around a picture frame, because it's a really articulated chain, because it's because it's all been yeah. kind of lint, uh, uh, kind of hinged together. If you wanted to kind of um, hot glue gun these onto kind of um, uh, things within the home you absolutely could do couldn't you absolutely and I think because it's malleable it's very mm. easy to work with and it's just um, you can cut links so you yes. can have it dropping down you can cut links and sort of down to the middle and up and then you mm. could just add your cord as your neck piece yeah I think there's a lot you can do with the kits very versatile they are very very versatile bead We've... embroidery would be really lovely yes sewing this kind of onto a cushion mm, yeah. you know into a name or a, a letter or something Ooh! okay final kit that, that was very popular lots and lots of people with that kit in baskets please check out okay so you've got the same 200 meters of your gorgeous um cord we've got oh oh whoa 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 yep the most amazing blues here. You could definitely ombre these. It's absolutely, yeah. it literally sounds like Barry White just walked into the gallery there. <laughs> Has Jake lost his voice? What happened? Is it hay fever? Oh dear. Literally sounds like Barry White. Anyway. So you've got eight of your bobbins, you've got your ombre, your ombre beautiful seed beads. I shouldn't be cruel. Uh, and you've got, oh my gosh! The blue is really beautiful. I can't decide between the blue and, and the purple. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my word! 
these are gorgeous. You've got this gorgeous kind of almost like a Santa, um, a Santa Maria aquamarine blue. You've got your gorgeous cobalt blue and you've got your jet kind of black as well, haven't mm, you? Very Ooh. breakfast at Tiffany's, that black one. Oh, isn't it? isn't it just? Yeah, very Audrey Hepburn. I love that. So three meters in total. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There's your seed beads, your eight bobbins as well, and your 200 meters of cord. Oh, look at that. Okay. I love it. The most amazing, amazing kit. Okay, Neary Nunu, what are we doing? Yes. Oh, yes, that sounds amazing. Okay, last kit. It's going to be, we're going to give you a bit of a discount deal. Bit of a discount deal. Can I just say as well? Yeah, the world's most favourite colour with you, gorgeous blue. Twenty four ninety nine. Oh my word! Absolutely amazing. Just incredible. Twenty four ninety nine. Can I just give you a? Can I just give you a, a mere suggestion? From the first kit, from this kit, and from oh, the second I know kit. What you're say. Jubilee. Jubilee. Oh, that's a great idea. Platinum Jubilee. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? Have you got any plans for the Jubilee weekend? You... We were going to have a street party, mm. but um, we're not sure if that's still going to go ahead. But oh. We'll oh, I hope it does. Yeah. I hope it does. It's my daughter's birthday on the second, um, uh, sorry, on, on the second day, on the fourth. Mm. Um, so, yeah, she's... Uh, yeah, we're having to postpone her birthday, her birthday party. But yeah, I think it's going to be, I think it should be great. There's going to be lots going on, isn't there? I think there? so, yeah, lovely. It's going to be good fun. Uh, $24.99 for you today. Well done, Maker in uh, Cheshire. Pamela, well done to Mary and Janice and Maker and Angus, Maker in Hertfordshire. Well done. Loads and loads and loads of people there. Well done. Okay, demo. Demo. Demo, oh. Dabby, demo, Dabby. So... Where do we start? <laughs> what what you need is a crochet hook. Oh! <laughs> if you're going to do tubular crochet, which is what I'm going to show you, you need a crochet hook. And I've worked on a 2.5 mil crochet hook, and also a big eyed needle would be very very useful for. Okay. On. So as with any beaded crochet or any even kumihimo, anything you choose to do in this way, the longest part of it is just getting your beads onto the thread. So we're going to start off just with um, a big eye needle here and you just pop it onto your thread and then what I've done is I've threaded on my beads now if you've not done this before I have a suggestion mm -hmm. that you do a six bead round because this will help you to know which bead to go into next so one two three four five six let's move this one out of the way and you can see then on your cord which bead to go into next. Now, another little tip as well, which will make more sense when I show you, is to actually write the order on your tubes. So if you get in a pickle, you will know that it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you know which bead oh, to nice go one. into next. Um, I hadn't bead crocheted a tube before I did this. Um, so, you know, I taught myself, I do crochet. Now, what you need to do for the bracelet, which I'll just grab to show you, mm -hmm. for this bracelet, I used 200 of each colour. So if you take 200 of each colour on your mat and then just do colour one, colour two, colour three, keep mm -hmm. going. If you just want to use all one colour, then you can obviously put them on with a bead spinner and that will be quicker. But if you've not done it before, I really do suggest that you use three colours so that you know which bead to go into next. OK, so I'm going to move that one out of the way. So when you finish finished stringing on your beads, remove your... Um, big eye needle and then sometimes that will make your um, cord frayed a little bit so just get rid of the frayed bits because you know let's face it we've got 200 meters so yes it's, no, <laughs> it's not the end of the world and then what I've done is I've just round wound all of my beads around my spool as I go now with any crochet you need to start off with a slip knot lots of different ways to do slip knots and you will find um, these sort of basic crochet crochet techniques on our YouTube or, mm -hmm. or on our website. So what I do is I go round into a knot, a circle rather, like that, bring the back tail round like a little peace sign and then reach in and pull it and that makes your slip knot. Pop your hook on 
And the reason it's called a slip knot is because it slips up and down. It slips. Now, the main problems that you may run into when you're trying to crochet is that you're making these knots really, really tight and these are loops really small, wow. which makes you fight with it. So you don't want to be fighting with it. You just want to have a bit of a gap there. It doesn't have to be really, really tight onto your loop. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is drop down six beads. So one, two, three, four, five six and i'm going to attempt to show this slowly because i'm used to doing it quickly mm -hmm. now crochet is all about muscle memory so once your hands get used to it you'll be off and away but don't lose patience it can take a few hours of practice and repetition to get to that point but it's really really mindful and relaxing once you do so i'm going to You'll find your comfortable way to yes, hold it. Yes, of course. I go round my little finger and then round my pointy finger and sort of hold on to the beads that way. Mm. But if you do it differently, that's fine. You'll find your way. So what I'm going to do is drop down the first bead. It's all about the tension. So you need to have good tension. And then how you do a chain stitch is you just yarn over, which is bringing the yarn across the top of the hook towards you. Yarn over and pull through the loop that's on your hook so then you've captured that little bead in okay. this you need to do that six times so that's one yarn over bring the yarn over the hook towards you grab it with your hook pull it through the hook that's already there uh -huh. so problems you might run into if this loop on the hook as i was saying before is incredibly tight yeah. you're going to be fighting to get your hook through so if you're fighting with it then maybe think about just relaxing your tension a little bit so we're going to do that six times one two Three, four, uh -huh. five, and six. And then I'll show you what we have. So then what you're left with is a little row oh, of six beads. Cute! So we need to bring that into a circle. There are various different ways you can do this. This is the way I do it that different ways work. Some people go straight into adding the beads. I like to connect the ring first. So just get hold of your chain stitch row so that all your beads are facing the same way. In other words, like having it all twisted won't help you later on. So just try and have it so all of the beads are facing front. And then what our aim is to connect these two ends together. So what I like to do is go through the thread that's above the first bead. So just go behind it. And then I'm going to bring those two loops together. I'll keep it still in a moment. Just let me get the position again. And then what you want to do is yarn over, as we did before, and pull through both loops. Okay? So now my little circle is connected. And I'm going to work up into a tubular crochet from here okay okay so what we want to do and that once you get past the first two or three rows you're off and away but these are the rows where you can get in a bit of a pickle yeah but it's not a problem because if you get in a pickle you can just take your hook out and it'll unravel and you can ah, start again okay brilliant okay so this is a great um, advantage to having 200 meters <laughs> is that you can practice and practice of and course practice. yes okay so to do a crochet rope you want to bring your next six beads down. So let me grab six. I usually just have them in my hands, but this is if you've never done it before. One, two, three, four, five, six. So bring your next six beads down. Now you might want to bring your beads down one at a time. That's completely up to you. Um, I like to hold them in my hand. Again, you need to find your ideal way of doing it. So I'm gonna get them in my hand. Now, I don't know if we can come in a bit closer on this, because I need to show exactly where to put your hook. Uh -huh. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks, Ollie. Um, so what you're going to do is put your hook behind the bead. So there oh, is okay. a thread that goes through this bead, and you need to put your hook behind that thread that the bead goes through, not yep. through the bead, through the thread. Now, if you've done beaded kumihimo, you'll know what I mean on the next part. You then have to move your bead out of the way so that you can get the oh, hole. Okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Where you might go wrong here is dropping the next bead down and carrying on. This thread here, which is your working thread, has yep. to go over the top of this bead here. Ah, okay. okay. So if you know what I mean by kumihimo, when that little bead nudges yes, in, you almost it's, capture it. You don't capture you? it, it's the same. Okay, and then you drop the next bead down. I'm trying to do it slowly. <laughs> so that you've definitely got this thread 
On top of that bead, you're adding your second bead, yarn over and pull it through both of your loops. Oh, loops. okay, yeah. There, okay, so that bead is now sitting on top of that bead and then you continue in that fashion. Now the good thing about having six different colours, if you think, oh it looks a mess, I don't know which one to go in next, have a look on your chain and it will tell you which colour to go in next because you're always adding the same colour on top of each other, that's what makes this stripe pattern. So the same colour goes on top of the next bead. So I know that I'm going to go through this sort of amethyst colour one next, so let's just drop that one down. Mm. And this is where you might go wrong is when, you know, you're looking and you think on oh, crumbs, I don't know which one to go yeah. through next. You can see quite clearly that that's the colour of the bead that's on your working strand. So I'm going to yeah. go underneath this. Make sure you're going just underneath the thread that goes through the bead. Mm. Pop the bead over the other side of the hook. Bring yeah. the thread on top of it. Drop your second bead down and bring your cord through both loops. So now you've got the second lot sitting on top of each other. Can you see that? I'll do one more and then I'll show you as it, as it grows what, okay, it, what yeah. it looks like. So again, you're not sure which bead to go through because it just looks like a bit of a bird's nest at the moment. Don't worry about that. It does until about the fifth row. Mm. So you can see you've got this lilac colour so that you know the next one you're going to go through is the lilac one in your little round, okay? So I'm going into the lilac bead underneath the lilac bead there just just one just one strand if you find that you've got like three on your hook you've gone through an extra one so just pop your hook out and try again and then we're going to just pop over and you get into a rhythm with this over the top of your hook out of the way there bring the cord across the top drop down your second bead and yarn over and capture that bead inside. So now you've got three beads that are all sitting on top of each other. So this is how you would continue on. And when you get to about the fifth row, you'll see your tube start to form. Now I'm going to start show you with the blue of it will oh, start stunning. It'll okay. start to look like this. So if you're going to get stuck, you're going to get stuck in the first couple of rows. When you get to this point, it's quite self-explanatory. What's that message? I've just learned crochet. crochet. I sat watching the telly one night and got carried away. I ended, I ended up with a massive, massive chain, chain on my lap. lap. No idea what to do with it. <laughs> I know, isn't it relaxing? It's so mindful. Somebody stop her! Do you know, I did that with Kumahimo and I just had Kumahimo ropes everywhere. I was like, what am I going to do with them? Um, so you can do this chain addiction <laughs> that you now have by just adding a bead to it. Yeah. So chain, drop a bead down, chain, drop a bead down, it will catch. And that's how I made the purple necklace. Mm. That's how I made, um, you can add gemstone chips, you can add gemstones to it. So this is just a chain with the little um, seed beads inside. So uh -huh. you, that's what you can do from now on. Oh. And if you sit watching telly, you don't have to uh, think about it. Okay, so once your chain is... Now, the great thing about the bobbins that come in the kit is if you've got different projects on the go and you know how much thread you need for them, then you can. That's just a thread... Um, stopper on there but you could use anything a paper clip whatever um, just so that I can put that down and then start on it again so I'll do another round for you so that you can see sort of when it when it looks like it makes sense and not yeah. like a little bird's nest so you can stop and start this again so it's a little bit more clear to see as your tube gets on yeah. sort of what beads to go into next because some are sticking up but still sometimes you can get in a, in a bit of a pickle but as long as you're doing your three um, different colours then you're going to be okay because the next colour on here is this kind of sort of see-through blue so I know that that's the colour that I'll be going through on my um, piece. So I'm just going to there is no way to tell you to do this because you'll find your own way exactly, how, your, your yeah. hands, how your hands work. So again, I'm going to go underneath the blue bead here, move it to the side, drop it down. I'm making sure that that thread's going over that blue bead that yep. I push to the side. That's the important part or they won't sit nicely. And then yarn over and back through. And back through. From both. Both of 
the loops. Now, again, Gorgeous. if you're struggling, it's because you're making, especially this loop on your hook, too, too tight. tight. Yeah. So that when you come to go through the second one, you'll be like, oh. but it's not the end of the world. You will get it through. Um, that's, that's not a problem. Okay, so next one is this color. So I know that on my round, I'm going under this one. So as you can see, I'm a lot less cat candid when I do it quicker because you sort of get into this rhythm and through. Now, if you wanted to add your cup chain to this design, let me just grab a uh, blue. You would want to cut your cup chain to the desired length and then all you do is capture this cup chain inside the stitch instead of the bead. So let's see if we can, we can do it on this one. So you move your beads back down your thread so that they're out of the way and then you would go through your next bead, move it to the side as you would but instead of adding a bead that you've got on your strand you would add a piece of cup chain here. Now for the first one, sometimes it's easier to just have a little tail hanging out that you can cut off later. And just get your thread there, just between the cup chain. Go over the top. Make sure that your cup chain, hold on a minute, let's get this correct, is through. And then you would bring it through the two loops and your cup chain is then captured in the stitch. So if I let that go a minute. And then what you can do is as you go around, your cup chain will sort of be inside the design like that. So it will be sort of an equal height to your beads. Now what I did, because I just found it quicker and easier, was I finished my little um, tube and I'll get the finished one out for you. I finished my little tube, so I made this one into a necklace, but you could make it into a bracelet or, or whatever you want. And when I'd finished, I finished off my ends by just taking my ends, taking my needle back through and just sewing it through a couple of times so that my ends were clipped off. And then I took my cup chain and I wrapped it around my finished piece. Now, if you want to keep it in place, you can pop a bit of jewellery glue oh, underneath the cup chain so, so that it doesn't move. And as for finishing, on the bracelet, I actually crocheted the first cup chain into the top of the crochet. Or you can take oh. your end and actually just tie it in. And then I glued that with the length of crochet into my end caps so oh any gosh. kumihimo larger end caps will work and then you can pop on a chain a chain there or with this one what i did was i got the cup chain and i took it into a circle and then i just glued those two pieces of chain together with jewelry glue so that i had a circle Ooh, clever. and then I just fed that onto a piece of wire and wrapped it round. Does that make sense? Mm. So if you want to crochet your chain in, it's absolutely gorgeous. And there are some um, tutorials online about mm. different crochet methods. Or if you don't want to put your cap chain actually in, you want to make a feature of it and have Love it sitting that. on top, then just wrap it round and glue it into your end caps. And if you don't want it to move, which it doesn't really, if you do it no. tight enough, you can add a little blob of, of glue on each yeah. one. That's gorgeous. And it's as simple as that. If you need any tips on beaded crochet, come and find me, um, JM Guest Designer, Debbie Kershaw. Ask me any questions, it's fine. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, but I think a truly versatile kit for whatever Definitely. you decide to do with it. Now, clearly, thank you, Debbie. Clearly, you've made all these gorgeous pieces. You're going to have a lot of cord left over. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Why not... Oh, <gasps> ooh, ooh, nice. Star by. Now this, this has been 
This is one of those bundles. And I have to say, on, on Sterling Silver Day, but also on other days throughout our birthday event, whenever we bring a bundle like this to air, it just goes nuts. We've had them on when we've had pearls on the show. We've had them on the show when we've had gorgeous sterling silver on the show. And now we've got them when you're doing crochet. It just shows you how, if you wanted to go super, super, super high end, because there are bracelets like this with cord yep. and, with, and with precious metal spacer beads um, on Outnet, on, uh, on, on uh, Netta Porter. You've got, there's loads and loads and loads of, of different, um, really high-end designer pieces for hundreds of pounds oh yeah three figures for cord and yes. sterling silver space that's exactly it but but it but it, it looks lovely it works and it's wonderful to be able to layer these pieces up as well it's just gorgeous it's i mean it really really works beautifully now these beads are all slightly different okay so we've got here sterling silver spaces in three and four mil Okay, so you've got three mil and four mil. Okay, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful. So you've got your three and four mil, three and four mil spaces, okay? And they're plain silver, very, very high shine, gorgeous quality, gorgeous shape. They work really well. They're beautiful. And, you know, in between your pearls, they make really lovely punctuation marks. Um, they're gorgeous. Oh, lovely, oh, lovely. Thank you, Olivia. A piece of wire. A lovely piece of wire. Have some wire. Thank you, lovely. Thank you, my angel. So we've got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I go through. I've given you two thick. Oh, oh no, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So you've got your gorgeous sterling silver spaces. These are really lovely and they're really simple and really. There we go. Dead, dead simple. Gorgeous. We all know what we're getting there. Yeah. We then add into the mix these bad boys. Now, these are four mil spacers and they look like mirror balls. Oh. I mean, think the Bee Gees. I absolutely <laughs> love these. If you want to create that sparkle, if you want to create that intensity of colour, these are absolutely perfect, aren't they? And these would look amazing, I think, within those crochet designs. They would. Also elastic. Elastic <gasps> bracelets are You're massive. absolutely right. Oh, there. <laughs> Yes, and I, yes. Who's reading my mind? That's exactly it. Neary's just found some elasticated yeah. bracelets. Also, you've got these beads as well, which I always find difficult to see where the drill hole is because these are not just oh, any spaces. These are, these are a beautiful, gorgeous wisdom and guidance set of two. That's lovely. I love that tassel on there. That's wonderful. How much is that? Sorry. Yeah, hundred what? Over hundred pounds. I know which brand this is. Oh. I've got one of these. That is really nice. £60 though. for one. Really? Yeah, I know. I like it though, but £60. <laughs> yeah. If you were to make, and I haven't seen a single stretchy bracelet made with bees like this, you've got this incredible kind of heart shaped diamond cut quality um, out of here as well. They are just so. It's a different kind of bead entirely to this one here. The, this, you know, the, the, the um, uh, mirror ball one is very glitzy, very kind of um, um, uh, sparkly, very blingy. Whereas this one here, it's just a little bit more refined, isn't it? It's yeah, got definitely. that higher kind of uh, colour to it, that kind of whiter colour to it because it's been, uh, uh, it's been um, uh, stardust, um, um, uh, um, the, the kind of... Textured. Uh, textured, thank you. Yes, because it's not coating, is it? It's all textured. Uh, the bead is textured itself. It's a lovely George Jensen piece. I love George Jensen's designs. Very, very simple. Really kind of Scandinavian and just and just really beautiful and wearable. That will all be sterling silver. Really high quality. Uh, Moonlight grape silver bracelet. Mm. Two hundred and fifty quid. I'm feeling better about the 60 quid now. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> these are all 925 sterling silver. You're getting 25 in each in each one of these. So 25 of these, 25 of those, 25 of those, 25 of those, okay? Yes, in stretchy bracelets. Yes, as beautiful uh, little um, 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 additions to your beaded crochet, to your beaded kumahimo. Just imagine the jewellery you can make with these and, and all this cord, because you've got 200 metres of it, Debbie. And, you know, often friendship bracelets, so just take a length, not either side of three beads, maybe a Starbucks uh, sort of texture bead, and yes. two plain ones, and then just do a macrame slidey knot. Oh. And this is what I've seen for three figures, and I've actually 
looked at them thinking there must be something else about this is why it's so expensive. Like it must be a different cord or I've looked at a couple in boutiques pretending that I'm interested just to see what was different about them and I couldn't see anything different. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's it, isn't it? Also, just going back to sliding class bracelets, just literally as a little bead on the end yeah. of the of the of the piece of of the piece of Eslon or whatever yeah. it might be with a knot in it. Yeah. That's gorgeous. But just going back to what Debbie was saying about stretchy bracelets, the knot will hide, particularly in between um, um, inside these kind of four mil spaces. The knot will go inside the four mil space, yeah. which is absolutely brilliant. It's exactly what you want uh, to happen. Um, uh, who was it who was making stretchy rings here? That was Susie Benham. Yes. Uh, making stretchy rings uh, okay. using space beads and, and using elastic and, and beautiful ruby and sapphire. The, you know, the elasticated knot goes inside the bead. So it really is a wonderful way of hiding your workings as well. For at 99.99, it's no way near your price point today. We're going to go all the way down for you today. Do not despair. We are going to give you the best possible price that we can. We are going to go as low as we possibly can. It's all 925 selling. We've got the gram weight on this, Neary. Do you get 100? You get 100. See, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? You can your ring, your bracelet yep. to match. I'll be interested to see what these go to, actually. So 25 of the 3 mil, 25 of the 4 mil planes, 25 of the 4 mil um, uh, um, uh, kind of mirror ball ones, and then 25 of the gorgeous diamond cut stardust ones. We're at 99.99. Two point, uh, sorry, yes, uh, two grams of 925 stone silver there i reckon you're getting more than that you are getting more than i think you must be getting more than that but anyway it says it, it says two grams i think we might have missed something out there but anyway we're at 99.99 15 seconds we're taking the price point down all the way look at this gorgeous quality all slightly different all doing different things all adding different things to your jewelry um your price point today you're going to absolutely love this here we go all the way down Three, two, one, twenty-four, ninety-nine. Really good. Hundred. Wow. Yep, that is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Well done, everybody. So yeah, that's what twenty-five pence per space would be, which is incredible, and it can make all the difference to your jewellery as well, can't it? Oh yeah, because it turns something into a sterling silver piece. You know, oh, yes, you're right. Elasticated yeah. bracelet. Put your favourite gemstones on, and just have like three or four of these, um, and just do your knot by the large one so that you can hide the hole. Absolutely. And if you've and if you've and if you've uh, invested in any of our incredible pearls over the birthday mm. celebrations as well, it's yeah. your chance to be able to say, um, yeah, in a in a bracelet, and even in a stretchy, a pearl and sterling silver bracelet. I think we I think we do kind of we we do kind of um, overlook sometimes the importance of saying on your on your piece of jewelry on its description sterling silver yeah it's a precious metal and we can't forget that can we it's and really it's the important main question that people asked me when i had my stores, i bet it was yeah was is that sterling silver what's that made of so you yes. always need to know exactly what you've put in your pieces even if you just make a little note for yourself so that you can tell people if you sound informed you look like mm. you know what you're talking about you're going to sell more plus if it's sterling silver people expect to pay that a little bit more yeah, don't they, do. they yeah um, and it's and it's you know if you've put sterling silver with your jewelry, then it says a lot about how you feel about your jewelry, the kind of benchmark that you feel your jewelry kind of achieves, and kind of the price point that you believe the jewelry should be sold for. It's really important. So um, yeah, just just four of these, just like that actually, I just literally as a drop earring, as a little charm, would be absolutely perfect. Um, so you're going to be be able to make those earrings kind of time after time after time after time. That's absolutely incredible. I can never have enough of these. I run out of them constantly. And also, Debbie, don't you think it's kind of um, commercial jewelry that you're making? Jewelry that will apply and appeal to absolutely everyone, won't yeah. it? Oh, absolutely. And you know, even if you're using one on the bottom of a pair of gemstone earrings, I always reach for them. Yes, oh, you know, for they're sure. They're actually in a little pot on my desk all the time because I reach for them so much. And they can really make or break a design. They can really give you that space you want, that little bit of metal. They turn a gemstone piece into a gemstone and precious metal piece, even if you only put one on. And that's exactly it. And I think it's, and I think with certain gemstones, you know, they, they need that bit of space, particularly with gems like your opal as well. You want yeah. to get as much light yeah. as possible into that opal. So it absolutely is, a, it, it, it's of a huge benefit. Now look at this. I think this looks really nice. Just as a really oh, lovely, yeah. your centerpiece, maybe to a bracelet, maybe, oh, oh. Can I blame Debbie for that? No, yeah, go on. no, no. I'm Sorry, I went Debbie. like that. <laughs> but just in the middle of a sliding glass <laughs> bracelet. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> right. Gorgeous. Oh, really? Base metal, oh, silver plated base metal chain bundle coming up. Oh, now. They're lovely for... Could wow. you crochet with 
Yeah. I reckon you, you could, can, couldn't yeah. you? If the uh, yes, you can because yeah, you can because you can trap or you, it or you or can you go could through it, the bigger link. Yes, yeah. or you could plat with it or yeah. if you made a load of the crochet pieces like you've done with that gorgeous purple necklace and then just kind of plaited them together but put a chain in the middle as well. It's going to add very a really lovely because it's all about texture and all about kind of creating something which is um, appealing to the eye and lots of light and shade. Ten chains. They're all silver-plated base metal. You've got long, long, long elongated rectangular chains, uh, um, rectangular link chains here, which look absolutely gorgeous. You've got your uh, your f you've got your gorgeous curb chain here. That's really nice. That's really unisex actually. That chain. I like how flat mm. that sits. Lovely. What looks almost like a Figaro chain. There's your Rolo chain. You get two of each one of these, by the way. And you get another, oh, sorry, that one's got diamond cutting on it. That one doesn't look like it does. But yeah, you've got really, really beautiful decorative chains here as well as your really, I mean, that's a really secure, stable chain, isn't it? Your, your um, curb link chain as well. That's so, I haven't seen that one before. All silver plated base metal. They're all, uh, I believe, 18 inches in length. I would have thought so. Let's, uh, have we got the details on that? Lovely? Or is it 16? Do you know they're beautiful? 18. They're all 18 inches in there. But base metal chains, they are they're really nice, really aren't lovely, they? Lovely, aren't they? Yeah. They're nice, I think, because of course we've gone for those different links. I think sometimes if it's, you know, yeah. no, you won't necessarily want to put sterling silver with absolutely no. everything. You know, if you're making um, um, uh, and you're planning on selling it for X amount, maybe to raise money for charities or you're selling it at a local village fate, then you might not want to go down the nine carat gold sterling silver route. You might want to go for silver plated base metal so you can then bring things to people for a lower price point. Gillian, Maker, Janet, Tracy, Bernadette, well done, nine ninety nine. Whoa. For all of them. That's a pound a chain. Oh, that's good. And they've all got clasps on them as well. They've all got the clasps on them. That's absolutely incredible. One pound a chain, Tracy, Yvette, Fiona, Maker, Dorothy. Also with this gorgeous cord as well, if you wanted to go with, oh, I don't know, any of the chains actually, but if you wanted to weave just some of this cord through the chain as well, that's just going to look great, isn't it? Or if you're making your units with the breeder crochet like I made with the necklace, mm. um, I've got chain on, on that. So if I just bring it here... So I've obviously used chain there, but it's mostly cord and it's mostly seed beads. So maybe you don't want to waste a precious metal yeah, chain on that. That's a good point, yeah. Um, so this is base metal, this this chain here. And then you've got different ones to choose from. So maybe you've got three of these units and a little bit of chain. Maybe it's longer and you've got like one hanging down. Wonderful. I think that, 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 you know, really, really useful to have in your stash. Um, suggestion for Carol's birthday, bring on Wayne with his deals uh, <laughs> would make for a fun day. Trust us, there's going to be some pretty sensational deal. Can I tell you, your early bird special, by the way, is a Burmese sapphire rosy relinked chain. Oh. That's your early bird. Yummy. Yeah. So there's a lot happening tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, right. Do not go anywhere. Debbie, thank you so much for that, sweetie. You're we will welcome. see you again at midday. Yes. After the break, we're going to be joined by Jake Thompson, our gem guide, uh, for a brand new gemstone cut. This is incredible. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, it's our 12th birthday and to celebrate we're giving you the chance to win the week. If you spend £20 or more across any of the days during the birthday event, you'll be entered into a prize draw. Now every day the presenters and designers will be adding all the best products into a hamper and you could win all the goodies inside. Come and join the celebrations on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 12 years, 12 days of fun. It's going to be amazing. Jewelry makers, it is your 12th birthday. I wanted to say happy birthday to everyone. 12 years of jewelry making chaos. Most importantly, for everyone that's been watching for the last 12 years, happy birthday to you guys. But more importantly, I just wanted to say happy birthday to Jewelry Maker. It has been an absolutely amazing dozen of years that we have had and may it long continue. For everyone that's watching over the next few days, just sit back, relax and enjoy some of the ridiculous birthday deals that we have for you. But nonetheless, I wish you all a fabulous birthday period here at Jewelry Maker. And once again, 12 years of absolutely beautiful jewelry. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of eight till five. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh my word, this is going to be the most phenomenal Gem Guide show. We're joined this morning by Jake Thompson with a brand new cut. Good How morning. <laughs> it is an exciting, exciting cut. Uh, it's wonderful to be joining you this morning. My name's Jake Thompson. Um, and today is all about celebrating bees and the wonderful work oh, they do. Yes. I absolutely love bumblebees. I absolutely love the honey they make. You can probably tell from my voice, my body does not agree with the pollen in the air. Uh, but that is absolutely fine. That takes nothing away from the incredible hard work that is the industrious bee. And uh, I was really inspired by the bees to develop a cut, a gemstone cut, to celebrate what I think is actually one of the most important and underappreciated days in the whole calendar, World Bee Day. So next Friday, don't worry, it's not bee day as in the toilet everyone Thank eats, the Istanbul uses. Jake. It is... Bees Day, <laughs> Honey Bees Day. Um, I'm very fortunate, in fact, to have a honeybee nest in my garden. So I absolutely <gasps> love love bumblebees. Yeah, not, not, it's not an apiary. It's not something that I put in. They have a, a colony have formed in an old bird box in my garden. Oh, how wonderful! So, and, and 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 because I absolutely love the work they do, I've said no. We're not getting rid of them. We're not calling oh, in no. whoever it is you call in. Um, and they're, they're just going to they're just going to live there in the tree. Um, and, and we're incredibly, incredibly fortunate for that. But I absolutely love bees. I absolutely love bumblebees. I love everything they stand for. Um, I'm a Manchester lad. So for those of you who are from Manchester will know that the bee is uh, is the, the symbol 
of Manchester, of that great city. Mm. Um, and and I, love, I love the ethos of the bee. They're hardworking. They're doing it for someone else, for the Queen. I absolutely can tell. I've got a love affair with bumblebees. I could talk for two hours about bumblebees. <laughs> but this isn't National Geographic. It is Jewelry Maker. <laughs> and so I think you'd be quite disappointed if I did. But next Friday is World Bee Day. And I wanted to give you the opportunity to work with a cut that I, di I designed, uh, cut the master stones for, and had our team who work with Glenn Lehrer, Rudy Rubito, they, they, they have performed this cut for you this morning. This is the first time this has ever debuted on Jewelry Maker. We have only ever done it once before on our sister channel, Gems TV. And by that, by that measure, it's one of the most unique, but also one of the most limited and exclusive oh. gemstone cuts we have ever performed. Now, when you think about, when you think about bees and you think about designing a cut around bees, the, the most obvious place to go would be the honeycomb. And you can see there the bee in, in the honeycomb in, it, in its natural setting. That'd be the most obvious place to go. Maybe we create a hexagon cut. Mm. And I'm here to tell you right now, that's a great idea. Hexagon cuts <laughs> are wonderful. They're brilliant. In fact, they're so good that the Gem Guide have highlighted them mm. as one of the most up-and-coming cuts. They, Shidem Lula, Dr. Shidem Lula says here, unusual cuts have proven to be popular lately. Dealers of many different backgrounds and custom cut styles their selections and particularly are enjoying better sales of hexagonal shaped gems. So outside of bees, hexagons are very much in. They are creating very contemporary jewellery out there right now. Hexagons are, are arguably the in vogue gemstone cut. So I'm here to tell you right now, I am not offering oh, you Jake. another hexagon cut. But the hexagon cut is very much at the heart of what is happening in our gemstone industry today. If I, I've introduced you before to Rudy Wabito, one half of the Wabito brothers, master gemstone cutters. And the, 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 the signature, if you will, of Rudy Wabito, the Wabito signature is their world famous, their iconic snowflake cut. But what a lot of people don't know about this cut, I only know it because Rudy Wabito's trained me to do the cut so I could train our team to do it. What a lot of people don't know about the Wabito snowflake, all of its complexity, you look at it and you go, I don't even know how you'd start no. to cut something like this. I'm going to let you into a little trade secret here. You start with a hexagon. Oh. Yes, you start with a hexagon. You start the preform into a hexagon shape. And only then do you then cut into the hexagon outline to break apart that hexagon formation and instead create the unique, the unique um, pattern Gosh. here. And, and, and Tom's just asked me a really good question. How do you not split the gem? Mm. Uh, because a lot of people, I think, would imagine you saw into the gem. You, you know, you're sawing in these divots here yeah. to, to, to break apart the strong line of the hexagon. I don't know if I'm allowed to let out this trade secret. I'll do it anyway because there is another feature built into the security of this cut. It's so difficult on so many uh -huh. different levels. You don't cut into it. You don't use a saw, Tom. You actually use a spinning wheel with grooves that are all carved into it. Oh. And, and that's how you do it. And oh, my there's another gosh. For you. But Rudy is the only one who makes those wheels. So you've got no way of doing it unless you can get the wheel from Rudy. Oh, my that's why God. It's that's incredible. Cut. But the point is, it starts with a hexagon. And when we were developing a cut, and I said to our team, look, I really want to pay homage to the bees the hardest working animal in nature. Mm -hmm. In fact, in many ways, I want to go one step further. I want to create the hardest working gemstone cut ever mm -hmm. unveiled to the world. And our team of cutters looked at me like I was crazy. They were like, we've been working with Glenn Lehrer for 10 years. We've been working with Rudy Wabito for years. We've worked with some of the best, Brian Cook, for years. They have cuts that work extraordinarily hard. We can do you a cut that works harder than around Brilliant, but a cut that works harder than any of theirs? I don't know if it's possible. We do not know if it's possible. So what we've got to do then is we've got to learn from all of them. We've got to learn from each one of the gem masters and take that lesson 
and crystallize it into the cut so that it works harder than Rudy's. It works harder than Lehrer's. It works harder than Brian Cook's. And it's not about denigrating their work. You know I love these people. They are friends and family. But it's about creating a cut. that If, if this cut works harder, it's because it's standing on the shoulders of the lessons that these giants, these mm. masters, have gratefully and gracefully taught us over the years. So the lesson we drew from Rudy's cut was that you don't have to be as obvious as having a hexagon outline. Mm. In fact, if anything, the most beautiful cuts in the world are far more nuanced. They're far more subtle in their appreciation. It, it's, it's, that, it's that subtlety, it's that nuance that takes them to another level of artistry. And that was really Rudy's powerful lesson to our lapidary team as we developed this cut. Then we came on to Glenn. And Glenn has launched a whole host of cuts with us here at the Gem oh, Partnership. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here, here you've got the... Oh. Well, this is actually... This, is, this was a, an evolution of the Taurus. Was it? Oh, I beg your pardon. It was. Yeah, no, they're, they're very similar. So the Taurus is Glenn's signature. Yes. And the Taurus has a drill hole all the way through, yes. which he frequently sets a diamond into. Yes. Here, we have the Quasar. And it looks like a Taurus except the diamond fell out. And you can see here, look, the it looks like the diamond's fallen out. But the big difference between the quasar and the torus is that this actually isn't a hole. This is solid. This is solid no, it's not. Is it really? This is solid gemstone material. It looks like a hole's been drilled. Brief. But actually it's not. It's solid gemstone material. And what we're witnessing, do you see these petals over here, all the way around? That's actually the reflection of the cone that's been cut into Glen Lehrer's. And so what Glenn Lehrer taught us, more than anything else, was how to bend light in the most unconventional wow. ways possible. So we said, OK, we want to have something that is a tribute, an homage to the bees, but not so obvious as the hexagon cuts that are setting the world alight uh, in high-end boutique stores. We want something more sophisticated. We want to use what the, what the science, really, that Glenn's taught us around bending light mm. itself. We put all of these lessons together. We stitched them together at the lap wheel. And the creation is, in my view, the hardest working cut. And I will justify that. Objectively, I believe it's the hardest working cut in the gemstone world right now. And mm. before we go any further, I'd like to give you your first glimpse at our tribute to the honeybees. I'd like to give you your first glimpse at our honeycomb cut. Take a look at this. Oh, my word. It is the most incredible cut. And when you say hard working, this it's, gem it's working is incredibly working. Hard. Now, Tom, Tom, producer Tom has just said something that I don't think he realised how on point he was. This is completely... Tom, I know you hate it when I do this. He does. He but does. could you just repeat for me what you just said? Go on. No window. Go on, Tom. His first in impact, his first yeah, instinct. Yeah, yeah. No window at all. No window whatsoever. Now, window is one of those really interesting phrases in the gem world, because I think it's quite misunderstood, personally. What is a gemstone window? Let me show you a case of what is and what isn't. Mm -hmm. Okay? On the left, you've, you've got a zircon. <laughs> you've got a zircon here, very well cut on the left, and you can see how all the light is reflected back out, no window whatsoever. Yeah, okay. On the right, though, look at this. You can actually see the text which says window just behind yeah. it. This is to demonstrate no window, lots of window. Mm -hmm. But there's a grey area where so many people misuse it. And it's here right now. Let's think about the round brilliant cut. Round brilliant cut. We look at it face up and it looks beautiful. Yeah. But can you see the round brilliant cut in the bottom right? Yeah. Now? We're looking at it not from face up angle. We're looking at it from a tilted angle. And you can see through the gem. So a lot of people will describe this as a window. 
And you may have done at home as well, have you? When you see a gem like this, you look at it from the side, perhaps as it's going round on the lazy Susan, we look at it and we say, oh, I can see the window. In actual fact, this isn't a window at all. A window is where you see through the gem from the face up position. What we're witnessing here is just the limitation of almost every gemstone cut on the planet. Of course. Because gemstones are cut to maximise beauty from the face up. Most every gemstone, without exception, is cut so that when you look at it in optimum positions, you see complete return of light. And the consequence of doing that is that when you look at it from a non-optimal position, you're going to see through the gem at certain parts because you can't move the angles as you move the gem. You can't recut it as it's moving around on your hand. It's just not possible. Think of even Rudy Wabito, a master gemstone cutter. If we come back to Rudy's here, look. You can see it there, yeah. You actually can see it on the angle shot. Yeah. In the face-up shots, no problems whatsoever. On the angle shot, you're starting to see through the gem. It's not, win it's not windowing. It's just the limitation of every cut ever performed until this one. <laughs> and the magic here is that as you see, Carol, you can see this has got a table face. In fact, Carol, if you wouldn't mind, you've just done the perfect yeah, thing for me. Yeah. There is your table face. Hexagonal. One, it's hexagonal. So there's our tribute to the bees, mm. the honeycomb form. But also you'll notice it's much smaller. Mm. It's a much, much, much smaller um, window. Uh, much more, it's sometimes known as a window facet, actually. Uh -huh. Table facet, window facet. The two terms are interchangeable. <coughs> but what Carol, Carol is now showing you is what might traditionally be called the crown facets, the facets yes. that surround yes. the table facet. But in this cut, they are all honeycombs as well. They're exquisite. And what you see is how they actually, they aren't crown facets. They are actually more table facets. And, and how do I define that? Could I please put the, the, the recording just behind me? Because I think it's really important for you to understand the science just behind the beauty of what we're looking at here. So all of these surrounding facets that would normally be called crown facets, yep. they're not. They're behaving like a table facet. If we just pause it when it comes to the centre here. Oh, you're not able to pause it. Okay. So when it, as it comes round... When it comes face up, I want you to notice how oh, look right the that. way through to the Kool-Aid, you see it, and you see all these lines match up. Here you go, right the way through to the Kool-Aid. Boom. That's your window. But then look here, as it moves round, and this loses that window position, yes. these crown facets, they turn into a table facet. Good That's why you get this ex point of extinction here, then it shifts point of extinction here, then point of extinction here, all the way to the very Girdle. This has never, to my knowledge, this has never been achieved in a gemstone cut before. We've taken Glen Lehrer's light bending lesson mm. and we've put it here. You've got this cabochon dome, which then has this, this honeycomb facet yes. arrangement over the top. You have the point of extinction. You are down to the Kool-Aid. Wonderful to see. Then we go again down to the Kool-Aid again. Then we move again. You've got five or six table facets on the same gem. And of course, if you were to, we're angling this left to right, if you were to angle it up to down, the exact same phenomena would happen. And what makes this cut so unique is where the magic is taking place. Now, the reverse side of the gem, where we traditionally think of, you know, 57 facets in the round, brilliant. Mm. Most of those are located at the pavilion. The reverse side of this gem is actually remarkably simple. Have it's a look. Incredible. It's actually just a series of grooves. Yeah. It's remarkably simple to do. It's not, it's not concave, is it? It's, it's, it's not it's concave. No, so concave is where you do the normal facet arrangement, but you, 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 you put a slight camber, a That's reverse it. camber yes. into them. Almost like a corrugated... This is, this is yeah. something slightly different. So if I could, I just want to bring you over to the blackboard here. Because... <laughs> Professor what, Jake Thompson. <laughs> we're going to go back into the science just before we open this up. Yeah. Because I really want you to understand. Almost every cut on the planet, the magic happens south of the girdle, beneath the girdle. So the girdle is this point here, the widest point of the gem. I've just highlighted it in green for you. This is the girdle. Almost every cut, the magic happens at this part of the gem. 
This is called the pavilion, and the magic happens here. So think of the round brilliant. Mm. You've got 57 facets on there. It was magical at its time. Almost the overwhelming majority of them are placed here. Mm. What are the lights that, what are the facets that deliver that brilliance for you? They are all located here. So the magic happens there. Think about Glen Lehrer's. Okay, what does Glen Lehrer do? Glen Lehrer went, okay, I'm going to invert, this part is called the coulé, the bottom point. He says, I'm going to invert the coulé. There's your Taurus ring. Yeah. In the dotted line. Do you want to make it a quasar? We bring it here. We don't quite break through the gem, and we just put a little, uh, a little dot there. Yeah. There you have your quasar. Yeah. So you see how most of the time, the magic in a gemstone, it's all existing beneath the pavilion. Mm. We flipped it on its head. We've said, no, no, we're going to keep the pavilion Very simple, clever. but this is what we're going to do in the honeycomb. I'm going to put it in yellow for you, like a rich, treacly honey. Um, we start off almost with a, with a, with a deep cabochon buff. Uh-huh. And that acts as a magnifying glass. Yes. So we're magnifying whatever's happening beneath here. We, and we're familiar with that phenomenon of magnifying a buff top. Mm. Then what we do is we, by hand, create facet here, facet here, facet here, facet here, facet here. And each of them are a honeycomb facet mm. to create this magnifying honeycomb that really pulls out Bends the light as Glenn, as only Glenn could teach us how to do. Mm. And you can see, you really see the dividend in, in what you're looking at right now because you get no window from this. You, see, you can see the coulee. You literally, you can chase the coulee across the gem. Yeah. We see it in the centre there. It's just gorgeous. Move into the next one. Coulee again. Into the next one. Coulee again. And it's for this reason. I know of no other cut. I know of no other cut that has escaped the window trap. No other cut that, that yes. can look good from every angle. We're not saying uh -huh. this is a cut that delivers, really powerfully can deliver it, it, from one angle. We're not saying at its best, when you look at it at its best, it beats all the rest. We're saying yeah. it beats all the rest because it's at its best from every Absolutely. possible angle. This is why it's the hardest working cut in the gem world. Amazing. This is why using very simple science of grooves and optics, we've created the honeybee, quite a simple creature, but an incredibly hardworking one. And this is our homage so that you, by World Bee Day next, day, next week, you can be crafting oh. your own honeybee jewellery, your own honeycomb collection. We have never offered these stones outside of fine jewellery before. I'm incredibly proud for debuting this with you this morning. And this is going to be our first piece. We are kicking off with the largest Stunning. honeycomb we have performed. We've never performed a bigger one. This is a 12 millimeter sky blue topaz brought to life with the honeycomb cut. Look at that. The, uh, it was exactly it. We were commenting on this before the show. We were all standing around this morning, Jake, saying the material yeah. is top. It's quality. as if the light itself, there's nowhere to hide in the cut. You're absolutely because right, you, yeah. Because you're benefiting from, really, rather than one table facet and then, you know, 16, 17 crown facets around it, you're benefiting from, essentially, there are 17, 18 table facets. Yeah. All independently trying to drag the light out of the gem. Yeah. So that you're giving you a huge optical effect. I'm going to say, we're going to open our phone lines for the first piece. Tom... We have got brand new mounts. I've commissioned yes, even beautiful. 12 millimeter mounts, by yep. the way, to house these. 12 millimeter mounts. Tom, I understand. Are those available online right now? We're going to pop, we'll pop all of them on there for you. At home, just find the mounts that work for you. Remember, 12 mil, 12 mils will work with any 12 mil round I've previously oh, bought you. Wow. 10, same again, eight, same again. Remember, I've always, if, if you've got more mounts already at home and you're waiting for the stone to use, here it is. This is with immense pride, immense pleasure. I'm excited to see what you think when you get this oh. home. The Lodge, standing on the shoulders of Glen Lara, standing on the shoulders of Rudy Wabito, the launch of the hardest working honeycomb cut. 
Oh, my word. This is incredible. You've got here an exclusive launch here on Jewelry Maker, the largest ever honeycomb cut. I am absolutely, uh, we are all absolutely enamoured with I, this cut. I, and I think if you, it, it's a premium cut. I mean, if, oh, if we were going to enter a cut account. into AGTA, by the way, this would be the cut I enter. Oh, wow. be, because it, Because it's yes. performance. If you're going to blow away an AGTA award-winning judge, the way you do that is by giving them something they've never seen before. Definitely. What have they never seen before? A gem that has no window, even from a side viewing platform. Mm. They've never witnessed so many wind table facets there. Oh my gosh, now people are, so many people there. I think everyone knows, look, this is the biggest size. You want to dive into that honeycomb? Yes. You want to really explore that optic oh, phenomena and no. make it in Cardiff is the first person to get involved. Huge congratulations. We've got SJ in Surrey diving in as well. Susan, Anne, Essex, Claire, Helen. Wow. So many of you are jumping in because you know this is the largest example of this cup. Now, Glenn... It is practically family for me. Glenn, Glenn literally came to my wedding. Rudy, I've known Rudy for years. It's their contribution that has made this possible. Yeah. And both of them, rightly so, world-renowned artists, their work is highly exclusive. Yeah. In fact, even when we launch Glenn here, we're looking at what? £200? On a good day? Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right, Jake. Would that, or have I, under, have I undercooked that a little but bit? I think, I think, yeah, I think maybe kind of... Maybe slightly. I have. Maybe yeah. I have, and I'm not trying to do a disservice to Glenn there if I have. Yeah, his, his art, in my view, is worth four, £500. Um, so £200. Again, Rudy Robito, highly exclusive cut. You're probably looking at north of £200. Oh, definitely. In terms of precision, in terms gonna of process... You're not going to be able to this, everyone. Tom, I'd like you to bring in £200, please, for the largest piece of the show. For everyone who's on the phone lines, anyone who's got this in their baskets, yeah. everybody wants to desperately know what price. But Jake, I, I, I would just like to thank you so much for bringing this to air. And I know you're uh, massively under the weather today, but I know how how That's how. Okay. No, no, I, would, I wouldn't miss this today. for the world. This is the, this, pollen. Is, this is this is the pollen yeah, of the hardworking bees. <laughs> this is an opportunity to own an exclusively cut world class stone. Inspired by lapidary giants, and it makes complete sense well, that there aren't carat. that there aren't going to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. A, it's a six, six carat, carat sky blue topaz. topaz. But also, Jake, the amount of lapidaries who are physically able to to oh, complete no, this cut, I, a, I bet I could probably count them on one hand. Uh, the team, the, well, you couldn't. The six, six <laughs> of the team. Okay, That's six. It. And th those six... Goodness me. Those six people cut our Glen Lera pieces. Oh, cut our seriously? Rudy Robito pieces. Oh, my gosh. They are, the, they, are, they are the only six people in the world I trust to do this. Oh, my word. I'm not stopping here. This is crazy, by the way, everyone. Um, th the price point which we're able to do these for today, I don't know how we can do it. It must have taken hours to cut this single stone we we do about one of these a day oh my gosh and the reason actually, oh wow we, we get the pavilion done in about an hour okay so the the bottom half of the gem is, is completed within an hour it's yep. the top half of the gem yeah because this has to be done completely by free hand there's no jig to help you here you start with the cabochon dome and then you are just piece, you know, stroke by but, stroke. But Jake, even the pavilion with this kind of almost what I can only describe as almost a channel or almost a gully, which it is, literally is carved into it the is gem. It's a carved groove. It's just super. Glenn really helped us pioneer this technique. Carol, we're Go going on. under 100 pounds for this <laughs> cut. Oh! I'm telling everyone today, happy birthday, jewelry maker. Oh my gosh. We are, we're we're nice. taking one of the most premium high-end exclusive cuts on the gemstone market today and we are making it under 100 pounds you've got to be acting quickly for a six carat topaz this, this is a massive statement if we're bringing you a six carat round brilliant i don't think we'd be under 100 pounds that's exactly it 
under £100. For anyone who's got that in their basket, you've just got to check out, because honestly, this to me Tom, looks like a four-figure Can I get a 60-second clock on this? Oh, my gosh. Just... Let's th kick this... it off. I'm going to say well done to Karen, to Helen, to Debbie, to SJ, to Cardiff. Yours is 100% coming to you. I've got Deborah, Anonymous Makers, Pauline, Lorraine, Susan, Anne, yeah. the Makers in Wiltshire, Essex. Claire's in there as well. 45 seconds to go until we do a huge crash. I'm promising this under £100. I've got another revelation for you. This is not. You know what I'm about. I, I, I do not like going 99.99 and then saying we're under £100. Oh, any dang. under. We are not going to 99.99. You've got 25 seconds to do this. Yeah. It, it goes that saying. This is the most exclusive cut in terms of opportunities we have in the whole show. Because you're looking at a far size sky blue topaz. Yes, that's exactly it. Big sky size sky blue topaz. The clarity is extraordinary. Oh, this is this is this could sell out even like within the next couple of seconds. You've got to come through and get this straight away. Check out your baskets. Multi buy if you can. Not ninety nine ninety nine. Tom, we're taking over a hundred pounds off this price, please. Eighty nine ninety nine. Good luck, everyone. Get involved in this one. I have never in my life seen a cut like this. I mean, this is this is an extraordinary opportunity. This is a this is a this is quite an event happening here on Jewelry Maker today. An exclusive cut. And you know, when you look at these stones, and you know, what, you know, do they pass the eye test? Oh my word, they absolutely do. It is like the iris of an eye. You're absolutely right, Ollie. Kind of gazing into an eye. It's it's so complex. It's so beautiful. And that honeycomb faceting across the top of the stone is just, it is, it's not like a checkerboard um, a cut, a checkerboard cut, you don't see into the gem. This allows you into the gem, but it, but it guides you around the gem and it guides you right the way through the gem. There is nowhere to the, hide. The, the purpose of a checkerboard, for, uh, of checkerboard cut is, is. To, is to stop you looking Absolutely. at the gem. You know, we do it on gems with poor clarity most of the time <laughs> because it, it enhances colour at the cost of clarity. Absolutely. Here what you have is, 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 is really 17 or 18 hard-working table facets oh, inviting you word. into the gem unlike ever before. We just had a wonderful message from SJ in Surrey. If we could see that again one more time, please. Oh, fantastic. The reason I want to show you this is because, it's, first of all, thank you so much. Esther. Oh, that's Very kind lovely. of words. One of the most mesmerizing cuts. Mm. It is like a kaleidoscope. Yes, it is. It really draws you in. And it's not, SJ's not just being complimentary here. SJ's got hers as well. Yes. We'll take a look at this. Well done. Uh, the, 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 the anonymous maker in Cardiff was the first person involved. Yes. Down here. Well done and to then, you. And then, then here is SJ. Yeah. We've got Debbie. We've got Claire. Yes. Helen, Karen, Maker, Patricia, Gabrielle, Pauline. Everyone here is 100% guaranteed there, but there's a lot of you waiting on the phone lines, stuck it away on the phone lines, or it's in your basket. Tom? I feel another crash coming on. Six point two carats. <coughs> Excuse me. Sixty nine ninety nine. Oh my word! That's for everyone who gets involved right now. It's for everyone who has got oh. involved already as well. Twenty pounds savings straight back into Goodness your account. Goodness me. Oh, my word. Enjoy every second of this, everybody. And can I just say as well, you're getting this. Um, I did not want to. What do. are the chances of you meeting somebody else in the world with one of these cuts? I mean, it is next to nothing. Round Brilliant Cut, that's entirely different. Marquise Cut, that's entirely different. Um, checkerboard Faceted, that's entirely different. This Honeycomb Cut is a cut which has been developed by Jake by taking, drawing inspirations from, uh, drawing inspiration from some of the lapidary giants the world has and celebrating not just those incredible champions, but also the incredible bees as well. <coughs> you have got here a celebration of, of one of the world's most important creatures, a celebration of a creature which, without this creature, the human race would survive, what, another kind of couple of years. It is absolutely 
Superb. Well done. Also, can I just say as well, for everyone who gets this, you're going to get your authenticity certificate with our compliments. And on the and on the authenticity certificate, look at this cut honeycomb. There it is in black and white. You have got this exclusive cut exclusively for the Gemporia group and the biggest size we have ever done. Uh, can you tell me if there's if there are any ring mounts in size TU, please, says Karen Great in Blackpool. Great question from Carol, uh, from Karen rather in Blackpool. Um, yes, they are actually, if you look on the website or talk to our contact centre, oh. currently uh, we launched a suite of mounts for this collection, for this cut. They are currently all in size, available in size TTU. Fantastic! They have stock Brilliant. right now, but only while it lasts. We have a full column of names on this one. Yes. Well done, Caroline. Well done, Pauline. <clears throat> Florence, I know you're stuck in a wait on the phone lines. So is our, so is our anonymous, uh, anonymous maker here. Now, do not worry. Do not worry. Florence, you've just been picked up. Because every, we are taking out our baskets. We've got less than 10 chances left. Yeah. You can see so many of you on the wrong side of the line of fate on this one. I really, really hope you're successful. Florence, I can understand that has been taken out of a basket for you there, Florence. Well done. Good luck, everyone checking out for the largest topaz of the entire collection. Wow. Absolutely superb. Huge congratulations to everyone who's got this in the baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Also, can I just say as well, yes, we've got the gorgeous semi-mounts. Go to our website and look for them. But the, probably the easiest gems of all of the gems we're bringing you today to set with your gallery wire, with your claw settings, if you're going to be making your own settings or, or fashioning your own gallery wire settings or bezel settings indeed, the easiest gem tone to set is going to be the largest one, which is this one here at £69.99. Wow, I can see why you didn't want to miss the launch day. Oh, I'm absolutely I'm no, totally never aware this launch when day. spring is in the air. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, you're, you're, we, we love the bees. They work incredibly hard. <laughs> don't show this. Don't, no, no, don't show this. There we go. Uh, that's a big, <laughs> big secret we nearly revealed then. Jake. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna have to do it now. Okay, Jake. right. I'm gonna leave yeah. the sky. Come on, we're gonna have to. Do oh, oh Ollie, there. Ollie bundles. Come on. Do now, it, Jake, Ollie. Am I forcing my hand here? Ollie, am I right? In, sorry, not Ollie. Uh, is, is, is is that? I didn't realise that was a nickname for Ollie. Uh, well, no, it's not. It's not, I. I call him that because he has created illegal, illegal bundles, and uh, I call him Ollie Bundles. Am I right in? Am I right in saying, Jake, you were considering coming dressed in a bee costume today? I couldn't find one. I'd have done it. I'd have done it. I'd have loved that. Some things weren't meant to be. <laughs> I'd pay money to see that. Right. Are we going to do this one? Okay. Next? I think we're going to have to. Um, <gasps> I was going to. I was going to. Oh, I was going to yes. leave this a little bit later on the show. It feels. Wrong somehow to have a star buy in only the second auction going. But director Ollie has forced my hand. <laughs> this is categorically, I think, my favourite piece of the show. Because think of a honeycomb. Think of the beautiful honey that the bees produce for us. And in my view, this is the most perfectly executed honeycomb I have ever witnessed in my life. Take a look at what we're talking about here. Oh my goodness me. Is this going to be a star by Jake? This has got to be. Absolutely amazing. It is literally... Carol, you see the saturation you've got? Perfect. It's incredible. Perfect. Oh, my word. Let's open our phone lines for the largest citrine we have cut. This is going to be extraordinarily exciting. Oh. If you've ever looked at... If you've ever looked at an image under a microscope of a, of a bee's eye as well, it's that gorgeous kind of, it is kind of almost a honeycomb lenses it's got across its eyes. It's, as well. it's absolutely beautiful. That's nature almost repeating herself. Yes. Through, you know, that is the design of nature reflecting and, and, and refracting all the way through her creation. Here it is. We're about to open our phone lines oh. for the most extraordinary cut 
of the whole show, in my view. It's perfection, isn't it? The colours, the saturation. Tom is being, oh, he's done it, thank goodness. I thought he's been very cruel to us all tonight. Yes, Those phone I lines know. open. They are now open. Oh act, my gosh. Act, act. You've got to be quick. This is the most limited of the whole show. That's why I was waiting till later on in the show. We are talking about less than 30 chances oh, no. to acquire this one, to pick this up. A five carat guaranteed minimum, five carat citrine, 12 millimetre round. The mounts are available Big online. Case. But for me, it's all about the quality. Look at those hexagons. You can see them there. Yes. Right the way across the array. Clear as day. Clear as day. Oh, that's absolutely exciting. Oh, my gosh. Right. Okay. Oh, my word. There's millions of people. That, oh, A well quarter done. of the stock has Hardly just gone it. like that. You're loving this one. I think it's the colour. It's the colour. Oh, you know, you sure. have the honeycomb. You've got the honeycomb colour. It yes. just works, doesn't it? I've got... Anonymous makers picking up two of these multi buying in Kent. Gabrielle's there, Karen, Pauline, Wiltshire, Elka, Helen, Cardiff as well. Huge congratulations. Look, you're going to have to be quick on this one. It's one of the most limited of the whole show. Now, we've got these in different settings here. I've got this yes. from uh, Debbie's 12 o'clock kit. Just have a little look at this. And I've got it in a ring as well. But just look at these. Look at these pieces in rings, in pendants. I have to say, I'm with Ollie. Um, in rings, it would be for me because I, I'm so selfish. I want to look at that stone all the time. Yeah, so, really so that, that, that if, you're, if, like, if like Carol, you're selfish, that's a great <laughs> way of doing it. Uh, this is also a cut that works particularly well in earrings. Here's why. Ooh, earrings, okay. earrings, they're going to have lots of movement in. So most of the time, people who are admiring earrings, they're not admiring them from the optimum angle with a round brilliant cup. With this, there is no optimum angle. They could be looking at you from the side. They're still oh. seeing that incredible saturation of colour. That's why I love these in earrings, but it does come with the cost of other people appreciating them <laughs> rather than you. I want to open up at £200 again, please, Tom. I'm not stopping there, but I think we should not lose sight on a show like this of where this kind of calibre of gemstone could be going. Taking this to a gem fair for you, Jake, as well, and entering it into these, um, you know, incredible, incredible competitions as well. Just imagine, you know, the value of that cut as well going up. Yeah. Even being entered into a competition like that. It's just incredible. We have open split pay for oh. you this morning. Big news. Right. We have open split pay for you this morning. Currently under £100 of split pay, but you know we're not stopping any... Where near here. Are you ready for the citrine? This is always the most popular colour oh, when we bring you this cup. I'm going to match the price. What? 69.99. Straight down, please. Oh, my word. Incredible. This is absolutely super. These are all going to sell out today. They really are. Yeah, I, I, I just don't think that we're going to have a second show of this. No way. It's absolutely fine. I'm comfortable with that. I just want you at home to have these stones. You could be working with these gems. You could be crafting the fine oh, jewellery in time for next Friday, World Bee Day. Massive congratulations to Susan, Maria, Gabrielle, Yvette, Alison, Karen, Pauline. Are you on this list yet? I've got Elka, Helen. I've got makers in Wiltshire, Cardiff. The West Midlands. Yeah. This is your chance to do it. We've got multi buyers in Kent, as I mentioned earlier. Beverly and Kaja, you've got to be quick getting involved yes. in this one. We just don't have the stock. Look at how each of those hexagons light up as we move around the gem. Oh. The Kool Aid dances around the gemstone. Absolutely. No other cut I know of offers you that. Normally, you're fighting to try and keep the Kool Aid in vision. Here, it, it, it's like the, the Kool Aid is liquid, moving within the yes. gem for you. It's interesting, isn't it? Because you're absolutely right. When we look at when we look at gemstones, like a round brilliant cut, it's designed to be looked at from the top down, from the table down, directly above the stone. But we, we're not statues. We move as people. Yes. We move. Um, uh, you know, if you use your hands a lot when you're talking, you know, it's, you know, like I do, you know, you're always going to be moving. And this is exactly the kind of cut that you want to have. It's where you. It's where you're moving, but the stone still is optimally beautiful. It's Carol, beautiful. I'm going to do something crazy here. Don't do it. I don't need to do this. Let's no, be really clear. I've got a full column of names. Here, see if you can find yourself right now. <laughs> From Jenny, Susan, Maria. Can you see your name on this list? If you can't, chances are you are in trouble. My word. You are risking missing out. But if you can see your name on this list, 
massive congratulations Jeez. for two reasons. One, this incredible cut is coming home to you in three to five working days. Two, you're about to get £10 off. Tom, no. I want every single piece of this show to sell out. £10 off, please. I want to give £10 back to Stuart, to Jenny, to Susan. Everyone, £10 back. Jake, there's literally only like three left. He doesn't care. He just, he just wants to be able to um, literally get all of these out the door today. He just wants to show you the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. It is such a collectible stone. Sorry, I'm showing you the wrong one here. I'm showing you one which is ever so slightly It's, it's 10 millimetre. We will do this later on in the show, the 10 yeah. millimetre. But the 12 millimetre is the that. largest size. There is nothing bigger than the 12. Absolutely exquisite. Absolutely not. We've just had a question come through. Is it an oxymoron to call it a cocktail ring? in fine jewellery. No. The best cocktail rings are fine jewellery. They yeah. are there to make a statement that lasts for generations. You've got to be quick on this one, though. If no. you're loving the citrine, and I know lots of you are, loving the colour, then you have to be quick on this. That is absolutely exquisite. Huge congratulations to everyone at 59.99. Margaret in Merseyside, you've literally just got yours. Jenny in Nottinghamshire, well done to you as well. More people with this in their baskets, which is just, you know, incredible. Um, this will sell out live on today's show. I've, I've very much... Because this must have taken a long time to collate this collection, um, Jenny. Oh, my gosh, yeah. If you consider that we cut... We've got a team of six, and we cut around one of these a day. So we've been working on this collection for a year. Um, incidentally, oh, wow. there was no honeycomb collection on gems this year. Ah, okay. Because it took us a year to cut enough stones for this one show. So we're, we're not going to bring the honeycomb me. cut here in Jewelry Maker next year because uh, we do it seasonally, mm. but we'll spend the whole year and that'll be going to gems. So you're probably looking about two years before you see the honeycomb cut. Whoa, gosh, that is, that is, yeah. That I'm is. I'm going to leave those last few chances there for you. Gorgeous, absolutely superb. Now the next cut I'd like to go to Oof. is Tom. It is for the first time this show, 100% natural. And those of you who've watched these Gem Guide shows, because you want to know my advice as a gem investor, my gosh. your portfolio building, go natural every oh time. Oh, my. Now you're going to see this, and you're going to go, nah, Jake, it's not natural. It's not natural. No, Look yeah. Look at the saturation. Oh it gosh. can't be natural. Are you oh, ready? 100% oh natural amethyst. This is extra. We should be, probably be pushing the price up 100% natural. Look at this colour. You are not going to be able to believe this. Oh, my gosh. Reds, blues. We're going to open those graphics straight away. Oh. You've got reds. You've got blues. This is absolutely extraordinary. You've got to be quick on this one. I have never seen an amethyst look like this before, ever, in my entire life, ever. And it's all to do with that cut. Of course, the initial quality of the stone, but the cut. Can you see what the cut is doing to yes. the stone? And Carol, this is certified natural. Oh now, I would go gosh. so far as to say 95% plus, I'd possibly be saying 99% of amethyst out of Brazil is enhanced. It's almost all, it's almost all heat enhanced. This is the few, one of the few gems to have come out of Brazil. <gasps> 100% natural. Coming out of the Rio Grande do Sul area, it's an extraordinary part of Brazil. This is the time to get something that we know the Brazilian mines are in decline. We know Brazilian gemstones are becoming increasingly collectible yeah. because for 30, 40 years, yep. they've delivered this incredibly consistent treasure box. Oh. And now they are in decline. We're seeing mines close at an unprecedented rate. Uh, please, uh, Tom. £189. Oh, my word. It almost looks... Like, it's such a beautiful mix of Zambian, Moroccan and Brazilian, isn't it? It's got all of the... Well, like when did we talk about red flashes coming from a Brazilian piece? Exactly, yes. But they're there. You, yeah, can, they you, can you see those reds? Absolutely, 100 But Look, there. You see them? There. Look at that red! And then the blues, which you do. And the blues is very in. reminiscent of Zambia. Absolutely. Very reminiscent of Zambia material. Oh, my god. This is some gosh. of the most blessed amethyst I've ever had the pleasure of bringing you. And it's not from Zambia. It's not from Morocco. And it's not 200 pounds. It's 100% <laughs> natural amethyst. And Tom, I'm not going to push the price up. 59 Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, 
Wow, to own this stone. Yeah, just look at those hexagons. It's just, it, and as Jake says, it's one of the hardest working cuts. Yeah. The gem is constantly doing something. It's constantly going, oh, there you are, there you are, there you are. It's not being lazy. It, it, it's an incredible cut where it looks good from every angle. Yeah. So few cuts can deliver that. Yeah, I can't think of another cut that can, that can deliver that. You know, you've got cuts which look absolutely knockout from the table down, and they really do. I'm thinking of the princess cut, but as soon as you move that gem, you see into the gem yeah, and you see... It, and, and that's just the nature of the beast. Here you've yes. got the hardest working cut the gem world has, the honeycomb cut, an homage to the hardest, uh, hardest oh. animal in nature, the hardest working animal in nature. And you can see it's really working hard to deliver extraordinary performance of light. Free Steve. hand, carved, cut by free hand, those hexagons, each one of them acting like the gem's own table facet. By a team of six lapidrists. Six people in the world can achieve this cut. Absolutely Tom, amazing. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Mm -hmm. We should be up at 79.99. Yes! Oh my gosh, there's loads of people. Don't do it. Tom, 49.99. You've broken that £50 barrier, Jake. I can't believe... On split believe pay as well. On split pay. These are the largest ones we have in the show, and it's yours today. Oh, my word. For 49 No one, none of us wants to be there. Oh, my word. I really do feel pace. out with all the lessons, all the input, indirect input that Glenn and Rudy have had yes. on this cut... Are we in danger of devaluing very premium cutting right now on this show? Or is this an opportunity you can seize right now? I know you can do it. I know you can make that fine jewellery. I know you can examine and experience for yourself at home. Yes. At $49.99, $24.99 on split pay. This is unprecedented. Where else in the gem world oh. are you getting premium fancy cutting at this kind of value? Yvette knows what she's doing. She's just picked up three of these. Yes. Stunning. It looks like a thistle. It does. We'll collect it in Kent. Oh, Beautiful description. Yes, it so does. You're absolutely right. The beautiful flower kind of of a thistle. It really does. It's got all those, almost like the iris of an eye. These are like Elizabeth Taylor's eyes, aren't they? They're absolutely it's exquisite. You're so right, Collector. I love that thought. You've oh. got to be so quick on this, though, because we have got so many multi-buyers getting in. And we've got collectors who are just picking up the whole suite. You recognise yeah. we're not going to have this gem on for probably two years now. Oh, my word. So two years. You're just building the suite today. You're saying, no, right, that's it. I'm going to take it right now. We've got four final chances remaining on this one. Yes. Absolutely incredible. Three opportunities remaining. That's it. Beatrice, well done to you, my lovely Kathleen. So many people with this in their baskets. Absolutely gorgeous. 0800 644 655. Go, 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 go. Well done, right. everybody. I'm going to leave those last two there. Beverly trying to check out four. That's... Margaret trying to check out three. You can't. They're, they're, they're not available. It'll just keep Fan them back. Just take the two. Fantastic. Um, now, we started with the blue topaz. I'd like to return back to Blue Topaz if I could. I love the material. Oh. Take a look at this next cut. I absolutely love it. This is Slightly smaller in a 10 mil size for the first time so far this show. A lot of you already got mounts, but see the quality of the cutting. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it is. Uh, I, I think the, the, the material itself almost doesn't look real. Well, that's because this is from a part of Brazil called <gasps> Alambaia. Gosh, Barren bio region. That's glowing like a parade yeah. tourmaline. Oh, yeah. It's, isn't it? It's glowing. The way the light performs in this cut is truly, truly unique. Oh, I love this. Love this stone. We're going to open phone lines straight away for you. Now, Topaz was... We've not been under £50 for Topaz so far this show. No. I'm going to tell you right now, oh this is the one to multi-buy. You've got the 10 mil round mounts. For the earrings, get them. You want to complete the suite. You've got your standout large size. Now we go for the 10 mil to try and complete the suite. 
That is literally, that is one of the most beautiful stones I've ever seen. And yes, it's to do with the material. Yes, it's to do with that gorgeous color. But my word, it is, I would say, 80% to do with the cut, the way this gem has been treated. It is luminous. I've got it in a ring here. Have a look at it. All the ring mounts, by the way, are available on our website at the minute. Please do go and get them. Just fill your boots. We've got them in lots of different sizes. They're, a lot of them are brand new. Look at the way it elevates above the above the shank of the ring there. Just exactly what you want from this cut. That, yeah, look it does. It, it looks so expensive. Jewelry, this looks so expensive. It really does. It really does. It looks, yeah, like fine heirloom Now, we had the jewelry. 12 millimetre at 69.99. Yeah. Can we just stop there momentarily, 69.99? <laughs> and then I'm going to ask you a very serious question. Mm. How much is two millimetres worth? Six nine ninety nine was for the twelve millimeter gem. Yeah. How much is two millimeters worth to you? It's a good question. Ten pound a millimeter. I was thinking more like a fiver actually. Forty nine ninety nine. That is tremendous. Just huge congratulations to every single person coming through to get these. these You've got to act quickly in this one, Carol, because we have not got the stock to be able to bring you show after show after show. Yeah. This is a one-off opportunity. We're not, we're not saying we're going to do this cut for another two years at least. Look at that. Look at the way this gem performs. It's absolutely I'm superb. not stopping at 49.99. Those of you who are pleased... Woo! <laughs> oh, Those of you who are pleased at ten pound a millimeter, look at that stone. We've got something very, very shocking in store for you, Pauline. You're over the moon. You've bought two of them. Two. Forty nine ninety nine, well Pauline. Me. I'm going to give you a bit of a warning, my love. You're going to want to get more. Oh You're my god! Going words. to want to get more. I've just had Diane messaging. It's so perfect. Yes. It's incredible. Take a look at the gem. It's incredible. It's a real it's a stone. It's a real yes. gemstone. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Glenn, Glenn is, is a, a genius. genius. Glenn is a genius. Glenn is a genius. Now, I want to be absolutely clear with you. He's not directly involved with the development of this. Rather, he taught our team, and then we've used the lessons Glenn taught us about moving optics to develop this cut. Oh, my gosh. Do you know what? It's like, what this looks like, it's like someone's cut a hole in the screen and just shone a torch through it. That's the only way I can describe it. It's luminous. It's lighting up. It's incredible. Now, do you remember I was talking to Pauline, Pauline and Anne, who were multi and said, you've got to, you're going to want more? <laughs> yes. Let me show you, because this is what your fellow jewellery makers are doing. Have. This is why you might not be successful in a minute's time, OK? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Maria's checked out. She's not hanging around. She knows she's about to get a deal. Helen... Jamati's bought two, Pauline's got three, Anne's got three, Diane and Tim are there, Cardiff, Gabrielle's there, Pam, Brenda. If you want to add your list of name, you've got to be quick. Speaking of a minute, Tom, can I get a minute clock? Oh, gosh. We are going to do something that's going to change the cutting industry, I think, on this auction. This is a huge sky blue topaz, 10 millimetre sky blue topaz coming up here. I hate the thought of you. I mean, uh, these gemstones are far better off in our customers' homes, aren't they? Let's face it, they really genuinely are. We need are. to develop a cut to pay homage to the but, hardworking bees for it to sit in our vault. But that's, precisely. Not, that's not what it was about. It never was. But We've it, got a full column of names oh, already. Yes, look You've got about 30 seconds to go until we do this incredible crash for you. Oh. The question is whether or not you will be quick enough. I just hate the thought of these gemstones being uh, us undervaluing them. The quality. Oh, I don't want to devalue here. them, Carol. Oh. I don't want to devalue them. Go and get the finished jewelry valued, please. Do not oh, tell them what yes. the components cost. Yes, of course. Go on, Jake. Tom. Twenty pounds oh. off, please. Oh my word. Who thought 39.99 was where we we're stopping? Absolutely not. That is absolutely ridiculous.
ridiculous. Pauline's got four. She's up to order. Maker in Cardiff's got two. Gabrielle's got two. Wiltshire's got two. Yvette's got two. Pam's got two. Pauline, why don't you? Tracy's got two. This is absolutely tremendous. I tried to warn you. I you tried to warn you. Did. I tried to give you all the heads up. Now you've got a race on your hands. Tracy, Maria, Sandra, oh, John. Crap. Are you going to be quick enough? Are you going to be quick enough at home? The problem you've got. The problem you've got is that everyone thought this was $39.99. Yeah, yeah. So everyone just bought one. Myself included. Everyone just got one. Now, Not Maria's frantically just got back online and got herself another <laughs> one. Claire's done that. Tracy's done that. Pam's done that. Pauline up to order Pauline's four. got four. Baker's just got cut. Look, it just keeps dropping. More. Anne's got five. Four left. Three left. Sold out. Well done. Sold out. Oh, gosh. He did warn you. Tom, Tom. He did warn you. I want to open up the citrine. I've got a 10 millimetre deal on the citrine. The 12 mil sold out almost instantly. You know the kind of crazy things oh. we're doing now on this show. Have a look at this one. My it is extraordinary. Gosh. To you know it's my favourite colour in this material. Jake, this is abs... Here it is in a ring. Oh, my... Look, here it is in the ring. Oh my gosh! This is the jewellery you can make if you are quick enough. Woo! It is absolutely extraordinary. <gasps> like a drop of honey. This is absolutely off the scale. This is, this is um, the one. This is Pauline's the one. already got three. I've got Ted involved. I've got Janice involved. I've got my producer in my ear going, you cannot do the same thing. Yes, yes. He said, yes. Look at what you're witnessing on your screen. Look at the gem. He said to me, look at the gem. Look at, look at the that. cut. There's the Kool-Aid right down to the point. Yeah, these semi-mounts are incredible, aren't they? The mounts are beautiful. Look at that. It's so, so exquisitely cut. Pauline's messaged in. Pauline said, thank you. Oh. Thank you. This gem is indescribable. You're absolutely Pauline right. was in just a moment ago. In fact, sorry, let's come on over because oh, Pauline, there she is. Pauline's here. <laughs> Janice was quicker. Ted was quicker. But Pauline made a statement here well again. Done, Pick up three of these. I've got Go Maker with Kent, Multiplying, Claire, Gabrielle, Alison, Debbie. So many more of you are racing to try and join them. How many of this one do we have? Less than, we, we have less than 40 of these. Oh my gosh. There are so many. Joe, you know, we've, we've probably got enough. We are over allocated already, Jake. Tom, first question is let, we, we must never lose sight of what we're looking at here right now. First crash. Whoa. 59.99. Yep. Yeah. And it's two mil shy. <laughs> Two mil shy. I'm tempted just to stop here. I genuinely am. Look, a lot of people would. Yes. A lot of people would. You can see we're nearly selling out. It's not what this is about, though. It's about giving you the opportunity oh to craft fine jewellery. If, if, if you are one of those crafters who attends the fairs, you know, and you, 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 you are, you're siled up next to someone else and they've got their jewellery, there's very few things to distinguish you. Mm. But if you're there offering a cut that no, no one, one else, else is working with, yes. that's the point of difference. That draws people in. Now, I've got a full column of names. You're all about to be very happy. <laughs> Tom, half the price. 50. Half our price, please, Tom. I've got the blackboard. If you don't put it on, I'll put it on there. There we go. Tom is literally just going, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. He's doing it. He's doing it. It's happening. It's 29.99. Yvette's just got two. Maria's got two. Alison's got two. That's absolutely incredible. This, this is extraordinary. As far as opportunity goes, you ask yourself, you ask yourself who, uh, how much is that two millimetres worth to you? 
is it worth an entirely other gem? Essentially, it's buy one, get one free. <laughs> oh, my right God. Now. It really is, isn't it? It really genuinely is. Well done. It's gone absolutely nuts. But literally, not only have we got a column full of people with, um, who've checked out, a column full of names in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Well done to everyone who's come through so far to get this. It really is tremendous. This is an historic event here on Jewelry Maker today, bringing you a brand new cut exclusive to the Gemporia Group, uh, developed by Jake, inspired by, inspired by Lapidrist Giants. And it's yours today for under £30. What a, what a historic moment. Well done to everyone. Go, 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 go. Well done. Superb. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Well done. 2.80 carats uh, on average there. Karen's just taken to Alison Maker in London. Well done. <coughs> Superb. Go, 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 go. Well done. I'm going to give you another minute or so on this one. You've got to be quick. You've seen the full column of names. It is building. If you are not quick enough, Mary, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Margaret. I'm looking at oh, another Margaret. One in Merseyside, one in County Entry. Mm. I don't want you to be on the wrong side of fate on this one. We're looking at a cut we're not going to feature again for the next two years at least here at Jewelry Maker. Lorraine, Yvette, I'm urging you, if you're loving this, $29.99, can you go wrong? Yeah, Look exactly. at the quality of jewellery that you can craft out of this. Exactly. Claire, you too. Maker in Hertfordshire, you're desperately trying to check out three of these. Here's the problem. When, when people check out three of them at a time, we don't need 15 people to finish this auction off. Uh -huh. We need five. It's really not that many. Good luck acting on this one. Yeah, well done to absolutely everyone there. Oh. Well done. Um. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh. Tom. We've made a huge mistake. I know. I'm just looking at it now. literally one of my favorite gems in the entire world it's my favorite gem to cut oh it's my it, favorite it cuts so well doesn't it if you if you it, whenever i'm pioneering a cut whenever we, yes. we, the first time i saw this cut yes was in this gem material oh. whenever we pioneer a cut i always say to the team do it me first in x okay because if i want to see a cut at its best yes it's in this material so cut. right first time i saw snowflake was in this material. Whenever I'm pioneering a cut, it's every time in this material. Are you ready? This is extraordinary. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. We've made a mistake because this was supposed to be about three auctions yep, ago. Yep, yep, yep. I completely yep. forgot we'd done this. I love this stone. I've never brought a whole theme of this gem. In over two years of bringing you <gasps> gem guide shows. Never brought you a theme of this next gem. Why? I can't get enough material to talk about it for two, two hours. It's arguably the rarest material in the whole show. Tom, it's time to reveal. Oh my gosh. Our praise you light. You will literally. Have you ever oh my gosh, seen stunning. Praise You Light like this before? I am speechless. Have, do not put the <gasps> phone lines I open. Want this. I want it this. is unfair to put the phone lines open. People need to have an opportunity to this. witness Praise You Light like you've never this is, seen this oh my gosh. gem before. I am furious with myself for forgetting that we've done this one. Can I just get 30 I love seconds? This. I just want to buy you at home. Okay, Look, you. Maybe one second. This is extraordinary. Extraordinary. Yeah, right. We've got two dozen chances, okay? So not everyone's oh. going to be successful. Okay. Not everyone's going to win this, okay? Sick. You at home, you're probably not going to be successful. You might, you're probably not going to be quick enough. But if you, I just want, I just want 15 seconds just to appreciate this. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen Praise Light behave like this? Some of the only bespoke custom cut strands we have ever done um, have, have been done with Praise Your Light. My most memorable strand ever was a strand of Praise Your Light custom cut. It was absolutely <laughs> my favourite strand ever. Ted, oh, Jake. 18 seconds ago. 
messaged. Oh, pretty, oh there you are. I know it's long turnaround. I know it's going to be two years. But are there any thoughts of doing this cut in different gems? Peridot. I can't get Peridot big enough. Oh, Crazy yeah, light. Enormous. Ted, and so many of you at home, the phone lines are oh. open. You've got to be so quick, Carol. Genuinely, you said you wanted one of these. There's any you left. I'm having it. Chances. I'm literally going to. There have aren't going to be any, any left. left. I mean, look oh at the gem. Oh my gosh. When just just ask yourself. You've been, we're celebrating jewelry maker's birthday right Never now. Never seen a stone. Twelve like years of jewelry maker. Twelve years of jewelry maker. She when whiz. ever. When have you ever seen a praise like look like never, that? Never, never, ever, ever. But this is it. You know, when I think about famous gemstones like the Dresden diamond, you know, the world's largest green diamond, and you've got, this is, this is, in my opinion, the highest quality, most high-end, most beautiful color. It looks priceless. It genuinely looks priceless. I, 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 I cannot tell you how I feel about this. This stone is literally... In 12 years, we have never unveiled a crazy light like this. This is... Pfft, to my mind, well, half of these have gone already, Tom. Yep. OK, right. Tom, straight down on this one, Hundreds please. Hundreds in baskets. What's the most affordable we've done the, the 12 mils at? 49.99. It's £10 a carrot. Just do it. Yeah, 49.99. What?! This could be £4,999. It is an extraordinary set. There's In silvery over a decade, greens. We have <gasps> never offered you I adore this. crazy light like this. Never. Nine chances left at 49. Eight chances left. Seven chances left. It is extraordinary. The computer's completely broken. I think. Don't stop dialing. Stop yeah, dialing. Stop dialing. Do we, have Tom, any more? Do we have any more of these? Of crazy the crazy lights. lights? Yes. I think we... Did, there's so many missed out on that. I think there's we did do... hundreds Tom, of people Tom, who've just missed out Correct me if I'm wrong. That. 10 mil? Not many, but there'll be... No, some seriously! Oh, my gosh. Tom, did Tom, you do it? Pop it on pre-order for me. What? Pop have we got the enough quantity? Let's have a look at we the 10 sell mils. out before... Oh, my word. Look at the this. Colour. Quality of colour. Look at the it's colour on diminish. this. A lot of gems, with particularly oh. pastel colour gems, yeah. when you go smaller, you lose some of that colour saturation. <gasps> Tell me, how much saturation have you lost here? Zero. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, okay, you zero. Now the Kool-Aid is moving around. That looks so expensive. I love it. Tom, <laughs> I'm looking at Eileen. I'm looking at Tracy. I'm looking at makers in Birmingham and Hertfordshire. Morag, Veronica, Jennifer, Lorraine, Roz, and so many more missed out. Tom, do the fairest thing we can. Open that on pre-order. We'll do that soon, OK? If you, if, you want to, if you do not want to miss out a second time, oh, grab it now. It's on pre-order. Just talk to our contact centre. They'll, they'll, they'll add it to your order. Yeah, it's like a hall of mirrors. You're absolutely right, Ollie. It is like mirror-like because it's got that silvery edge to it, which, which no other gem gives you that, that I've ever seen. Tom, no other gem gives I've just, you. I've just... I've just Okay. This praise light's really jogged my memory. On free order. Me. Tom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, here we go. I asked the team. I don't know if they were successful doing it because I'm not this since I've since I've done the, since I put the challenge out there for the team. First time I'm seeing the stones. Tom, did we do any in honey quartz? Why? I don't think we did for the launch of gems. And I said, well. Honey quartz is really specific. It's different to citrine because you get more of the orange hues in there. And uh, uh, it's beautiful material. Really luminescent. Did we do any in the honey quartz? Oh, my God. We did. What is this? Uh, what I want you to imagine at home. Oh, at my home, gosh. We've just had a bit of a heat wave. We're going into a heat wave now. Think of the bright sun. <gasps> Think of a glass of honeycomb honey. You know where you, where you, get, the, you get the honeycomb? In the windowsill and the light crashing through that honey for you. Have a look at this. Oh, my word. The colours you are getting here. Look at that. 
I tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of, because um, we keep on talking about eyes. Well, I keep talking about eyes. It's like the eye of a, a wolf almost, isn't it? With those kind of bright, loom or, or bright a cat, golden, a cat golden kind of, oh my gosh. Yeah. So Michael is focused on the back. Uh, the recording is focused on the front of the stone. Michael is focused on the back of the stone. It is, it is endless. And what that really means endless. is the camera is essentially looking through the table facet. Yes. And instead focused at the point of the coulée. It's literally endless. Let's open our phone lines for you for the largest honey quartz we've cut. You've got to be quick. Five carrots we're talking about right now. <gasps> it's endless. It is like an optical illusion, isn't it? It's an endless... It, 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 it's so beautiful. many of you are loving this one. I mean, there's, there's almost poetry, isn't it? That, that you've got oh, the honeycomb cut exquisite. in the honey quartz. That's why Pauline's picked up two. You've got an anonymous maker in Kent who's picked up two. I've got Gabrielle, I've got oh, Pam, I've got Patricia. We only had two dozen chances. Yeah, that's 25 it. 25% have already spoken oh, for. Oh, my This is your words. time right now. And what do you get from this that you don't get from a citrine? See the secondary greens coming through Absolutely, there. Absolutely, yeah. Beautiful to witness. With the citrine, you get more secondary um, secondary reds, I suppose. Oh, my. It's Here, this very different colour. Well done, everyone who's getting hold of this. It's extraordinary. Do you know what it reminds me of? Light, as you see light going into the sea and going into the water. Rays of light kind of penetrating through the water it is abs there it this is exquisite quality <laughs> i've just heard another gemstone which i think we might have i'm literally about to I'm literally about to faint on the floor um this is this is exquisite oh you've got to be quick on this one tom straight down please 49 99. Oh my word, extraordinary, just incredible. And it just shows you when you've got excellent quality uh, gem material and you apply an exquisite cut, a custom cut, a bespoke cut to a gemstone, which is already phenomenal. It just shows you what can be achieved. It really is incredible. And nobody else will have it. Nobody else will have this incredible cut um, at, your, at, at, at your craft fairs. It's so special. Single figures remaining. It's absolutely tremendous. Well done. 0800 644 You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. But it's absolutely... Uh, it, it, it's insanely good. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, not going quick enough for me. I'm getting such a telling off. You I'm are gonna, getting on take real. It for a while. Um, <laughs> I was about to ask him how much it costs, but I can't now take it. No, off. don't. I've got just five don't carrots. Bit of Cutting. <gasps> oh, gosh. Tom. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze everything out on this. Oh, man. £39. Pounds. And 50 pence. 50 pence. Gee whiz. 39 pounds and 50 pence. 50. Those of you in multi-buy, that's more oh. than 20 pounds back in your account. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible. That is abs... Oh, hello. Tom. 39.49. You're giving away an extra penny. <laughs> You're giving away an extra penny. He's, he's, he's gone, oh, I've got your back more than he has. He said 39.50, not 39.49. What's wrong with you, Neary? Oh, hang on. He, he might have a He's looking for a penny in his, in his wallet. <laughs> so, you owe, so you owe Jake 50p. There we go. He's literally put 50p on the desk waiting to give it to you. That is, yeah, there it is. It's not me. It's Johnny Winsbury. He's got to go and give it to <laughs> Oh, Finance Johnny director. wins, but he's a love. He's a love. He is, talk, he is, he is until you've taken his money away from him. Talk to him about cricket. He'll be fine. <laughs> you've got to be quick on this one. Oh, my word. It's absolutely flying. Well done, everybody. 39.49. Well done. Superb. Okay. I need to let you know. Half of the praise light 
has already sold out. Oh, gosh. If you are waiting for the Prazy Light, you shouldn't be waiting. Talk to the contact centre. We're going to look after you on it. Talk to the contact centre. You need to be quick on it. Before I bring you that, I've got one more 12 millimeter I want to share with you. Oh. I've not mentioned it. Tom mentioned it to Carol. She nearly fell off her chair. <laughs> What's the one gem I've not shown you so far? Oh. I'm talking about the finest grade of crystal quartz money can source. This is actually a grade that the industry, oh gosh. the industry knows as optic quartz. <laughs> this is the first gem that Glenn Lehrer ever touched. <sighs> and when he did, he felt such an energy from the gem, it catapulted him into his current career. He became a serial cusser as a result of his experience with this gem. Oh. The question is, will you be quick enough for your honeycomb hall of mirrors? Oh, it's like the front of a textbook. It's, it's, like the, it's like the picture you've got behind you. It's like an image from a textbook. It's incredible. Let's open those phone lines. You've got to be quick on this one. Oh. Five carats of huge. I mean, look at what you've got here. It's like a, is it a kaleidoscope? Is it a disco ball? Is it a honeycomb? Oh. Can you actually track the light as it moves around this extraordinary gem? Patricia is the first to pick this up. Oh, followed closely it. by Gabrielle and, a, and an investor from Cardiff. You've got Alison who's just joined the race. Look, this isn't going to hang around. 12 millimetres of crystal quartz that's of such a high grade. Those of us in the trade, we refer to this as optic quartz. It is diamond-like in its Yeah. Place. It's better than any diamond I've ever seen, I have to say. It is in... Look at the light. Can you see the light? It's literally in... It is... It's... It's... It's so... It's perfect. It's, it's, it's absolute perfection, isn't it? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to match so my price, even though this is optic quartz. I would, there is an argument that says that this is the most valuable piece of the whole show. 100%, yeah. The master healer, the king of gemstones. It's absolutely... £39.50. <gasps> my word. Do you imagine what this gemstone means to crystal healers as well? This level of quartz, this purity of quartz known as the master healer, it said to amplify anything positive it comes into contact well with. when it's this grade cow when it gets that optic grade yeah this is the most atomically perfect quartz oh in existence gosh that just sounds the incredible the precision the way the atoms have lined up the precision of this optic grade yes we're talking about some of the most pre atomically precisely formed material yes on our planet and you're getting oh. a chance for less than 39, well, for less than 40 pounds on this one, it's extraordinary. You've got Pauline picking up three, Gabrielle's multi board, Janice is in, Wiltshire's in, Yvette's in, Karen, Diana. Oh. You've got to be quick. Look, I've got a full column of names. You do. If your names are on this, you need to be acting quick. The sheer vibration of this stone is just, it's like the stars it are alive. watches. So, yeah, precisely. It, it precisely. Watches. And they don't use as high a grade as this. No, of course not. Of course they don't. This is, this is like you're at the GIA and you've got a masterclass on lapidary cutting quality. And you've, and this is, and this is, and the, you know, these are the library images they're using. This is exquisite. Five left. I'll have them. I, I will literally take them all. I will literally have all of them. We've got five chances split between Carol Alex, <laughs> Anne, Claire, Jennifer, Cambridgeshire, a second Cambridgeshire, Merseyside. You, know, you can see the maths doesn't work. Oh, my word. I'm going to leave those with you. Tom, can I get an update on the praise delight, please? Oh. We are well north of half of them spoken for now. I believe there might be one more 12 mil. Really? Rose de France. 
Now, when I first launched Rose de France here at the channel... Good grief. That was over two years ago now. The reception was electric. About a year ago, I offered Rose de Maroc material, the Moroccan amethyst. We have not had any Rose de France to speak of since then. Are you ready for this one? Take a look. Oh, my word. This is Rose de France. Oh, material. wowzers. I, I don't the know what it is about. Maybe it's the colour, Jake, but it seems to be bringing out those honeycomb facets even more. I'm seeing them even more. Yeah. Precision cut. The clarity you've got you here. We must see how it's been cut. VSI. This is precision cut. You're absolutely right, Carol. Five millimeter pink amethyst. I'm telling you, as a gem investor of over a decade, this is the Rose de France material. This is that grade that gets the Rose de France designation. You at home, when you're crafting this jewellery, this is Rose de France when you finish the jewellery off. Well done, Pauline. Well done, Alex. You're in straight yeah. away. This is your chance. Pauline's bought two of these straight away. A huge Rose de France opportunity for you right now. Yeah. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Already multi-bidders coming through to get this. Already people saying yes. It's like and it's our best... final 12 mil, Carol. We have nothing okay. else like this. It's like the best quality kunzite almost, isn't it? It's got that purpley pink, slightly bluey quality to it. It's absolutely extraordinary. Look at those, look at that honeycomb faceting. It's just beautiful, just incredible. It's so pristine, isn't it? So crisp, so clean, so uh, flawless. Amazing, yeah. Look at this. You can see those gorgeous kind of grooves in the in the pavilion of the gemstone, the back of the gem. Tom, straight down, please. £39.50. Well done, everyone who's picking up our final 12 mil. The pink is an incredibly popular colour. Yeah, that is that is absolutely incredible. 39.49. It's just beautiful. I, I, yeah, I think we're all massive fans of this cut. It just, it just, it just catapults the quality of any gemstone it's been, it's been applied to. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. Well done, everybody. We've hardly, yeah, there's Tom, so many people that are well done. Not going quick enough oh, for me. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. But I really don't have much room. Um, yeah, 36 do you even know if we can do it for that, Jake? No? No. 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 I'm just conscious. I've got 35 minutes left on the show. I know. And I've got a lot more deals I want to share okay. with you. 36.99. Squeeze in everything out of this large size. This now makes it the most affordable 12 millimeter, which shouldn't be said for a Rose de France. <laughs> Incredible. Well done, everybody. 36 pounds and 99 pence. It is absolutely flying. Well done. What a collection to own. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655. Way over allocated for this one now. It's, lot, well, it's because a lot of multi buyers are snapping in. Anne's there getting multiples. Gabrielle's doing it. Pauline's doing it. Yeah. Bridget's doing it. Have you done it? I've, on the best value 12 millimeter of the show, have you maximized your savings? Good luck getting involved right now. I can see so many people doing that. I'm going to leave that with you, Tom. I'm going to do the praise light next, please. The one that's been on pre-order. Let's star by this. I want to show you how to get involved because we've got, let's open our phone lines. We've got a huge deal on the praise lights. Here they are. Let's remind you quickly. Three carat guaranteed minimum. Amazing. Look at the quality. We're going to show you how to buy. We're going to show you the star buy. But look at the quality of what we're talking about here right now. Look at 10 this. millimeter oh. praise light. I need to warn you. We've got pretty much a full column of names of people who have already got involved in this. Yeah. Just on the pre-orders. In, in 12 years, in 12 years of bringing you Praise Your Light, we have never at the channel brought you Praise Your Light like this. Have a look at your names. And the question is, how quickly can you get your name on this list? Because look at the quality. 12 years you've not seen greens like this. No. 
from the Montezuma mines of Brazil. Look at all those multi bidders, Jake. Did you see your name? If not, you don't have long to get in the game. Good luck. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. <laughs> That's quite a 12 display. Years. <laughs> 12 years we've been helping you build a hobby, build a community, exploring genuine gemstones and making your own jewellery. But in 12 years, you have never seen Crazy Light like this before. Not with these second oh. blues. This is some of the most valued and valuable material on our planet. This material only really comes from one mine in the world. It's the Montezuma mine in Brazil. I can't even promise you, in the Montezuma mine, you will find crazy light. Because it's one vein, one shaft of the Montezuma mine that has this material in it. Wow. Predominantly, it's an amethyst mine. It's one shaft of one mine on our planet Good that has me. this Montezuma material. And I've not been able to get to Brazil for years. So I can't tell you if it's still producing or not. I just don't know. What I do know is for two years here at Jewelry Maker, Carol, Elle, the rest of the team have said, when are you going to bring a Praise Your Light showcase? Oh, for sure. Two, three hours focusing on a gem with such immense energy, such a huge following, such pristine quality. That. When are we going to get a two, three hour show? Now in 12 years, we've never bought you this quality. In two to three years of your Gem Investor Gem Guide shows happening, I have never brought you a crazy light show. Why? I cannot get enough material. Mm. It's that simple. Tom. First crash. Oh, gosh. Forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Forty nine ninety nine. You know this gem should be triple figures. Yes. One hundred percent. Corolla. Mona in Georgia, Look we've got international want. interest here. Sandra Maker, Gabrielle's got four. Pauline, Michael, Stewart, Maker in Kent's multi bought. Birmingham, Yvette's multi bought. Maker in Surrey, Alison in Bristol. Everyone joining us on the phone lines. And I have to say, on the, uh, in baskets, Margaret, you've got two in your baskets, my lovely. You need to check out as soon as you can. Everyone has got this in their baskets. Tom, um, where did you say you want to finish? No, Tom, don't be ridiculous. You wanted to... Sorry. 34.99. There you go. Where? 34... 34.99, okay. Right. Sounds like he's actually crying in there. It is not starting with a three. <laughs> you are not oh, God. paying any number Four. that starts... With a 30 in it. 41.99. 41. That would be very cool of me to do that, Carol. <laughs> Just because I think I've got an inkling of how low you're actually going to go. Where do you think I'm going to go? Well, you're saying it's not going to start with a three. 
Don't make it. Don't make it like that. Don't do, no. Tom, Tom, don't do Tom's that. urging me for a second number. Tom, we should have like a little mic. We should get a mic on you, I think. A little microphone for the talk back. Go on. What, what's the what's the compromise position? Okay. Don't do 29. You don't want 29. No, just look at it. Look at the stone. Come with, Come with me. Look at the stone, the quality, the size, the... Carol, you don't want 29.99. No! Patricia, do you look want 29.99? Do you want 29.99, Pauline? What's he going to do? Carola, Mona, do you want 29.99? Sandra, Gabrielle, are you on this list yet? Pauline. Okay, well, look, if you... Do you want 29.90? Sure. Uh, go on, Tom. Well, just do it. Just do it. If you're going to do it, No, no, do no, it. Tom. Just Did do you say it. you got a message through? Okay. Tom. I am not going 29.99. Thank goodness for that. Right. Okay. 24.99. Half the price for oh, me, please, Tom. Oh, my word. Told you, Alison, you didn't want it. Patricia, I told you you didn't want $29.99. $24.99. Pauline's gone, yes, please, I want the yes, $29.99. Well, Pauline. Pauline. Yes. Pauline, you are happy to pay £120 for four. <laughs> Get yourself another one. Oh, pay £125 for five gems. Yep, amazing. Uh, honestly, it is unimaginable how we can do this. It's, uh, it's just incredible. It's yours today. In indescribable indescribable collection of gemstones today, £24 and 99 pence. Well done to everybody. 0800 644 Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody, at £24 and 99 pence for this absolutely exquisite Praise Your Light honeycomb faceted. I mean, it's exclusive as well. Just beautiful. Well done. Go, 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 go. Well done for three carats in total on average. There you go, 10 mil round. And actually, I think just the right kind of size for rings, for cufflinks, definitely pendants, bracelets. Look at the way that's been cut. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Look, this is racing to a sellout. Huge congratulations, yep. everyone who got involved. That is some of the best Praise Your Light we've had on this channel in over a decade of bringing you Praise Your Light. There well, you go. Well done. Woo! Now... Let's keep going in the show. 25 okay. minutes remaining on show. Right. I want to go to the topaz. Let's return to the gem that started it all. Oh, have we done this already? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> okay, Tom, in that case, if we've done that already, forgive me. <gasps> I would like to go then to number 34. Lot number 34. Carol, it was your favourite. It was your favourite at home. Oh. Diamond Put it light again. in its Yes! Print. I've got an optic oh. quartz. All of those of you missed out last time, an optic quartz, 10 millimetre size. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh! <gasps> Glowing. Glowing. It's dichroic, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. Look at that. Oh, it is luminous. Yes. We're going to open our phone lines for you straight away. Optic grade crystal quartz right now. Yep. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Look at that. It's a 10 mil gem. That is extraordinary, isn't it? That is like a flawless diamond. I feel like the guy, uh, I feel like, what's his name? Dug the head out of Snatch with his diamonds in front of him. I really do. Mike Reed. Yeah, I really do. I feel like a diamond dealer. This is abs, this is exquisite. Oh, my word. Every angle. And it is, Ollie, just like warp speed. You were saying, like the Millennium Vulcan going into, you know, warp speed. It is absolutely incredible. 29.99, Carol. Yeah. Is £10 a carat. Goodness Tom, me. I want us to start at £10 a carat. Not finish. We are not done here. This is an opportunity buy for you. Look at that. 
Oh, yeah, so we've had Rivoli's. Yeah, we've had Rivoli's before, which are basically crystal, which are, a seed beater would kind of seed bead around. And, and they were glass. And that's, I mean, I can't really draw any comparisons. No. It's got nothing on it. Please don't nothing swear on in this. my presence. Say again. Please don't swear in my presence. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, look, I, I, I think uh, your medium is your medium, and they've all got their place. You know, you want to make costume jewelry, that's absolutely fine. And that's great for practicing and, and enhancing techniques. Yeah, sure, yeah. You want to make fine jewelry. Fine jewelry, exactly. This is the time to do it. And yes, I'm going to talk about fine jewelry when the center gem is $29.99. But I'm also going to tell you, we are not stopping at $29.99, even for this quality of material. How? It takes, a, it takes, on average, a day to cut each one of these. It's incredible. It takes a day to cut just one of these. Tom? On average. $19.99. No! Under £20. That wakes everyone breaking up. Breaking that barrier, breaking that uh, price and pain barrier right there. You want to make some earrings? This yes, is the time earrings. To do it. Oh my gosh, I Pauline's love the Pauline's making ideas. a whole suite. Pauline's just gone right. Okay. I'm the, having five. This is opportunity shopping. Uh, you've got Maker in Birmingham in London. Pauline, Pauline, Gabrielle's got four. Antoine, I said, Pauline's down here with five. I've got Lorraine. I've got Yvette in the West Midlands. You can yes! See, it keeps moving down because people are adding their names to this list. Are you there? Are you there yet? Can you take that time to have a breath? Or do you need to be acting quickly on the, on, on, online, on, on the phone lines? However you want to do it. I've got Beatrice joining buying two of these. Lift. Wendy and oh. Kate. Uh, Wendy and Kent, I can see you. Patricia in Merseyside. This is the chance to do it. I've got an anonymous maker. I've got Alison in Wiltshire are stuck in the phone lines. Do not panic. We are taking these out of unchecked out baskets for you the moment you hit the contact centre. This, this optic quartz is... It, the only thing I can liken it to that we've ever had before is maybe like a petalite almost. It's got that bright white quality. Yeah, you're absolutely quality. right. You're absolutely right. The, the, the challenge and why we would never do this with petalite, yeah. you could never get the size of rough. Right, OK. You'd never be able to get the size of rough in order to do it. But in terms of brilliance, but you're looking at this, you're going, hang on a second, I've got crystal quartz in my collection. Yes. It doesn't do that. Yeah. Why? Why doesn't it do that? Two reasons. One, material. Okay, so when I bring you crystal quartz in these shows, it's of a higher grade. It's a grade in the trade is known as optic quartz. Yeah. And this is what all the master carvers use. Glenn Lehrer is probably the most prolific pioneer of optic quartz coming out of Brazil. Fascinating. But there are so many others. Dalen Hargrave hot on his heels. It, optic quartz is the medium of choice for most award-winning lapidarists. Yes. So you've got higher grade material. It's more, at, it's more atomically precise yes. than any yes. other type of quartz on the planet. Yes. So first of all, material. Secondly, cut. We are talking about a very premium cut. Don't let the 1999, do not let that deceive you. Mm. This is a very, very premium cut. There's a lot of technology that's gone behind the cut, that sits behind it. Mm. I'm talking, of course, about the, 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 the optic technology that Glenn Lair has taught us around how to bend the light so that the coulee appears to move within the gem. Normally, the coulee is the fixed point and everything moves around the coulee. Here in this cut, you see the coulee appears to move through the different table facets. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave those last few chances there for you. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. It will sell out today. We've got so many ring mounts as well. Please go to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and get the um, and get and get these uh, ring mounts because they really are absolutely. Should we super. launch a new, a new gem? Champagne quartz. What? Ooh. This, is, this is one of my big yes. tips. For those of you are portfolio building, champagne oh, quartz. Yeah. It is in many ways the heir Thank to the Argyle diamond. Anyways, the they air to the Argyle diamond. Look at what you see is you see these blush oh, tones yes. that really elevate this. Oh, what was that? What's that stone, Jake? Which is for, and, and and I doubt you. Well, you'd never be able to get it in these kind of carrot What's that incredible stone that's mined in the same place? Is it Mariolite that's mi mined in the same place as Tanzanite? Uh, like, oh, no, no, it's not. It, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. What's it, what is it? It looks like this. It's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's, exactly, it's, no. it's not Mario Light. Give me a moment. Oh. Give me a moment. Take a look at this. Look, this oh. is why this gem is tipped 
as the heir to the Argyle show. It's cool. for this reason what you're seeing on air. Let's open the phone lines for you on this one. Look at the quality, those secondary notes. It is exactly like a flower, isn't it? It's got the most exquisite colours in it. Oh, Extraordinary it's material. Just beautiful. Uh, yeah, this has definitely got layers and levels and texture within. It's just exquisite. Absolutely. I, I love this material. I've got a lot of material in my own personal collection. I'm sure. I you love do. champagne quartz, particularly once news of the Argyle mine closing broke. Uh -huh. That's when I really went for it. It's absolutely, it is life-changingly beautiful, isn't it? Just gorgeous. The most exquisite colour, the most extraordinary cut. And it really, as, and this is something, you know, Jake has said, you know, this is like the stars are aligned. This maximises an already beautiful gemstone. It maximises an already beautiful gemstone and gives it to you with the most incredible oh. flair. Tom. £20, 1999. Let's go. We're going for sellouts today. The gem is Clinahumite. Oh, okay. Clinahumite, the, the canary gem that's mined alongside Tanzanite. Yes. I only ever had one parcel of it, and they were tiny sizes. But this is it, this is almost colour wise. Kind of, yes. Colour wise. This is this is like Clinahumite with a secondary um orange hue. You'll see. Look, look at it just there. Can you see the halo of orangey kind of ready it's just exquisite extraordinarily precise yeah. oh you're God. loving this one and rightly so at 20 pounds as well I, I, don't, I don't think i've ever bought a collection of champagne quartz on the channel oh no oh no we've never had it we've never had it that is extraordinary it's extraordinary i just i will try this. i will try i dare promise right now the price for this material has gone out of control simply because if you're looking for a gem that's good cut, that's, yeah. that can cut well, take yeah. a cut well, so it's going to have a high refractive index, you want this colour hue because Argyle has created a huge amount of demand for champagne diamonds. Oh, look the gem at that. are looking around going, OK, where's the air to Argyle? They regularly land on this gemstone as the air. I've got Pauline who's bought five. Yes, that's it. That's the one. Gabrielle's got three. Yes. Yvette's got two. Maker in Kent's got two. I've got Elvira. I've got Sally. I've got Gloria. Are you in this shout out yet? If not, why not? I've got Maker in Flincher. I've got Angela as well. Look, Gail Stephen, an anonymous maker, you're on the way on the phone lines right now. Do not panic, okay? Our contact centre, the moment you get answered, they're taking it out of an unchecked out basket for you. You can be successful. Just look Again, at, look, look at the honey tones that you're getting here. Well, not only that, I'm holding cut. the stone literally upside down and it looks amazing. It's incredible. It looks incredible. It's just, it's just, it is, optically, it is one of the most pleasing, most beautiful, and as Jake quite rightly puts it, the most hard-working cut you could ever apply to a gemstone. It is constantly giving you something. It's constantly working. Look at that. Look at that from the side. Probably the worst angle to look at a gemstone from. Pauline, look Pauline, 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 are you... Pauline, absolutely we're going to be bringing them to air. Do not worry. In about 14 minutes' time, they are going to be brought, they're going to, be brought to air. Can for I just you. show you one of these mounts? Have look, a look. Just, just brand new suite of them. Look at this. Look at this mount. It's obscene. It's, un... it's just <coughs> never done anything like this before. Look at that. Amazing. These Pauline, are all going to fly. Pauline, pa Pauline, Pauline's picked up five of these. Oh. So, Pauline, don't worry. You're going to have mounts galore, my love. You've got five of these. You've been building suites throughout the show. You're going to have so... You've got the stones. You've done exactly the right thing. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to leave those last few there. Tom, I'd love to go to the amethyst. My natural amethyst. Nat with the saturation. And everyone looks at it and goes, no, it can't be natural. Now, this, this gem, sorry, I'm just showing you this one, just sitting in the mount like that. Um, lovely. Look at that. Look at the amount of... You can see the cabochon dome that we start with and then... Yeah, down absolutely. Stunning, isn't it? This, this next stone I'm about to show you has been sitting next to me for the last half an hour or so. And I, I have to say, I haven't been able to take my eyes off it. And the reason is, 
color. It's smaller. It's smaller in size. The color is like you've gone. Yeah. It's it's even more saturated than even the larger one. I, I I I'd go so far as to say this is the most saturated example in the show. Yes. Yes. This is this really this. is superb. It, it, look at this. It's about to blow that away for color. <laughs> okay. Seriously. This is a natural amethyst. Think in your mind. What this is extraordinary. Like. It does not have these blues running through it. Oh my gosh! My gosh! This is some of the only. Look at it. This is some of the only Brazilian material I've ever thought blue Siberian grade. Oh my word! Some yeah, of the that only kind of... Brazilian material I have ever in my decade of being your German investor I've ever used that description for. That kind of Fabergé esque. Kind We're going to open those phone lines for you. We've got about 11 minutes left on show. Tom, I'm going to warn you now, I'm going to be pricing on natural Brazilian amethyst to sell out in 60 seconds, OK? Oh! W I'm warning you now, Tom. It's selling out in 60 seconds. I'm warning you at home, you're going to have to be quick. Pauline, I'm loving your style. You've trusted me on show. I'm going to reward that trust. Janice, I've got Maker yeah. and Ken. I've got Sheila as well. Look at the blues. Look at the blues. I wish yeah. I had time to go and get Richard Wise's book where he talks about how in Siberian grade, yeah. you want to see purple with overlapping zones of blue. I wish I had time to give you one of those secrets of the gem trade. I don't. I've got about 60 seconds on this. Tom, <laughs> Tom, I will never oh. do this again. Make a note on the system. They do not follow this price. The only mitigating factor is that we are running out of time on this show. To do Tom, what? Tom. $19.99. We will never... That makes no sense. We will never do this again on this gem. Normally, I'll, I'll, I've, got no, I've got no problem telling you this. A gem like this, $27.99, $29.99. Oh. I'm hugely immensely proud of that deal. And I'll sit here and tell you for 15 minutes... That's extraordinary. They're booting me off in nine minutes time. We are pricing this to sell out in 60 seconds. Well done, Janice, Pauline. Gabrielle's picked up five of these. Look, you know, yes. this is the best deal of the show. Absolutely. This is extraordinary. For the gem you're getting, this is the finest of the show. You've got to take a look at this. Look at what your fellow makers are look doing right this. now. Look at this. Sonia's not messing around. Cheryl's not. Patricia's not. Sally's there. It keeps moving, by the way, because that's more and more makers. Gabrielle's picked up five. More and more makers seizing the moment and it just keeps on going down <laughs> do you know what from certain angles as well it almost looks like uruguayan material which i've only seen like once or twice it is linda ordinary linda in idaho international yeah. interest linda if you if you, uh, if you are not quick you are going to miss out on this yeah because you've got jimati in berkshire who's on the phone line and she's going to be taking out I four left gee whiz it is it is beyond if I was asked to guess where this amethyst was from, probably the last place I would say is Brazil because it's just got all the hallmarks of, of your beautiful Moroccan, of your Uruguayan, of your Zambian, yes, of your Siberian. And you'd never think it was natural, ever. You think it's got to be heated. It's got to be, you know, whatever. Completely natural. Absolutely amazing. I'll do lot number 15 next, please, guys. Lot number 15. This is sold incredible, out. Jake. Go and on. it's so affordable. It's all so... I well, can't get over how... I've got eight minutes, Carol. Go on. I've got eight minutes. Right. I'm going to apologise right now to our contact centre. I'm going to apologise to you for two different reasons. Oh. Saying sorry for the contact centre, oh. the weights we're about to put on them. I'm going to say sorry for you for the deal you might miss out on next. Because I am not holding back. In this the next seven minutes, I think are going to be the most memorable seven minutes of your jewellery making career. Have a look at this. This is a topaz. This is going to go nuts. From Marin Bayer. Let's get the phone lines open straight away on go this crazy. one. crazy. Okay. These are the, at the start of your incredible eight mil rounds. This is going to go eight nuts. Eight mil rounds. How usable, how wearable. You go in earrings, you go in pendant. I'll tell you what, we'll probably at some point do an eight mil oh. round bracelet. Wow, Tom, can you imagine that? Tom, Tom, I'm going to say something I've never said in my life before and I'll never say it again. £10 for Topaz, £9.99, let's go. Doesn't, oh, I don't want to hear it. Doesn't matter what you got written down, doesn't matter what you got planned, we've got seven minutes, £9.99. <laughs> this is your, you've, look, stock up as, I'm not going to oh, do this ever again. Oh, dear me. Okay, so, 
You're not buying for your next month. You're not buying for the next quarter. You're buying for like five five years. Yeah. Like, this is it. Because if you think I can get that highly skilled team of cutters in two years' time... Oh, my gosh. It has gone completely nuts. For There's not a chance. You know, this is premium cutting. We've stood on the shoulders of Rudy Rubito and Glenn Lehrer, learned the lessons that they've taught us to deliver for you an extraordinary exclusive <laughs> honeycomb cut. We've got a full column of names already. That's absolutely it's amazing. no surprise. And I have to say as well, you know, with, uh, with you know, these are the Lapidris who cut our collections for, um, uh, that we do in collaboration with Glenn and with Rudy as well. These are, you know, there's six of these Lapidris uh, who are able to achieve this cut worldwide. This is exclusive to the uh, Gemporia group. Um, these are absolutely superb. That's exactly what I was about to say. These would make the most beautiful eyes for wire work creatures. Can you imagine absolutely that? Absolutely brilliant thing to do with A them. dragon's eye. Oh. Look, guys, okay, it's this gone. Is racing to a seller. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Sp I'm gonna have to say, look, that's gone. I'm so so sorry. Right, Let's we... go. The citrine. I love the citrine. Okay. I want to do the citrine. I'm going to see if we can squeeze two more in. King Here's the citrine. I need around. your help on yeah. this one. <laughs> King that we managed to capture on camera earlier on. She hated it. Oh. Let's open those phone lines. Now, here you Tom, go. For citrine of this quality, it is honey like in its quality. Honeycomb, $9.99, straight down, please. Oh, At home, you've got to be so words. quick. If we can get through this lot quickly enough, if you can drive us to a sellout, <gasps> I promise you one more mega deal. But I need your help. Jax is helping. Maker in Kent's there. I've got Helen. I've got Maker in Essex. I've got Angela. Can you help us squeeze? Look at the clarity we're talking about right now. The material. The material. The quality, the quality of the cutting is absolutely any angle. And it's so interesting when you look at, when you look at your gems, you look at a round brilliant cut. A round brilliant cut is designed to be viewed from above, straight down. But we're not statues. We don't just sit still. We move. And this yeah. gemstone is designed for human beings who move. You know, we're always going to be on the move, you know, whether you're talking with your hands or whether it's your head moving or whatever it might be. And it is, I think, one of the most beautiful cuts. Huge congratulations to you, Jake, for, for, for kind of, um, you know, um, um, uh, for putting this incredible cut together because it is, it is, it is an absolute masterpiece. It really is. For, look, for me, I really wanted to pay homage to the bee is the yeah. hardest working animal in nature. I want, and to do that fairly, we have to create the hardest working cut in the yeah, gem world. Yeah. And this is that cut. From any angle, it performs extraordinarily well. <gasps> this is your opportunity to enter the fine jewellery world for $9.99. Look, I'm going to leave those last chances oh, there for you. I'm going to squeeze it? one more deal in. What have please. we got? Go on, what's the last deal? You fall in love with the crystal quartz. Have we got it? I've got eight millimeter crystal quartz. Ah. I make diamond like earrings. This is your chance. This is amazing. your moment. Amazing? Take a look at this. Yeah. Again, still of that optic grade for you. This look at the light. Is this never going I'm, to I'm gonna do something silly on price, of course I am. But look at the quality of what happens with the light. Look at the fire you're getting, despite there being no traditional crown facets on this gem. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm, and it brings to mind for me diamond uh, diamond grading charts. When you talk about you know have, uh, you know what is the least amount of colour you can have in a diamond, it's all about being colourless. Um, what you have here, and I've got it in a ring, which is absolutely amazing. Um, the look, look at this in a ring. Look at this, and Debbie and I this morning before the show were dancing around the studio pretending it was a diamond ring, and here you are with something which is arguably. Uh, 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 um, you know, m hugely rarer than Tom, many of your diamonds. Nine ninety nine. Oh down. my gosh! Straight down for you. Well done, everyone who's been successful today. Yeah, this really has, and for this to have stolen. I mean, and you talk about the quality of every gem we've had. The quality of blue topaz, the best we've ever seen. The quality of the citrine, the best we've ever seen. The quality of amethyst, the best we've ever seen. But this, I have to say, is so crisp and so clean and so beautiful. And it showcases that cut like no other gem imaginable. It really is.
astonishing. We've got to get more of this optic quartz. I want... I uh, so desperately you want and to every do... other gem artist in the world. I Carol. just want to do another. I want to do <laughs> you another and every show. Every other gem artist in the world. I will try my best. Well done. I want to show you who's been successful, who is seizing the moment. You need to get your name on this list if it's not already. Well done, Birmingham. Well done, Miss Went Yvette in the West Midlands. Picking up four oh, of these. Oh, well done. Janet in my home county, Lancashire's done it. Joan in Manchester, Kathleen in Monmouthshire, Janet in East Sussex, Gillian. Gabrielle's got six of these. It just keeps on going oh, down. Oh, look at everyone. You can do this. Look, there is a way on the phone lines. I'm not going to apologise about the way on the phone lines. No. Look at what we're doing. Of course, there's a way on the phone lines. You've got optic grade crystal quartz, a premium Fancy cutting. Earrings, right there. Of course there's a wait on the phone lines. It's free phone, we are, we're paying for the phone call. Nothing's free in this world, we're paying for the phone <gasps> call. We are very incentivized to answer that as quickly as we can. Oh, it's ab it is literally breathtaking, this is. Well done. There are so many people coming through. There's hundreds in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Now, we do have lots and lots of mounts coming up after the break as well with myself and Debbie. We've also got a gorgeous kit. Let me show you yes. the piece which Debbie has made. I love from, this, Debbie. Thank you so it, much. Isn't it just exquisite? Look at... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Just look at this, the most exquisite Absolutely jewelry. Absolutely Isn't that beautiful? And this is what you can be doing. So outside of the mounts, you've got the mounts there for the easy jewelry making. Yeah. But then look at the, what you can do with the kits that the team have put together that Debbie done Oh, it's exquisite. Done here. This, is, this is fine jewelry and I absolutely yes. love it. So that's coming up now. Jake, thank you so much for joining us. No, get thank get you. well soon, lovey. Thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you at home as well. Very, very, very um, excited. And we've got something coming up. Stay tuned. Keep looking around the Jewelry Maker um, channel because we've got a very special Jubilee surprise coming up very soon. I'm, not, I'm, I'm very restricted by what I can say on it. But just keep your eyes peeled because... This is a, we talk about once in 12 years on our sister channel once in, once in 17 years. We have never, ever across the partnership had anything like this. So keep your eyes peeled, rightly so. Our wonderful majesty, the queen, we've never, we've never had a celebration like it and we're celebrating in a big way in Jewelry Maker. Keep your eyes peeled. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, it's our 12th birthday and to celebrate we're giving you the chance to win the week. If you spend £20 or more across any of the days during the birthday event, you'll be entered into a prize draw. Now every day the presenters and designers will be adding all the best products into a hamper and you could win all the goodies inside. Come and join the celebrations on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 12 years, 
12 days of fun. It's going to be amazing. Jewelry makers, it is your 12th birthday. I wanted to say happy birthday to everyone. 12 years of jewelry making chaos. Most importantly, for everyone that's been watching for the last 12 years, happy birthday to you guys. But more importantly, I just wanted to say happy birthday to jewelry maker. It has been an absolutely amazing dozen of years that we have had and may it long continue for everyone that's watching over the next few days just sit back relax and enjoy some of the ridiculous birthday deals that we have for you but nonetheless i wish you all a fabulous birthday period here at jewelry maker and once again 12 years of absolutely beautiful jewelry stay interactive with jewelry maker by texting the studio during our live hours of eight till five Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> oh. I literally wanted to buy all of those. It was very hard for me to stand here with no microphone and not talk <laughs> because I wanted to go, oh, no, and I couldn't. I was doing the facial expressions, but you couldn't hear me. <laughs> Probably a good thing. <laughs> Honestly, they were just incredible, weren't they? We've got semi-mounts. Let me show these to you now. We're going to bring them all to air. We're going to race through them because we've got lots to bring you in this hour. Thank you. That's the first one I showed. Goodbye. It's literally, goodbye. I'm trying it on. You are my favourite mount. Goodbye. <laughs> this is mine. Hello. This is, even without the stone in, that is an impressive mount. This is mine. Thank you very much. It's got my name <laughs> on the inside of it. What can I do to damage it so I can have it? That was a joke. Lick it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that stunning? It's exquisite. Can you imagine it with the stone in it? It's gorgeous. Sorry. That's all right, darling. Don't worry. That's fine, lovely. <laughs> Just had to try it on. <laughs> Just look at all of these incredible mounts. Should we start with this one, Neri No No? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. That is a bad boy semi mount, that is. I think so. It's the biggest one. Oh, hang on, there's this one here with baguettes either side. I don't know. Which one? Go on. Baguette. Oh, wow. This, I know. Should we do this? Okay, let's do this one. <laughs> this might be the right one, it might be the wrong one. I don't know, I haven't got a thing. You be what? <laughs> oh, look at it. Yes. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Sterling silver double halo ring with zircon parve set. Oh, it's gone nuts. There you go. We've got sizes J to K. We've got J to K, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. Go! Okay, P, okay, T to U, we've only got four left. J to K, we've only got three left. Okay, there you go. Here we go. The most gorgeous semi-mount here to fit. Oh, hang on, it says to fit an eight mil. No, no, hang on. To fit an eight mil round, it must be that one. Do you want me to measure? Because that's going to fit yeah. a larger one than eight mil. Okay, that's it. To fit an eight mil round stone. Is that right? Have you got your gauge there? Okay. Oh, here we go. Do I look really professional? The measurer of truth. The measurer of truth. Go on, Let's sweetie. Have a little, a little measure. Mm. Yeah, this is the eight one. 
Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Let me see. I think I've got a couple of eight mils here. Ooh, yeah. That's an eight mil. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh no, I don't want those tweezers. That's like a a shovely one. Here we go. Ah. I'm really excited about these. They're very different, aren't they? They're they are very gorgeous. sort of designer. <gasps> okay, I'm just literally going to pop. Oh my <gasps> word! Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, my God. Hello there. Oh, my word. OK, price point wise, here we go. J to K, we've got two left. L to M, we've only got eight left. Look at the stone within the mount as well. It looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? It's stunning. 49.99, not your price point today. OK, 30 seconds clock. Nick, Ollie's there with his 30 second clock. Always ready. Pauline's got four. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Lots and lots of people coming through to get this. All sterling silver with your gorgeous circle. Set. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Well done. Look at that beautiful, those beautiful split, the, the split shank you've got there as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So easy to set as well. Yes, so absolutely. If you've not done it before, just get a pusher and set it. it yeah, twenty four ninety nine. Oh, there we go. Guess the sign of Susie's in for this. Well done to you, my <laughs> lovely, amazing. Of course she is. Of course she is. Well done, Sheila Maker in Devon, Alex in Merseyside. You've got two in your basket. Check out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Go 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 go. Um, okay, J to K two left. T to U four left. L to M eight left. The others we've got slightly bigger quantities, but yeah, it is absolutely flying out the door. Well done, Maker in Birmingham. Well done to you as well. Gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. Oh, my word. We are we are loving these today. Well done, Penny. Yeah, that's just stunning, isn't it? And you've got your gemstone uh, to pop in here. Your eight mil gemstones, whether it's something you've uh, um, invested in today or something that maybe you've got at home. But it's such a lot, such a lot of silver in this. 3.44 grams of silver. That's a lot, so isn't it? So unusual, even down to the split ring shank there. Yeah. It's just really, really unusual. I love a statement piece of jewelry. I love a piece of jewelry that I'm not going to walk down the road and everyone's wearing. And this is that sort of piece of jewelry. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. I mean, Susie is a lady of well, in my opinion, great elegance. Mm. So what's good for Susie is good for me. Exactly. <laughs> she is unbelievably She's very gorgeous, elegant. Isn't isn't she, she really yeah. is, isn't she? Oh, Right, let's do the 12 mil version. What? Okay, right. Yeah, the one I had, I think. I think that's a 12 miller. 12 miller. Let's get break into this one. Here we go, here we go. Come here, mate. Here you go. Pop you in. I think that's a 12. That might even be a 10 mil, actually, but anyway. <gasps> oh, my word. I can't cope. This is obscene. Right. <gasps> Just look at that. Oh, my goodness me. Look at the gem will come out um, until you set it in there properly, but that sits in there absolutely beautifully. Oh, That's done. It's absolutely incredible. Look at the size of that. We are very, very, very limited. These have all been uh, in your. Uh, th these have all been on pre-order. OK, they've all been on the web. Oh, not on pre-order. They've all been uh, brought to you live on the website. So we are all really, 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 really limited. Double halo ring in sterling silver with a beautiful uh, zircon uh, halo around the edge, which has all been parve set. Here's your incredible deal. Straight down. Let's get that price point all the way down for you. One left in a J to K, two left in a T to U, three left in an L to M, three left in an R to S. Gram weight, 3.89 grams of sterling silver in a ring. That is ridiculous. Pauline, what well on to you? One left in a T to U, one left in a J to K, two left in L to... Oh, no, L to M sold out. Well done. Okay. Very, very limited. If you want T to U or J to K, you're going to have to get it now because we've only got one left. R to S, we've only got three. Oh, no, T to U sold out. Well done. L to M sold out. R to S, we've got three left. Gorgeous. Well done to everyone. Eileen, Alex, Lynette, you need to check out right now. Do it now. Do it now. Otherwise, you will miss out. Well done, everyone. <gasps> How can that be 29.99? I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely bonkers. It's it so is outrageous. Clever. 
how it's been made because if you look at that seat there it's been made to utilize as much light as possible going yes through that of course stone, so that when it's on your finger it's going to make the most of those incredible little honeycombs <gasps> very very cleverly designed it's lovely it really is yeah. such a cleverly designed cut and jake is absolutely right it's the hardest working cut it's always giving you something ptq is now very very limited as is r to s j to k we got one left uh well done diana's just taken two well done to you my lovely Gorgeous. Eileen's got two. Pauline's got two. Lynette's got two. That does not look like a twenty nine ninety nine ring no, um, no, ring no. mount, does it? No. That's just gorgeous. Well done. Go. Right. The ten mil version. It's the same, but different. Right. I think this is more of a. Oh, no 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 no. Is that the right size? Ah, it's the blue one. That's of course that's an eight mil. Oh, a bit of blue. Here we go. Oh, jeepers. Jeepers. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. There you go, everyone. Stunning, stunning. stunning. That is an absolute beauty. One left in T to you, one left in J to K. Come on, Neri no no. <laughs> is it zircon parve set because that's my favorite you what darling is it zircons that are parve it is the zircon yeah because i much prefer that to cz's just personally. so do i because it's just you know it's a gem it's a gemstone it's a gemstone mm. you're absolutely right debbie and there's definitely something to say about that you know the fact that it is you know gemstone set look at that look at that stone from <laughs> every angle ttu sold out <laughs> j to k one left L to M, four left. R to S, six left. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 27.99. Well done. Gordon, Elaine, Maker and Flincher, Diana, Debbie. Well done to you, Maker. Well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. What an incredible deal for you today. Well done, everyone. Pauline, Beatrice, Elaine, Alex. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Well done. I love that. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Bang on. <gasps> oh, yeah. You little ripper. Okay. Ooh, ah. For the 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's that one. That one. All right. <laughs> Do you know what? I think my dad told me that joke years ago. What's this? He's a dead one of them. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Gee whiz. Oh, Dave, Dave, he makes me... I haven't got a 12 mil stone, can you tell? I'm trying to find a 12 mil... I don't think I've got one. Mine are 10. Yeah, zircons to fit a 10 mil... Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. To fit, um, this one is to fit a 12 mil. That is like a gorgeous cradle. <laughs> Thinking back to my dad's jokes, they're just the absolute worst. <laughs> you know, when you get like, like, yeah, there's that person in life, whether it's your dad or your uncle or whoever it is, and they just, they're a real raconteur and they just recount the same jokes over yeah. and over again. It's on recycle and you just kind of, they're so bad, you actually find them really funny. Right, here we go. It's a bit like me with a diary story. Look at it with the stuff. Come on, Kinger. Oh, so it's all packed away. It's all packed away now. T to you, sold out. Thank you, my love. Oh, she's <gasps> gone and picked the amethyst. <gasps> come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. Come on, Kinger. Oh. <gasps> Kinger, oh, no. Kinger, Look Kinger. She got the best gemstone. This makes me go a bit weirder than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. I know oh, it's I'm not so. There you go, like that. A bit of that. I'm hey. itching to set this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> if you it. push them over, then you've got to keep it, then, Debbie, haven't you? <laughs> I licked it. It's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the classic design. You're absolutely right. Really popular. J to K sold out. Look at the coolie. That's stunning. Shh. Oh, I Look love that. that. Oh. That is seriously good, isn't it? Can't pick a favourite. I love them all. Okay, L to M, we've got four left. R to S, we've got five left. 
Gorgeous. Okay, loads of people there. Pauline's got three. Karen's got two. Janice has got two. Well done. $29.99. Loads in baskets. Check out. These are all brand new mounts, by the way. I think they're pretty much all brand new. Well done. Four left in an L to M. Well done, everyone. These are going to sell out. It's so lovely. Almost a Tiffany setting, isn't it? The way the gemstone is elevated above the shank yeah. of the ring. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Lots and lots and lots of multi bidders. Well done. Yeah, all the work you would never normally see uh, beneath the gem, and it literally shows you the lot. It's all on show. There's nowhere to... Oh, my goodness <laughs> me. It's stunning, isn't it? It's a stunning yeah, stone. Keep coming through, my lovelies. Well done. Lining them up. You've only got the ones and the twos and the threes left. <laughs> Easy one. Is it Peter Kay when, when he gets someone counting, counting your change into your hand? Easy two, you're a gymnast. <laughs> Ten going in. <laughs> Ten going in. It's like when they get that pen and they put it over the top of a note. If you pay with a note and they kind of look at you very suspiciously. <laughs> they use the highlighter, hi highlighter pen, whatever it is. Oh, my gosh. That is absolutely. Oh, Neri, stop. Stop being so picky. You are being very pedantic. It's, it is a 10 mil. Yes. Oh, <gasps> look oh. at that. <laughs> that looks so expensive. Oh, do you know what it reminds me of? You know the bit at the end of, um, what's that movie called? The Da Vinci Code. Oh, yeah. Where he goes, where in the Louvre, where you've, got the, where you've got the pyramid and then you've got another pyramid underneath it and then you've got another pyramid there and it's all to do with that and that's where, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to ruin, I'm not going to ruin the thing. Uh, but, uh, but it's like a perfect point and a perfect point and an inverted point. It's just all lovely. Pointy, pointy. You know what I'm on about, Ollie? Yeah. The Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, wait, no, it's not. It's, it's his wife. It's his wife. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, I am sure they they were married and had children. <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry. It's only because I watched this. It's only because I watched the movie literally the other day. Anyway, it matters not. It's like the Louvre. Like the Louvre. There you go. Maker and Flinch has got two. Pauline's got two. Maker and Wiltshire has got two. Uh, Janice has got two. Well done to you. TTU sold out. R to S, we've got slightly more of seven left. L to M, five left. J to K, one left. P to Q, ten left. And N to O, uh, slightly, but only a slightly more. Only about a dozen left of that one. R to S is about to sell out. Well done, everybody. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Your deal today. Well done. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. Oh, nearly. You were right, lover. You sound a lot better than you did the other day, though. I will say that. JTK sold out. Oh, he had, he had like a mini cold slash man flu oh, the other day. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. My mum um, tells her... <laughs> this, is, this is my mum for you. This is where I get my, some of my weirdness from. So when my mum feels that she's getting a cold, she says, right, I'm going to give this cold four days and then it can go away. And she gives it four <laughs> days. And then after that, she goes, right, off you go. <laughs> she says, and it does, it just goes. I'm like, mm, uh, does it, mum? <laughs> No, I can't imagine that ever working. But yeah, yes, I don't think that's going to work with COVID, Mum. There you go. But look at that zircon all the way around that basket on the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? No, but sometimes you have to give these things a bit of a, you know, let them run their course and then that, that's it. <laughs> you had a ginger drink, did you? Oh, yeah, that's good for you. Very good ginger, for your yeah. colds and stuff. Yes. Should have offered that to Jake, shouldn't we? Bless him. Barry White. Oh, oh, ah, e. Here it is in the eight. With an eight mil stone, Neary, before you ask. TTU sold out. J to K sold out. R to S about to sell out. Well done, everyone. Here we go. Come on, Neary. No, no, get that price in. Zircon Parve set around the whole thing. Look at this. If I just turn it that way, look, you can see all the Zircon there. All the Zircon there. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Here we go, everyone. One left in J to K. Oh, my lovelies. Get it as soon as you can. Well done, everyone. All the way down. And I think, I think this is an 8 mil one. There you go. In this exact, there we go. Look. Look. 
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Deb Briggs, I had the worst cold recently. It lasted just over two weeks and then led to a full-blown res respiratory infection. Only just getting over it. Mm. Deb, that's horrible. Horrible. Oh, darling, love to you and the skinny pigs. She's got guinea pigs who are, who are bought and they're bald. They're really cute. They're called Aww. skinny pigs. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, Deb, I hope you're feeling better soon, my darling. JTK, we got one left of. Well done. Go, 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 go. L to M and R to S. Only six is left. By the way, they're all kind of, um, so we've got sizes kind of uh, from five all the way up to size nine, ten, which is wonderful. Um, so, yeah, just get them. And, and you can get them resized should you want to. It doesn't take, it, you know, it shouldn't, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. Look at that one, though. Isn't that gorgeous? I might have to have that on. It's your diamond. I know, but that, it is. It looks like one, doesn't it? Does, really does. Right, one more design. Uno más design. Um, and then a kit. And then a little demo. I know, we've got the gorgeous kit. Right. Oh, my word. Now, what do we have here? That's a 10 mil. Right, okay. Let's put a 12 mil stone in this bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy, ring mount. There you go. Pop that bad boy. Look at that. That's lovely. Shh. <gasps> Oh, wow. My gosh. These are amazing. They're so pretty. That is a beauty. Just balancing in there. If it does fall out, sorry. Baguette cut. <laughs> Baguette cut. Zircon on the shoulders. They are big zircons, aren't they? Yeah. Big bad boy zircons on the shoulder. Yeah, look, you can see. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Amazing. Here we go. Let's go wild in the aisles for this. I don't know what that was. Sorry. Okay, TTU sold out. R to S, L to M. We've only got five left of each. J to K, two left of uh, uh, this one. Uh, Twenty-one ninety-nine. What? How is this twenty-one ninety-nine? Look at the size of the zircon you're getting there. <gasps> it's amazing. Diana's taken three. Pauline's got five. Susan's got two. Maker and Butcher's got three amazing well done yes there you go everyone just and, and of course this isn't just for the stones that we bought to air today is it uh, debbie it's for all of no. our gorgeous 12 mil stones and just looking at that i don't know if you can show it like from the side but yeah. look at the work that's gone into making that i mean it's really unusual beautiful it would be really take you a long time to make that and quite advanced skills and you can purchase it for twenty one ninety nine, and it just looks like a, you know, very expensive ring. Doesn't it? Just and all the kind of yeah. almost buttresses on the, the outside. The way it stands up on the finger is so elegant. It's kind of architectural almost, yeah. isn't it? Oh, talk about your buttresses. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, you're right there, love. You're right, you're right, Ollie. Oh, he's just having a good old laugh. I'm great, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. I don't know why I'm doing that. Here we go. Look. I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't, Lovey. Oh. In a 10 mil. Ah. Yeah. That is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that with your gorgeous um, tapered cut baguette zircons. They are huge. The oldest, the oldest gem in the world. Oldest gem in the world. It's absolutely beautiful. Come on, Neri. Let's go. Let's break that barrier. Breaking the barrier. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Breaking the law. That, that was on a late night Friday show. What was that show? Was it? Is it really bricking the law? Bricking the... Oh, was it? Oh, Beavis and Butthead. Okay, fair enough. Teach you sold out. Tells you everything about the kind of the highbrow uh, uh, television shows that I enjoy watching. J to K, well done to you. You've got one... Uh, uh, sorry, J, uh, J to K, there's only one left. Well done to you, Jane in Warwickshire, Janice Lorraine, uh, Caro... You, you can tell it's been a long show. I was congratulating the ring sizes then. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Elsa M. <laughs> I've kind of called myself. I thought, I wonder if anyone knows. I thought, I must address this. <laughs> so I'm sure Debbie heard it. Me congratulating the ringside. So the worst thing happened yesterday. I phoned up, I phoned up um, uh, um, uh, school. 
Uh, because we'd left Pippa's guitar there over the weekend. We just had so many bags to carry on Friday afternoon. We just left a guitar outside school. So I phoned the school on, uh, it was Monday actually. No, not on purpose. I did it not, by, <laughs> not on purpose, by complete by accident. So I, phoned, so I phoned the school on Monday morning and I was talking to a lady in the office and, um, and um, saw my friend walking towards me with a bunch of flowers for my birthday. So I was speaking to the lady in the office. I don't know who she was. I went, OK, thanks for that. Love you. And then... Oh, you did not. <laughs> you did not. It's because I saw my friend. I thought, I love my friend. <laughs> love you. Then I had to go in, in, into the office at the pickup and collect the, uh, the guitar. And I think I told you I loved you earlier <laughs> What did she say? She said it was me. She said it made my day. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you lots. No. Kiss it. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Love you. Love you. It's like, I mean, that's on a par with calling your teacher mum. Isn't it? That was always the worst. Oh, oh the shame. Turn around. And grab a straight, oh. grab a stranger's legs, and it's not your dad. Ah, who are you? Yeah, the look of horror. <laughs> I can't get over that. You told the school receptionist you love her. Love you, <laughs> lots of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Oh gosh. Ninety-five sterling silver. Oh, come on, let's pop. Let's pop. Oh, dear me. Oh, just, it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh. Well done. <laughs> Sterling Silver. Here's your, here's your eight, look at that eight miller. I can't, I don't know. I, I'd be interested to find out actually which of the most popular stones were, whether it was the citrines or maybe the amethyst or maybe, because all of them and the optic quartz as well, it was all wonderful. Teacher, you've sold out. Oh, that's so funny. Well done. R to S, well done. J to K, there's three left. Well done to N to O. <laughs> Congratulating the ring sizes again. There you go. Oh, we got quite a decent quantity of this one, but it is absolutely flying out the door. Guest designer Susie, there she is again. Love you, Susie. Hello, my darling. Um, gorgeous. Well done. Everybody coming through to get these. You're doing such a grand job today. I, do, I can't wait to see people utilizing this gorgeous brand new cut with these gorgeous semi mounts but of course any of your eight mil gemstones will fit in this as well which is just gorgeous and look at the look at the depth look at the depth you get below that kind of below that um what's that part of the gemstone called girdle but yeah below that girdle look at the depth of 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 kind of yeah there you are you know what i'm trying to say Oh, gosh. Right. <laughs> trying to say you love, love you. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Lots of love. Carol, I've done that. Been on the phone, said I love you. Got off the phone, said I love you to someone I was talking to. I don't, Chantal, it's just, it's just embarrassing, isn't it? Love you. Um, I used to work in a call centre and we used to say thank you for your call. I accidentally used to say it on personal calls outside of work. I love that. <laughs> I used, to work for, I used to work in a call centre. Good morning, British Gas Home Insulation. My name's Carol. How can I help? And I, I literally... I, can you imagine doing that? Like your mum's calling. Yeah. Good morning, British Gas Home Insulation. My name's Carol. How can I help? No, no, no. Was it, uh, no it was a contract for British Gas. It was in a call centre. Um, it was awful. Terrible job. Could have sent Claire McDonald yeah. out on a job. Couldn't I? No, we didn't have anything to do with gas engineers. It was just... Um, it was just... Um, <laughs> cavity wall insulation. Um, what fun. Hey, what oh, fun. Dear. What larks. Right. Uh. What have I done here? Okay, right. I don't know. <laughs> Love you. Have a great day. Right. Okay. Kits. The blue goes there. That goes there. Or that goes there. <laughs> don't try. Don't even start, Debbie. Don't even start. This is in... Incredible, absolutely unbelievable. Oh, look at that photo. Overexposure. Never mind, it's all right. Don't worry about it, it's fine. It doesn't really matter because look at that incredible stone. This is, I mean, absolutely ridiculous. What is that? 
Amazing, isn't it? It's, a t it's just a tab setting, but a lovely high one. Incredible! So that's what I use Debbie. in the pendant. Or, of course... Oh, it's got the two loops on it. You've got a two mil wire, so you could nip those off and actually solder on a ring. Um, so you could make it into a ring? Yeah. Oh, my gosh! Look at this wire. You are getting here 25 centimetres off two millimetre gauge sterling silver wire. You are getting with this a four carat blue topaz 10 mil honeycomb cut. You are getting a sterling silver tab setting connector for this honeycomb cut. I assume with any 10 mil stone, this will work. Yeah, any, you think? Yes, yeah. any 10 mil round. Also, if round, you want yeah. to just make the um, pendant with this, then you've got the two mil wire to make something else with which is fabulous that is a setting like i have never seen before there's a lot of silver in that setting yeah and again would be a pain to make for what oh for better impossible <laughs> it's so it's been so beautifully manufactured yeah um and you've got more than enough for ring shank after ring shank after yeah. ring shank um here that's absolutely gorgeous yeah look at this what like that ollie no like that Ah, yeah. yeah, okay, brilliant, yeah. Multi-buy, couple of jump rings, bracelets. Bracelet. Yes, Ollie, I love that. That would be ridiculous. Yeah. Sliding class bracelet. Just sliding class bracelet. Cufflinks. Cufflinks. How many do we have, love? Is that it? Okay, so we've literally got just over 50 chances for this kit. £79.99. pence. Oh, it's on split pay of 26 66 That's absolutely superb. Tab setting. Do you know what? I've never done I've never done a show where we've had tab setting before, but all I've all I've learnt about tab setting from the guest designers who've had it is just how simple it is to, to set your gemstones into your tab very settings. Very, very simple. You just have to bear in mind a couple of things, which I'll show you in the demo for oh. this particular cut of gemstone, because it protrudes ever so slightly out of the front of, uh, just in the middle, mm. um, which means you've just got to take a couple of things into consideration when setting it, but it's just as easy. I mean, it's beautiful. And mm. I think for a beautiful gemstone like this, you need a statement mount, but not too fussy. Yes, yes, and absolutely. Especially if you're going to make sort of a, ne a necklace or just let the stone shine. Um, and yeah. that's what I loved about these kits. They are effortlessly um, um, sophisticated and beautiful, this, this, this semi-mount. And I have to, yeah, two mil gauge wide, 25 centimetres of that. It's all about the stone. And any setting that you put this with needs to be sympathetic to the cut of the stone. I, uh, I've, I've honestly got no idea how low we're going to go. Pauline, who've, who's come through to get almost every single stone today, has bought two of this kit. Go on. Go on, just do it. No, seriously. That's very good. 49.99 on split payments of 16 pounds and 66 pence it is incredible yvette well done to linda well done to lorraine well done to margaret well done to maker in north yorkshire well done to karen well done to gabrielle it's absolutely flying yvette you've got too many baskets check out my lovely that is just incredible i love this i love what we've done here gabrielle's bought two everyone who's come through has bought two gabrielle if you want two my lovely yvette well done to you you've got too many basket leah well done to you as well it is absolutely amazing well done do you know what? That's a really good point. What is the gram weight on the mount and the wire combined? Any idea? Because that is, that, is, that is hefty. Sharon in County Durham, well done to you as well, my lovely. 1.2 grams plus... What's the 1.2? Is this the 1.2, the uh, connector? 1.2 in a connector. And what, sorry? 7.75 7 in the wire. Well, you've That's about got, nine grams of silver across the two you've uh, components. You've got very there. substantial wire there. So you're going to be able to make your stacking rings, you know, with that two mil wire. You're going to be able to make other ring shanks. If you want to make a ring with this, or maybe you just want to make a pendant with this and use the wire to make some stacking rings to wear with it. Oh, you what can a lovely certainly idea. Do that. What a lovely idea. You see, because this is where you start to get wire, yes, suitable for things like rings, bangles, like the beautiful bangle that you're wearing as well. Um, Jeannie, well done to you. Gabrielle's just bought two. Annie, Sharon, absolutely amazing. Well done. Okay, one more kit. Two more kits. Two more kits. Gee whiz. 
I have to say as well, um, a lot in baskets. I know what's going to be happening here. A lot of people are going to be looking at these kits and going, I really like that. Uh, that really appeals to me. Can I see how easy it is to use this tab setting? And then they're going to check out the baskets. I totally get that. That's fine. If you want to do it that way, that's absolutely fine. But a lot of people are going to be doing that. Right, here we go. There's your tab setting semi mount. So this is the kit that I used for the necklace that you're wearing. Obviously, I've just added in a couple of jump rings and a pearl. But because you've got those two connectors, you can add any gemstone or a charm or anything that you want. Those bales are gorgeous, aren't they? They really are lovely. And what are they set with? Ah, uh, they're set with Kabixa Kona. You've got, you got three of them. Three of them, yeah. All sterling silver. They've got that yeah. rabbit ear bale on them. Sorry, it's twisted round. I've just like, I've put this on. No, it hasn't actually. It just looks like it has. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, so just add in your jump ring there. That's your bale there. And, and literally on here, you put your um, uh, rosary linked pearl. Beautiful. That looks so expensive and so quick. And it's interesting, actually, Debbie said this morning, she said, look, um, you, you know, we can do the masterclass at 12 if you want to. But this kit, th these kits in the 12 o'clock, I said it, it really, really quick, really, really quick. So it's not going to be the length of a masterclass. So, you know, do the slightly longer demo in the nine o'clock, which makes which kind of fills my heart with kind of hope, because knowing that you can get this kind of look, this kind of expensive yeah. professional look, and you can do it in, in a matter of minutes is just, is just fantastic, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Well done. Yvette's got two. Maria, Gabrielle's got two. Pauline's got two. Sheila, Jax, um, Claire, Sharon, Maker, Maker in Yorkshire. You've got to check out. You've got to check out. We've got one final kit. Can I just say, uh, Mary in Cambridgeshire, well done. Can I just say, anybody who's got these kits in their baskets, a lot of people are going to be checking their baskets out. Um, as soon as you see how easy it is to set these gemstones. So please, please, please be ever so... M Maria, well done to you. One more kit. Oh, just knock that over. I'll grab it. Okay, right. Oh. Okay. Two strands of gemstones in this kit. Rose quartz, six millimetre rounds. That is exceptional quality rose quartz, by the way. Beautiful, delicate baby pinks. You've got two of your tab settings here. I think it's... Ah, hang on. Two of your tab settings. Oh, hang on. Should I move that along? Oh, no, hang on. You get another gemstone. Uh, oh, there it is. Brilliant. Two of your incredible honeycomb. What? Hang on. No, 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 wait, Neri, no, wait. You get two of the stones. Two of the stones. What's going on? Ah, that's very good, <laughs> isn't it? That's fabulous. 24.99. Two of the stones. Two of the settings. Stop. The <laughs> thing's sticking to me. Go away. Right. Two of the stones. Two of the... It's on split pay of eight thirty-three, eight pounds thirty-three split. That's obscene. Oh, Neri, no, no. What's he done? Hands on head. He's hiding. Are you hiding in your jumper? <laughs> He's hiding in his jumper. Has anyone ever seen a split payment of eight pounds thirty-three before? It's got. It's gone absolutely wild. Bananas. Banana. 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 Check out your baskets, please check out your baskets. Right, Teppy, <laughs> show us banana. how just how bananas, <laughs> how easy it is to set this. Oh my word, that kit has gone nuts. <laughs> right, come on, lovely. Right, so here I am with my lovely blue topaz in my setting. So this is the one from the ring kit, but I'm, I'll talk you through how to make the ring. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make the pendant, seeing as we had um, a lot of ring mounts, just as something a little bit different. Now, it's finding something that you're comfortable to set uh, this little tab with. Now, if I show it on the side there, 
you'll see that you've got this tiny little tab here that you literally just have to push over the gemstone. But you have got like a little space here in order to do it. So you can use your pusher, you can use even your burnisher. But what I found, because I, I think, you know, you tend to just kind of pick up tools that are around you. And on my silversmithing bench, I had a file and the back of the file was the absolute perfect shape to push this tab over the top of the stone. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, you need to bear in mind that the other tab settings that I've had, I've had honeycomb ones and quite a few other ones, they're dead flat in the front of this setting. But this kind of is dome shaped. So ever so slightly in the middle, it pushes forward. Lovely. So what that means is if you set it on a flat surface and then pick it up, it's going to drop down a little bit further and wiggle about. OK, so there's just a couple of ways that we can combat that. So the tools that you could use to set it with are either your pusher, uh -huh. your, um, what's this called? Burnisher. <laughs> I've been up since <laughs> <before>. <laughs> But what I like to use to start off with is my um, file. This is just a file. And on the back, I've got a little flat end. So I'm just going to start it off with this one, OK? Now, what I did was rather than set it flat on the desk, I picked it up and actually pushed the stone in a little bit with my finger because of that slightly protruding area. And then you just want to start gradually pushing the tabs over and you're going to do opposites, okay, just like you usually would with gem setting, mm -hmm. just so it doesn't pop out. So don't push it all the way over, just give it a little push. And I'm still, I'm not quite flat on the bench, I've still got my finger in there and I'm pushing it down. And then I'm going to go to the last one. Now, usually I'd have my head over the top of here with my magnifiers on, but you get the idea. Now, if I pick that up and look from the inside, so if I turn it slightly that way, yeah. I can get a good idea of how far each prong is pressed over. And this is giving me a really good indication of how much further I need to go by pushing across the stone. Now, bear in mind, you don't want to go in with one big heavy-handed press because you don't want to damage this gemstone. You want to be nice and gentle with it. So I can see here that this prong has got quite a way to go. So I'm going to go over to this side and push that over. Now, the common mistake that I see when people are doing any sort of um, prong settings or even bezel setting is they push it in equally and they forget that you need to go over the top so that your wire essentially holds on to the gemstone. So they push it that way so that it squeezes and then they forget to wiggle it over the top so that you get that really snug fit. So that's what you want to do next. So maybe you've gone mm -hmm. round with your smaller tool to get it started off. Okay. Like this. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. Just pressing it in and then when you lift it up and you shake it, like that's in, but I can feel it wiggling about. So I know that I need to do a little bit more work on that. So next I'm going to take actually my pusher because then I can push this stone over the top of the gemstone. Yeah. But just be gentle. So I'm looking actually inside at the stone and I'm watching it hug that gemstone just nice and gently rocking rather than going for one big heavy handed press keep going round and then when I finish that I'm going to pick it up and just give it a shake now that is still like you'd think that was set but it's moving I can feel it so then I would finally go in with my burnisher. Now you can do a burnisher, you can do an agate burnisher, um, and then this should finally press it down. And if you find that this stone is still wiggling, pick it up and push it down with your fingers because you've got that little bit of a dome on the front. And then I'm just gonna rub my burnisher yeah. over the top. Now, if you haven't got a burnisher, back of a teaspoon sometimes works if you can okay. get it in there. Okay, <laughs> cool. Okay. But all of these tools, the great thing about all of these tools are they're not very expensive metal smithing tools. You can get them for a few pounds on our website. So you don't you're not having to outlay yeah. a lot of a lot of cost to do this. Like yes. maybe if you were doing other silversmithing, you're not soldering anything, you're not sanding anything, you don't need a pendant drill. 
and I'm just going in with my burnisher to finally push those prongs over. And then the final test is the shake, and that stone's not moving now, so that stone is in there. Now, if you were going to make a ring, you wouldn't want these little um, jump rings that are soldered on. So what you would do is snip those off with your pliers, and then you don't want to have any of the um, rough metal showing. So then you would just file down any rough edges there. And with the wire that came in the kit, you would just make your ring shape with the two mil wire. And there's a couple of ways that you could set this. Oh. Now you can either, and you wouldn't solder it with the stone in, you would leave the stone out. You can either put the whole ring inside the mount, oh. solder it. Wow. When it's attached, just clip out the inside bit. Because remember, you've got to set it from the back. Okay, or you can measure your ring mount. So whichever way you're going, measure it. And then you measure on here, make your marks, cut it out first, and then solder it on. Okay, so that's an easy way to do your ring. But I thought that I would show you how to do the pendant, just how easy it is. So you get these gorgeous little, they're like little Vs, really, really lovely. And I, because you get three in the kit, I did have another idea of rather than add a pearl, you could actually use this on the bottom so that you had kind of that going on. So like a little, a little drop. It's adorable like that um, you could do it that way and then you could put some chain through that and that would be a bracelet wouldn't it so you can do um that reminds me of the um chain mail piece we had this morning with the gem in the middle and it oh, kind of went out like that didn't it that was really lovely it wasn't leads it? your eye in it leads your it? eye in so yes. you could do this and actually make um a bracelet if you yeah. wanted to you could have a pendant and then add a pearl down here let's have a look at that so that would look something like that so that would be really pretty but what i did was just set the stone opened my jump ring obviously you you want to use sterling silver findings if you're dealing with sterling silver jewelry so this one goes through you just pop in your bail and close it again now, if you just wanted to have this as a simple solitaire at your decolletage, you can clip off this little loop again oh. and just give it a little sand and you've got this beautiful single stone. I think there's, there's real beauty in just that, isn't oh, there? Oh, for sure. It doesn't always have to be really complicated. But I was like, you know, me being me, we need to add something else. So I thought a pearl just to suspend here from the mount. So just let me grab some round nose pliers. So if you were going to do this, this is a shell pearl. I used um, a, a real pearl on the one that Carol's mm. wearing. And you'd want to use really a sterling silver eye pin because, yeah, you know, it's all silver. So then you can, you can really sort of add to the value. You might want to put a little spacer bead. You know those sterling silver spacer beads we had? Oh, great That'd idea. It'd be nice yeah. on the top there, wouldn't it? That's probably mm. what I would add. So I would just pop my pliers into the top here. Do a wrap loop. Oh, that would be amazing as the centre of a double strand of pearls. Yes, almost as a connector. It point. really would. I mean, that you would re work really just because nicely. you've Thank got you, components that go together doesn't mean that you're not still a jewellery designer. Of course. Add to yeah. it. And then I just added my wrapped loop onto the bottom here. Closed my wrap loop like this. And then snip off any excess and get rid of it and then you end up with a really pretty look at that. and all you need to do is get one of the sterling silver chains that you've been buying that we've yes. been doing in our in our bulk uh buys and all of our lovely chain deals and just pop your chain obviously through the top so good with the topaz doesn't it and it's i just exquisite. think it's i'll put it down and show you it's a really lovely 
sort of sophisticated. You could even wear that with a white shirt and your jeans. It doesn't have to be like a cocktail dress. No, no, kind of absolutely. Versatile uh, medium. So this is obviously the topaz one comes with a wire, so you yep. can make um, the ring with this as well if you course, wanted to. Yeah. The citrine one doesn't come with the wire, but we've got sterling silver wire. Yeah. So if you've got sterling silver wire, that that's fine. But very simple. But as it. as was it Jackie said, yeah. you can keep going with your design ideas. Oh my do, gosh, you know, totally. Make yeah. it completely different. Yeah, definitely. That is gorgeous. Thank you so much, everybody. That was just gorgeous. Thank you so much. So easy peasy. Just be careful when you're setting. You've got a slight dome. If you set it on a flat, when you lift it up, obviously the stone will drop a bit. Um, so once you've pushed over, lift it up and then just keep pushing, keep shaking. As soon as it doesn't move, then it's set. See, that's so simple, isn't it? Um, we've got, I've got to show you something very quickly, which is going to be coming up tomorrow. <gasps> oh, I need those. It's my birthday show tomorrow. And this is your deal of the day. Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh! Look at the colours. I love the shapes as well. Princess and Trilliant Cut. Loose stones coming up as your deal of the day tomorrow with me on my birthday show. Very, very excited about these. Um, amazing. If you want to set them into maybe rings, you're going to need something to put your rings in. <laughs> Check out that segue. $7.99 for your incredible grey ring storage box. Gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. There's your little clasp on the front. Yeah, you did that price, Neary. Neary can't believe the price he did. There's your little ribbon to stop it from falling, to stop in the lid uh, from falling back um, uh, too much. And here is where you store your rings. It's the most gorgeous, gorgeous um, uh, box, isn't it? And it just... It just makes anything that you like. So it, it makes anything you set in here uh, look instantly more valuable, Definitely, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. There's more people coming through. We've literally only got about 80 of these left. There's still over 110 in baskets. So well done. So just check out your baskets. Well done. 0800 644 Love the fact it's this lovely grey flock. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? And it really, it really, uh, it, you know, if you're going to be selling your jewellery, as you were saying earlier on, on your store, you put all of your really precious pieces in here. Yeah. It just makes, it just really kind of sets it apart from everything. I mean, obviously give it a bit of a wipe, uh, but it kind of sets every, sets that jewellery apart from everything else, doesn't it? Yeah, and I mean, you're looking at, if you've got the Dremel rotary tool, you could even Dremel into the glass your logo. You know, like if you've got your logo, like, you know. That you is such a good idea. Dremel that in, because I brought the rotary tool to you a couple of shows ago, and it engraves on glass, so yeah. you could engrave your little logo on that. I love that. Isn't that a wonderful idea? We were saying as well, if you wanted to have kind of trays of different gemstones, you know, that you've used in your rings, or, I mean, earrings, you can pop earrings in here as well, don't forget. Um, you know, you could have a tanzanite tray, and you could have a, you know, a, an optic quartz tray, and you can have your citrine tray, and just have them all laid out. It's just... Oh, it just looks so professional and so beautiful. And at home as well, being able to have all of your rings out in front of you as well. Just gorgeous. Well done. Superb. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's $7.99. What a price. A lot of people getting these for gifts. Um, I think when we um, first bought them to wear, a lot of people messaging through saying they're going to get them as gifts. Maybe you're going to be making a ring and putting one ring in there. And then every birthday you make somebody else, a, you make that person a ring or a pair of earrings and they put them in this box. And it's your little collection, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Well done, everyone. They are flying out the door. Well done. I'm going to be putting this one in the Win the Week hamper as well, Ooh. Tina, just to let you know as well. Gorgeous. Well done. Wendy's got two. Marilyn Maker's got four. Beverly's got two. Deb, well done to you. Jane, Margaret, Mary. Absolutely loads of you coming through to get this. Well done. When are you next with us, lovely Debbie? 23rd. The 23rd. So not for a little... Oh for a little while week after next i need a rest now <laughs> yes, I, yes i'm sure you do gee whiz thank you so much for joining us today it's been brilliant having you with us thank you for uh being as passionate about the uh, incredible uh, brand new cut as we are debbie beautiful jewelry again well done to thank you thank you for having me not at all thank you so much lovely i hope you've had a nice birthday with us here at jewelry maker as oh, well it's been great i really enjoyed it? it it's been a lovely time um but don't forget the birthday celebrations continue tomorrow with my birthday show and we've got a big agate birthday bundle coming up tomorrow as well we will bring it to air tomorrow i absolutely promise we just ran out of time today uh but fantastic well done thank you very very much for joining us tune in this afternoon you've got gorgeous paper craft with dave and the gang we'll see See you the other side of this.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your order.